In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Streets have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account, and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals, and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Welcome to Sewing Street on Sunday the 27th, 27th of February, almost there, almost there, nearly in March, nearly in March, oh. and nearly at the birthday, can you believe it, can you believe Sewing Street, it's 
going to be two. So today it's like pre's. You know when you have your pre drinks before you go out? This is our pre birthday show. And in celebration of that, I've got not just one, but two, two guests, which is really exciting because they're two of my favourite people when I worked at Stone Quarter. And one of the saddest things about Stone Quarter finishing was not being able to see all these lovely guests again that I work with, the wonderful Lisa Lamb and Jenny Jackson as well. So we have got a few technical difficulties today. I don't know whether this system's overexcited about the birthday. I don't know, but we can't currently sell you anything. Um, the website is not working and we can't put any of the numbers and pictures on screen. But you can still watch us and you can see us on Facebook. Uh, but you can't see us on YouTube and we can't actually sell you anything at the moment. So it's just going to be a whole... No, it's not. It is going to get fixed. <laughs> it's going to be a whole day of just chatting. <laughs> that would be good fun. But I can tell you what we've got coming up today when we will be allowed to do some shopping. I've never. We could do shopping TV without the shopping. Mm, it's just the TV bit. Yeah, that's fun anyway. Anyway, I'm the two guests are here. We can spend all day just sewing, not shopping. But let me tell you what we have got coming up to get you excited for when we can actually do shopping. We have got now floral favourites. Got a whole host of different floral fabrics. Some are in set, single half metres, some are in bundles, some are in both. Lovely, because I feel like spring started this weekend. I heard some birds singing. I was actually like, it was felt lighter as well. And even this morning, it was getting light just before I arrived. So it must be getting better. And my garden has got more snowdrops than it's ever had. Mm. And I'm not very good. Well, I'm not, I would like to say not even very good at gardening. I'm absolutely rubbish at gardening. So the fact that we've got lots of snowdrops means the spring must be treating me nicely this year. So in celebration of that, eight o'clock is floral favourites. Now, nine o'clock, we've got Lisa Lamb. Now... Lovely Salam. She is, she's the queen of bags to me. Very, very long time ago, um, bought Lisa Lamb's book this long time ago. Absolutely love it. Made most of the bags in it. And then when I was on Sewing Quarter, I was so pleased to meet her and she came on air and just did um, bags with us. And now she is on Sewing Street. This is only her second show. And the best thing about Lisa Lamb, well, she's a fantastic personality, but she um, designs beautiful bags, but she gets amazing hardware. Let me just, oh gosh, I just tripped over. Another technical difficulty, fell over. Um, so, yes, I got, got tangled in balloons last time, this time I'm falling over. This is one of the bags, the safari bag, it's beautiful. Now, just look. Now, if you're, um, if you are a bag maker, you will understand the glory of beautiful hardware. So look at this. I mean, look at this. As I said to Lisa, the zip does so well. Look, it's so smooth. But look at the slider on it. Absolutely gorgeous. And we are selling all sorts. Of, so we're doing the kits uh, with everything in them, but we're also selling the zips and the sliders separately. So when, when we do turn into shopping TV, um, we're telling just the zips and the sliders. Isn't it beautiful? You don't often see sliders like that, do you? Absolutely gorgeous. Um, but look at the bag inside. It's got secret pockets. It's got flaps. It's got another beautiful zip inside. Lovely um, gold metallic as well. So, And that's the glory, is that the bags look so lovely. But they have all this beautiful hardware. See? Look at the front. It's even got a magnetic clasp as well. So that's nine o'clock. Can we sell, Cat? Okay, we can sell, we're going to turn back into shopping TV. Hooray, hooray. So this is nine o'clock, this safari bag. It comes with um, two straps as well, so you can change it. Um, so that's nine o'clock. But we also, as well as the lovely Lisa Ham Lamb, we have the jubilant Jenny Jackson. Yay, that's a good word. The juicy Jenny Jackson, jubilant. Gorgeous, no, that's a G, isn't it? She is with us. Now, Jenny Jackson is the queen of E. We've got two queens in today, haven't we? So we've got the queen of bags and the queen of EPP, English paper piecing. So if you love EPP, you will love this. She has got two shows with us today with loads of different projects. So we've got a brand new EPP cushion and tote bag at 10 o'clock. Now, look at that. Now, this is amazing, this design, because it is perfect for beginners. It uses quite big pieces. Now, all the pieces are pre-printed onto a panel, so you just have to cut around the edge of them, no measuring required. The kit comes with the instructions, it comes with the paper pieces, and all the, and, um, all the printed fabric as well. And you cut it all up, sew it all back together, and you get a leopard. 
So this is totally exclusive to us, to Sewing Street, brand new today from Jenny Jackson, designed specially for us. It's gorgeous, isn't it? If you're a beginner to EPP, you're going to love that because she's going to do a complete beginner's masterclass on EPP. So don't forget to join us for that. At 11 o'clock, Lisa will be back with us with the Happiness Hobo tote bag. I'll just get it down to show you. The Happiness Hobo tote bag, beautiful, another gorgeous one. Beautiful zips, this one comes with beautiful tassels. Isn't it lovely though? Got little secret pockets inside as well. So that is at um, 10 o'clock. Gorgeous. So we've got, a, we've got some beautiful bags today. Then at 11 o'clock, um, Jenny will be back with us doing her brand new doorstop. Again, EPP. Um, isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it gorgeous? Featuring pre-printed panel and all the pieces. She's going to be showing you how to do the construction of that. That's at 11 o'clock. And we're also going to be running through some of the kits that she's done with us previously for anyone who's missed out before. Now, half of the graphics have gone. Oh, I think said half of the graphics. So which graphics are we going to have? Half of the gremlins have gone. Where are the other half, though? So we can now sell. So should we start with the early bird? Really, really quick early bird. Um, we, have, we have reduced this so much, it's almost wrong. But I'm not complaining because it's a gorgeous book. 18.99 is the price so home in the kitchen by um but we are going to drop it to 14.99 should we have a quick look early bird <gasps> so because of the um issues today are we going to drop it again no we're not dropping it again sorry i'm getting confused so home in the kitchen should we have a quick look so this should be 18.99 look at it it's got Four different chapters, sewing room, what's in the sewing room, what's cooking in the kitchen, dining room and out and about. I like, oh look, there's even a recipe for chocolate cookies. Oh yes. Um, all the information, technical, that, all that stuff about how to sew, what to do with it, all the inf important information you need. Oh, there's another recipe for very nice raisin cookies. Um, then we go on to the projects. So we've got a pot holder set. Love the photographs in here. It's a very pretty book, isn't it? Um, a skillet handle cover. I need one of those. I was burning myself on my frying pan. Um, tea cosy with templates and corners. A little trivet. Nice. Oh, I like the fabric as well. A bowl cosy. I love these. That's lovely, isn't it? When you're sitting in front of the telly with your bowl of soup. Um, mug rug. Loads of very small. Oh, I like the veggie sleeve. Small achievable projects. Dining room. Sausage gravy. Oh, nice. Pet lace mats. I'm liking this. You wouldn't know whether to be cooking or sewing, though, would you? Table spread runner, um, coasters, hot rolls, towel. So there's so many projects in here. My Nan's chili recipe. Cold beer koozie. A koozie rather than koozie. Um, a shopping bag. These are brilliant, aren't they? You think, look at all of this in here for £14.99. Does it say 18, 18 insulated projects? But, Kat, we've had technical difficulties. Can we drop that at all? Because just as a little, just to be nice. How much is this? £12.99. So we've reduced it from £18.99 to £12.99. Wow. And it was 1999 when we first had it. So these are all projects featuring insulation, whether you want to keep things cold or whether you want to keep things hot. And you get eight, 18 projects for 12.99. Where, where do you ever get projects as cheap as that? It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. I mean, look and look at the. Um, oh, I like the lunch bag. That's oh, look, it's got a little um, elasticated pocket for you. Um, bottle as well. It's got loads of little diagrams as well that make it really, really easy to understand. I like the elasticated pocket. That's a very good idea. A snack bag, obviously. Very important to have a little bag to hide your snacks in. Nice close-up photos as well. That makes a difference, doesn't it? I love the coffee cosy. And it's adjustable as well, so you can fit whatever size you want. I used to have a rubber cosy on my cops, fallen off though, so I need one of these. Now we are very limited on these, a fantastic price. $19.99 right at the beginning, then $18.99, then $14.99, now $12.99. But 
if there's any left, because these are flying out, funnily enough, um, they will go back up to 18 99 so it is only till midnight because it's a special early bird that it is 12.99 what a beautiful book kitchen sewing projects with insulated fleece it's lovely isn't it because you know we lot have lots of um different projects we make whether it's quilts and bags and cushions but it's lovely you know with all of the fabric that we don't really have to have some inspiration for little projects that we can use or to piece together smaller pieces to get rid of the scraps in a good way so, so home for the kitchen, twelve ninety nine. If we have any left, that will go back up again. So, please. If, um, sorry, the YouTube's not working. The graphics are working. The website is working, but the YouTube isn't. I'm sorry about that. But we are the the, the um, IT team are currently working on it. But you can watch on the TV. You can watch on the app. You can watch on the web, and you can watch on Facebook. But you can't currently watch on YouTube. Anyway, should we do floral fabrics? Moving over, going on over. Ta da! So, in honour of what I feel might be spring, although it was cold, I had frost on the cart this morning, but spring is definitely springing, sprung in. Um, should we start with these lovely Riley Blakes? Mm. Now, we've got to do this from the picture on the web because I've got one missing. It, not sure where it is, probably in a van somewhere. There is one missing. So in the bundle, you get six, six half metres of this beautiful Riley Blake fabric. Joy in the journey. It's lovely, isn't it? But it's beautiful. I love the tones in this. You've got shades of peach, apricot, soft mustard, dusky blue, and then with the black, beautiful it really makes it stand out so now I've got, I've got one missing for my little stash so you need to look at the picture on the website only one's missing it's that one on the top left hand side that I'm missing so we'll have a look what I have got but half a meter of each of them show you what it looks like join the journey it's just so pretty isn't it it looks like a makeup bag to me but with six half metres, so many things you can do with this. Half a metre makes two cushions, makes the front and back and a bit more and the handles of a tote bag, doesn't it? It makes um, two or three laundry bags. Even if you thought, right, I just want to make a little drawstring bag just to store some clothes in or my current sewing project or to put a pair of shoes in because I'm going to go away. Half a metre will make you just a very simple drawstring bag, which is perfect for that. Um, so we are, will be selling these by the half metre as well. So if you look at that one, you think, oh, I love that one I only want that one we are doing them by the half meter but to start with I'm just going to do the six half meters 43.99 remember this is Riley Blake designer fabric so that's one of them with the peach background it also comes with an ivory background now what's and the other one that I am missing is exactly the same but it has the black background so if you're making something and you think I want something with a bit of contrast I want to do a different border or a different binding or I'd like to do some patchwork with it simple half square triangles or just squares they blend together beautifully and with the black one as well you've got three of the same prints in different colorways just go really well together and then we've got the complement tree ditzy prints so one with this lovely peach background same as that but the tiny print so you can see now aren't they coordinating beautifully love them then got the same ditzy print with the ivory background and the same print but with the black background so Imagine there's another one as well. Same colour as this, but the same print as that. So for 43.99, that's three metres in total, six half metres of all of them. But if it's just one that you like or two and you don't want all of them, we have got them available by the half metre as well. So let's start with the black ditzy. Oh, we haven't got the pink one on its own, but we've got the black one on its own, number one. It's lovely. I actually, and I like the fact it's not a really. It is black, but it, it feels a bit soft. I can't really describe that. Bit of a softer black. It's not really harsh. 
it, I think it works so well with this. So if you're thinking, actually, I want more than half a metre, wouldn't this make a nice um, pair of pyjama bottoms, for example? I want two and a half metres. Just put five units in your basket and it will come as a whole piece. You won't have it as five separate half metres. So if you want more than half a metre, we will cut it for you to order. We are the only um, TV shopping channel that do that, actually. Cut fabric to order for you. That's a claim to fame, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that you don't have to just have things as bundles or packs. If you love the fabric and you want to buy more of it because you've got a bigger project in mind or you're thinking that would be perfect for the um, outer borders of the quilt I'm making and I need a metre and a half, just put three units in your basket and it will come as that. So £7.49, Riley Blake, designer quality quilting weight cotton. Remember, it's your normal 44 inch width. What? Um, uh, oh dear, things are selling very quickly. Now the website's back on. So, um, if you do want to shop ahead, all you've got to do is go onto sewingstreet.com and click on watch live. If you then scroll down from there, look, you can see early bird and today's bestsellers, which is funny enough, the only only one on there um, if you go on to the left hand side that's today's show deals those are the things I've already talked to you about and then on the right hand side is pre-order those are the things I haven't talked to you about and there they all are there's all the floral fabrics in the eight o'clock hour which are already starting to sell quite fast so if you want to get ahead and beat it before we all get there um, there's nine o'clock there's Lisa Lamb's lovely bag hour look at oh look at the You've got the pattern and the bit, pattern and all the um, haberdashery trims, or you can buy just the pattern, or you can buy just the bag straps. Look at the straps. You get both of those as well. And because they have a lobster class, you can change. You can change between, oh, actually, it's not a lot of toggles. You can change between the bright sort of Aztec -y one and the black zebra one. So you can choose. Um, all options, or if you just want the leather buckle, or if you want the entire kit as modelled there by the lovely Lisa Lamb. Then we've got Jenny's gorgeous leopard cushion. Now, that is only available as a kit because you need the instructions and the panel to go together. So, so that is only available as a kit. Brand new by um, Jenny and designed exclusively for her. Then there are all the other projects. Um, get ahead with the slow sew line glue pen. We've got them back in stock and they fly out because they really make EPP a joy. You can get all your, all your pieces done. Jenny's going to be demonstrating that later, but do get ahead with that. Then we've got Lisa back and there's all her handles and accessories and kits. And then there's Jenny back at 12 o'clock with all of her kits and her, door, her brand new doorstop kit. So if you want to shop ahead, because things are going out. Oh, look, the polythene pellets are back in stock. They weren't here the other week. Um, then pop them in your basket. Don't forget to check out, though. You can check out as many times as you like. You still only will be charged for 3 95 posts. It doesn't matter how many checkout times you check out. Between now and midnight, you will still only be charged the one lot of 3 95 posts. But if you pop it in your basket and you don't check out, someone else can come and take it from you. And then that's a shame, isn't it? That's a shame. So the, let's go back to the Riley Blakes. So this is the first one we did, the black with the ditzy print. Have we got the um, ivory one? The ivory one, join the journey. So if you like this one and you want just half a metre or you want 10 metres, it will be so, sent to you as a complete cut piece. I mean, look at that, look at that. I'll just show you the scale of it. They're like as smaller than my finger. Beautiful ditzy print. I love the um I love the mustard. Oh, YouTube's back. YouTube's back. We're all back. Is anything missing? No. <gasps> we are all sorted. Ready for our pre-birthday show. For a bit of prees. Um, I love this one because it's a really lovely, almost um vanilla ice cream background colour. And then the, I like the fact that you've got the mustard and the, the blue in it is a really dusky blue, but it, it's just very subtle. It's a very pretty print. This would work really well cut in, as patchwork because the print is so small, it's so multi-directional that whether you cut triangles or squares or hexagons or anything, it would work really well together. I love that. What would I make from that? Mm, I th I'm thinking a little drawstring bag, actually. be so pretty, wouldn't it? Really nice. Or 
I always end up making bags there. I've got to make makeup bags and toiletry bags and zip cases. But it, wouldn't it make a pretty um, summer blouse? Because it's such a pretty print. I think I make a really nice summer blouse. Um, now, we don't have this one by the half metre. So um, I'm going to move that one. So these two we have by the half metre. We also have the black, but I haven't got here because it's lost on a van somewhere. But this one, it's, I mean, exactly the same colourway as the small prints that I've just shown you, but obviously just a bigger version of the prints. So you've got that lovely sort of vanilla ice cream background, and then you've got um, a lovely peachy rose colour and a light peach, and then again you've got that same mustard and dusky pink. And I like the fact they've put the flowers in black. The leaves, I mean, not the flowers. Well, some of the leaves are in green, but some are in black because it really makes it stand out, doesn't it? It gives it a, a kind of modern, edgy vibe. Otherwise, it takes a sort of the vintage away from it. I quite like that. So if you want that one by the half metre, there it is. Remember, if you want more than half metre, it will be sent to you. Here's a hool cut piece. Now, the final one. We do have the black one as well. That I haven't got here. This one has got that same lovely, deep pink deeper pink background I mean it's the same exactly it's exactly the same the flowers are exactly the same colour on here but they look so different don't they we only have half a metre of this one left you've been buying you've been buying which is amazing really when you think our website's only just come back so you're straight on there so there's only half a metre of that one left um, the black one is also available by the half metre I just don't have there but if you look on the website there's a photo of it I just don't have a sample of it here but same as that but it's just black This one. Oh, now this is a beautiful fabric collection. Oh, I like this one. I've seen it, we've had this one before, I like this. I love the way that they've put, you know, when you get a fabric collection and you're never really sure how they're gonna put it together, they usually put a large scale print, maybe a blender and a small scale print, but it's always really interesting to see what they choose. And what I like about this one is that you've got the large print here. So this is 36.99 for five half meters of this beautiful fabric. So you've got the, I'll show them in a minute, but you've got the large scale print. I like the small scale print, very pretty. And then you've got the large scale with the, but it's not dots, it's more like little sort of splodges. But I think this is really good. This is probably like my favorite one is that they've just done exactly the same fabric, but taken the flowers off it, which makes the bundle so useful. There's also um, another blender one as well, which is dots. But when you put, say if you just put these two together, if you were thinking outer and lining, doesn't that work well? Or outer and, you know, maybe you're making a cushion and you want to put a piece of piping cord. Where else would you be able to get a perfect match and I think that's lovely to have taken that that's so simple isn't it and because it's not a traditional dot it's more sort of flex of color uh, of pattern I think that's really clever I like those two together loads of you have this in your basket so be careful if you want it you need to check out so let's look at the biggest one because I like doing that one first so because this is normally where a fabric collection starts when a designer does a collection they start off with the big print and it's like a watercolour, isn't it? Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of painting by numbers. Because when you look at it, you can see sort of sections of colour. So, you know, when you're doing those painting by numbers, and that's like one, two, three, and then you get colour 304. Have I got enough paints for that? But it has that watercolour painting by numbers feel. And the background is a beautiful, clear aqua. Very springy. Then we have the small floral print, which is so pretty. So normally this is what happens is the designer does the big one and then takes elements of that or just scales it down to do the smaller one. And that's gorgeous, isn't it? But look at the detail. It's multi-directional, which we all love, don't we? Because isn't it annoying when you make something and all the flowers are upside down? But the flowers are all upside down here and the right way up. But isn't it pretty? But I'm thinking as well, you know, if you made something with this and you had a bit left over, it'd be lovely to fussy cut, almost like as a little frame. So if you were doing some squares, look, if you could just fussy cut around the edge of that, that'd be a nice bit of EPP as well, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it, Jenny? Hmm? I'd like that. Speaking of Jenny, she's in with us soon. There are only 20 of her cushion left. Just saying, just saying on pre-order. So if you want to get ahead with that, she's... um. She's not until 10. You want to get ahead? There's only 20 of those left. BC 
pop it in your basket and check out. If you don't check out, there's only 20 of them left, then um, it will go and you won't be able to have it. In that, you get the printed panel where all the pieces are already printed with the seam allowances on them, so you don't have to cut around them, that's all. And the paper pieces and the instructions, 36 99 no, it's no, no, so I'm reading the wrong way. It's not, I'm thinking it's not 36.99. 24.99. Ugh. Not concentrated this morning. Selling very quickly on pre order. So you know how to do it. .com, watch live, scroll down, that's where it is. Um, or call the call centre on 0800 W1 4433. They will be, will be in the same building as the call centre soon because we're moving. How exciting is that? How exciting. You won't notice any difference, but we will. Message from Mandy. Morning, Rebecca. I've got the Journey Bundle. It's beautiful. I'm making a quilt for my caravan for Mandy. What a brilliant idea. Oh, I think that's lovely. I think if you've got a caravan as well, isn't it nice to make things that, you know, just make it feel more at home? That is perfect as well, isn't it? When you go in your caravan and this, you get up in the morning, you've got the smell of frying bacon around the campsite and you're under your quilt. I think that's lovely. Thanks for letting me know, Mandy. Mandy. I'm always loving to know what people make. So I'd like to work in a fabric shop. This is kind of a virtual fabric shop, isn't it? Because I'd always want to know what are you making? So if you buy anything, let me know what you are making with it. I think that's a lovely idea. I've just lost the sticker. Let's put it back on. Right, so there's the small print. And then, I know I gave you a little preview view, preview view, view of this. Um, this is the large print, but what they've done is taken out some of the flowers from the big print of this one, but put them onto this one and then put that beautiful spotty background. It's almost like petals have fallen, tiny, tiny little petals. And they've all got the same colour background, so this goes to go really well. Actually, this would make a nice caravan quilt as well, wouldn't it? Really bright and fresh. I'm thinking um, caravan curtains. Mm, wouldn't that look lovely? Can you imagine waking up in the morning and you've got these as your caravan curtains? Oh, that would be gorgeous, wouldn't it? Be nice as kitchen curtains as well. We are, these are also available by the half metres. So if you're thinking kitchen curtains or a kitchen blind, um, you can buy more than half a metre of it. Right, then we've got the one with the plain um, spotty. They just look so nice together. Don't they? They're like they are like little. I'm thinking, you know, like daisies, daisy petals when they all fall. It's lovely, isn't it? It's like a, a petal spot. And then finally, you've got this lovely geometric. So the or the whole collection doesn't it work beautifully together? So if you want a half a meter of each, and you want to make a quilt for your caravan like Mandy. It is so pretty though, isn't it? Summer dresses for little girls would look gorgeous. Now we are in the teens for this fabric, so if you want it, you need to be really careful. Um, I would think a uh, little summer blouse with pin tucks down the front, little short sort of cap sleeves in this one would look beautiful with a little bit of um, bias binding around the neckline in that one. That would look lovely. Now, if you want them by the half metre, remember um, you can, have as much as you like it will be sent to you as a whole cut piece you won't get individual so if you're thinking i need um two meters for that lovely summer dress i've got on mine or a line skirt bright fuchsia pink t-shirt and you need a meter and a half put three units in your basket it will be sent to you as a whole piece oh we did children's dressmaking with, Gan with janice yesterday um she was showing us some dresses from the so adorable book and they only needed what a meter for up to age three, wouldn't that be pretty? I mean, I'm thinking summer wedding. You know, if you've got to make a special dress for a summer wedding, imagine a little girl in that, or an older little girl. I'd quite like that as a summer dress. It's beautiful, isn't it? I would make a dress with this, um, using this as the skirt, and then do a plain fabric for the bodice section. So I always think that looks really nice. It breaks up the print a bit. Um, so if you want more than a half a meter, put that number of units in your basket, it's 749. Remember, it's quilt and weight cotton, but it does work really well for, not it doesn't have to be just quilting, for homewares, as well as dressmaking for, you know, lightweight things. It's not, it's not your cotton lawn, it's your normal um, 140 gram weight cotton. The next one is the small print. Oh, let me fold that up or we'll get confused. 
Oh, this one has been extremely popular on pre-order. I really like this one. I like the scale of the print on it. Should I take the stick? Should I move the sticker off the other side? It gets confusing, doesn't it? It's a lovely scale, but aren't the colours really bright and fresh? So if you're thinking, I really need something prettier in my kitchen. My, uh, my oven is needing a new pair of oven gloves. Mine definitely is. The dog keeps taking them off the cooker and then sits on the floor with them. Very strange. Um, if you want to just pretty something up, half me to this lovely new set of oven gloves. Makes some nice tea towels as well, wouldn't it? So always think, you know, it's not just about quilting, it can be about homewares as well. So that's by the half metre, £7.49, most popular so far on pre-order. Um, then we've got the large floral with the um, daisy petal spot. Super popular on pre-order. I love that one. But you have to really have the plain dotty one to go with that one, I think. If you're going to buy this one, you've got to get the other one because they really do. Because to get them to match like that. So, um, you know, if you wanted to put sort of, if you were making like a skirt with this and you wanted to put a nice deep board around the bottom, I quite like it. You know when you get a skirt, I should show you, and it has like a three inch band around the bottom. Wouldn't that look nice? Let's just do a little, a little demo. Wouldn't that look lovely? And doesn't you see they go together beautifully? Very designer that, isn't it? Seven forty nine for half a meter, but remember you can buy more than a half meter. It will be sent to you as a whole one. So that's that one. If you want the plain dot, daisy petal dot, they should have called it that. What is it called? What have they called it? Aqua. Aqua. I might have I might write to I might write to them and say, Can I have a can I have a job with you naming your fabrics? Because I think this one should be called Daisy Daisy Petal Dot June Aqua. Well anyway, that is beautiful. That is my favourite dot. I know it's the sim probably the simplest, but I just love that. But you have to really have that one to go with it, really. Be rude not to, wouldn't it? Be shame to split them up. And then finally, we've got the lovely geometric one, which is just squares, really, but it is the same colourway. So, so if you've bought maybe the large floral print and you want a print to go with it, that goes together really well, doesn't it? If you're thinking, I'm going to make myself a posh tote bag, straps, straps and binding in that one, I think. Seven forty nine. What's that one called? Squares. Yeah, I wonder what it's really called. It's probably made, it's just a C1125, but it's not very interesting anyway, is it? Oh, they need to get someone to name their fabrics. Wouldn't that be a nice job, though? You know, say, right, so for your next fabric collection, if you could just send me like two metres of each of them, because I need that much to be able to be inspired, I'll keep the fabric, and then I'll just come up with the names. We could all do that job, couldn't we? Should we all apply? Because actually what we could do is do it on air. I could say, right, here's the fabrics. What should we call them? Phone's ringing. <laughs> you know, when you hear the phone, you always go, phone. So that's the um, Leela, Leela Tula Lucy Jane Aqua Fabric Collection. It is beautiful. Now, if you get this one and you've got it in your basket, let me know what you're going to make with it. All you have to do to message us is message us at studio at sewingstreet.com or you can message me on the Facebook page. Let me know what you're making today, what you made this weekend, and if you've bought some of the fabric, what you're going to make with it too. Because it's always good, isn't it? Because a lot of your ideas we pass on to other people. We then get messages back from you going, I love Margaret's idea, I'm going to do that as well. Because this is like a whole collaborative system, isn't it? You know, that's the beauty of having our shopping TV, even though the shopping wasn't working this morning, is that, it, that we can share and we can give our, each other tips. But it's just nice to see what you're all doing. And I know sometimes I see messages on our fan page where you say, oh, what's everyone doing today? And suddenly there's like 304 replies. Because it's really nice to know what you're doing. I spent my weekend making projects for the birthday week, which is quite exciting. Very exciting. Velvet fabrics. Say no more. Monday afternoon. Velvet fabrics. Last bundle of the hour is... Oh, this is nice. This reminds me... This is like, you know when you used to do that thing in school where you'd put water in a tray and then put spots of ink and then you'd put paper in? Is it called marbling? That's what this looks like, is marbling. Let me show you the green one. 
Doesn't it look like marbling? So this bundle, $24.99, you get four half metres. Um, comes in two colourways. One is marbling and one has floor. But look at that. It is just like, you know, when you put those dots of ink in and then you put the paper on top and then you made handmade paper. Water marbling, is that what it's called? Wild Beauty, that's what the fabric collection is called. So this one has got greens and yellows and oranges. Beautiful fabric to use instead of a plain because it's just an all over pattern. There's no directional colour, but you're getting lot. there's no directional print. You get lots of different colours in here, but it works in all directions, whether you cut small pieces or big pieces. This kind of fabric is really good if you're having to join things together for borders and binding because you won't really see the seam in it. And it's so fresh, isn't it? It's beautiful. Now, there's only nine of these bundles left. $24.99, you get two metres, so you get four half metres. If it's in your basket, you need to check out. So that's the green one, exactly the same, but in pink. So you know if you're doing a quilt and you've got some borders around the edge, this is absolutely perfect for that because it just gives a little bit of three-dimensionality and a little bit of movement to your quilt, but you won't notice the join. It's beautiful though, isn't it? It's like, it's like marbling, but almost like hand-stamped as well. Very nice. Then, exactly the same fabrics, but with a little, a little print on. So they work well together because, you again, you can use one as a border and one as the main. So this one, let me put it without the code, um, you've got the same as the green, as that, you know, this green background, exactly the same as that, but this time it has flowers all over it. So we've got some little poppies and free, well, I'd like mm, free just possibly... I'm probably a bit out of my depth after I get past the poppies. Very nice flowers, which I'm sure have names. I think that one's definitely a poppy, though. But aren't they pretty? So you've got the same green, marbly type background, but with these scattered flowers all over it. And then finally, same pink background as the plain, plainer pink one, and again with the scattered flowers. So if we put them all together, you can see how well they work. That the... The two, the greens and the pinks work together really well because they've got the same patterns on them. The colours work together very well. And it's lovely that you've got this, the background on its own and you've got the background with the flowers. One, two, three, four. There we go. Just move over a bit. Nice. Very spring, isn't it? Oh, it's making me feel quite warm. Warm and hope, isn't it? Spring brings hope. Fresh and exciting. $24.99, Wild Beauty Floral Fabric Bundle. Um, if you want it, however you've got your eye on just one of them, we can sell them to you by the half metre. Right, I'm going to do the green floral fabric one first, this one, because there's only one half metre left of this on its own. And this is your, and this very one here can be yours, because it's the only one we've got left. We have still got nine bundles left, but if you want just a half metre, this is, this is the half metre. It's yours. Okay. Um, then if you want the pink floral, we have got more of that. That's this one. Let me hold it out. Sometimes you, it's nice to see the whole thing, isn't it? The pink floral. I love the marbly background on that one. It's very pretty. Remember, so this is 6 99 for a half metre. But if you want more than a half a metre, it will be sent to you as a whole cut piece. And we have got more than half a metre of this one available. That's a really good price for beautiful quality fibre. It's very smooth as well. Six ninety nine. That's that one. Now, if you're thinking I want the plainer ones, well, the ones without the florals, um, we'll do green to start with again. Should we open it out? There we go. Do, do, do. Do -do. See, love, it's lovely. 44 inch width. But isn't the marbly background gorgeous? It's very um, lime and apple. But I do like the yellow spodge. But remember, very good for joining together. Good for quilt backing. Because you know what it's like when your seam doesn't go quite down the centre? Doesn't really matter so much. Lovely if you're making a cock quilt and you want thinking, I want to put something pretty on the back of it, but not sure, you know, whether it's boy or girl. Very nice for 
baby makes, I think. And then finally, the pink marbly one. Da -da. That's pretty, isn't it? But they go to really get well together, the pink and the green. It's really good for, um, I think really good for nursery makes because they're very soft and gentle. Um, pink, the pink one and the green one. Oh, we're gonna get a bit closer, let me open it up. But if you think, you know, I might make a little changing bag, new baby coming along, or want to just make a simple quilt, the bundle would work really well for that. Just cut it into squares, make it simple. But they're beautiful, aren't they? <coughs> and very fresh, very fresh and modern as well. Quite like them. So that's the final bundle. But don't worry, we have many others. By the half meter, should we do panels? Let's do panels just because I've got fancier panel. Love a panel. This one is gorgeous. Just saw this one. It's got bees. Bees are very important. So let me open it out. Look at that. Table centre, yeah, you could make that as a table runner, thinking, let's make get your table ra runner made ready for Easter. That's lovely, isn't it? So you've got, you could just, you, you could cut out just the centre and then add more to it if you want to make it bigger. It'd be brilliant for the centre of a quilt. Um, shall I lay it down on the table so we have a proper look at it? So it's up to you. You can use the whole panel as it is, where you've got the three sunflowers at the top, then you've got the sunflower and we've got butterflies and bees. You could just cut out the sunflower because the sunflower's gorgeous, isn't it? Um, bit of trapunto, wouldn't it be nice? And look, you've even got a picket fence down here. So you could um, quilt this bit of trapunto and then you could stuff the centre. Beautiful, you could work loads of French knots over that as well. So you could just use the centre and use that as a centre of a beautiful quilt or just a hanging, put a put in your house, give you a little bit of sunflower joy. And then you've got the three same sunflowers across the bottom and I love the black check background. So it's up to you whether you use it as a whole panel because um, these could be coasters, couldn't they? Only 9 99 I think it would just make a lovely wall hanging, like in the hallway because it's quite a long, narrow panel, isn't it? Put it in the hallway quilt it, bind it around the edges. I mean, you could even cut off the black and white board around the edges and use that to bind it. It's so lovely, isn't it? A lot of um, ideas here, you know, if you wanted to embroider over the bees and the butterflies as well and add a bit more detail to it, you could. That's lovely. 9 99 Brilliant price for a beautiful panel. Um, I have another panel. Panels are me. This one, no, this one. What's what's in the panel? What's in the panel? Shall I hold it up? I just got to make sure I've got the top. I think it's top. Let me have a look. It's like a border panel. Can you see it? Because I can't see you. That's lovely. Right, I'll put it on the desk now. Because I can't. I can't. Problem is, when I hold it up, I can't see. Oh, now look, is this not the same as this? This is the panel, look, that goes with this fabric, the bundle that I just showed you. Look. Mm. And you see the flowers? Same as the flowers on here. Look. So if you've got the bundle, or if you want to have the bundle and the, and the panel, all goes together, same collection. So it's lovely, isn't it? So I'm thinking, you know, you could use, the, cut off the border for this, but what a fantastic um, bottom edge for a skirt. You need more than one board, one panel for that though, wouldn't you? But lovely, you've got, and you've got two of these. So it goes from the border there all the way up to the centre and then back down to the border again. So you've got two of them, so you could join them together or you could just use it as a border. If you've got the... Um, if you buy the fabric bundle, you've got that to use with it as well. It's absolutely lovely, isn't it? You um, the only thing is, remember, if you buy more, because it is a panel, if you buy more than one of these, it will come pre-cut as, as individual panels. So you can use it as you like. You can use, you could cut it in half 
and use it from the center downwards or you could just use the bottom section of it and that's what's really good you've got a really kind of multi effect because once you get to the center it's a more spaced out version of this one the print is slightly bigger but it's beautiful isn't it wouldn't it look lovely or you could just quilt it i think that's a beautiful panel you know it's really lovely you know some of them you get that are just single pictorial ones a bit like the sunflower one but i love this one where you've got the border edge to it because you've got a lot of ideas of things you can do with it 9.99 beautiful that's half of it but the other half looks exactly the same there we go right gorgeous let's do another panel question from pauline would the wild beauty space floor green fabric be good for dressmaking and what width is it? Yes, it would. And it is um, 44 inches, which is 114 centimetres. Obviously, you know, not for your winter coat, but it's absolutely, I use quilting fabric all the time for dressmaking. Um, if I'm making something like an A-line skirt, maybe it's not just for the summer, I might line it. Um, if you're doing a dress, you can just use that as it is, or you can line them. But yeah, absolutely perfect for dressmaking. In fact, if you go into fabric shops, a lot of sort of spring summer dressmaking fabrics are quilting weight cotton. Um, oh, message from Janet. With the lovely aqua fabric, I would use the spot and the geometric and the small print to make a cathedral windows cushion the brig print would look fab on the back that's a brilliant idea love that thank you janet this afternoon i will be making a baby quilt using the little ducklings fabric for our niece in new zealand you've got a fantastic afternoon then janet can i come round? i quite fancy making a baby quilt using that and thank you for the idea i hadn't thought of that i think that's a gorgeous idea so with this aqua fabric cathedral windows a really good idea because that spot would be lovely for the edges wouldn't it and then you could really pick up some of the florals in it 36.99 that would make brilliant cathedral windows thank you for your suggestion um janet very much appreciated because i never think of things like that oh just quickly need to mention overlockers yesterday before i we go on to our next hour overlockers yesterday we sold quite a lot of these flying out yesterday so so if you weren't, um, oh, if you were, let me pull the whole thing together. How much of this overlocker can I take apart? Um, Sonebee's back on soon, just saying. They always use the overlockers, don't they? Um, if you weren't watching yesterday, if you're thinking about an overlocker, I think, well, one of the things that's often put me off by an overlocker is the price, but I think 479 is a really good price for this. If you have a look, this is the Elna 664 Pro. Have a look at this elsewhere. This is a fantastic price. Um, spoken to a lot of different guests about this. All of them say they're really simple to use. Well, you know if you've got, I mean, well, we sell a lot of Elna machines. You know if you've got an Elna machine. So if you're doing dressmaking or you're about to take up dressmaking and you, you hate doing the whole finishing the edges and the fabric fraying, and I, I definitely hate all of that, or if you're working with any stretch fabrics like Jersey or Ponte Roma or some of the stretchy viscose fabrics, an overlocker is an absolute must have. If you've got people saying, oh, can you take up them, you know, these tracksuit trousers or um, sweatshirts, um, anything like that, T-shirts, an overlocker is a must. And I think you can split it by uh, into three equal payments of 15966. So you get the first payment taken from you now and it's sent to you straight from Elna, not from us, but it will still only cost you 395 PMP and it's very, very quick delivery. We are, I wanted to say to you today, because we're on the very low teens and I don't know when we're going to get these back in stock. And it is a fantastic machine. So if you have been umming and ahhing for a while about an overlocker, go online, read the reviews, have a look round. This is a really competitive price. But it's not for just dressmakers. I mean, I know there's a lot of um, quilt makers as well who use them. Lots of them. There we go. Think overlocking is just for drakers, just for dressmakers. Blah, blah, blah. Nope. Quick binding with an overlocker. You see, I think it's one of those things that once you've got one, you suddenly think, oh, just think what I can do. Bag making. You know, if you're making a simple bag and you don't want to be lining it, so you just want to get the seams finished, you know, and you don't want any raw edges, so much quicker with an overlocker. So um, you don't, it doesn't have to cut. You can just overlock. So you can disengage the blade and it will just it will just finish there. Comes with a big, big, 
thick manual that tells you everything you need to know and you get from Wellner the two-year warranty. So if you're in the market for an overlock, are you thinking, yeah, I would love to. I'm always seeing people using them. It looks fantastic. And it is. I speak to all the guests who use them and they think this is a fantastic one because we have to be very careful which models of machines and overlockers we sell because otherwise we just get loads and loads of returns. And we constantly have fantastic reviews about it. It's really easy to use. And it's the next stage, isn't it? You've got your sewing machine. It's the next stage on from that. So fancy treating yourself, then today is the day. Oh yes, and speaking of sewing machines, the 680 Plus is back in stock. And Lisa Lamb will be using this in the next hour. So we are currently offering five years, five years free warranty on your machine. It's amazing. 2027 will be when your warranty runs out. It's a beautiful machine. I mean, it really is. It's all singing. It's all dancing. does everything you need it to do and more. And comes with an extension table. So you can make it extra big and a walking foot and many, many other feet. It does everything. Yeah, so Lisa came in today and went, I need something with a good motor and a walking foot. We went, mm, 680 then. That's the one for you. But it is a beautiful machine. If you're thinking of upgrading to a new machine, if you want to do, this is your final upgrade. You know, this is the last thing. I'm not going to keep getting one. John Scott's got this. And, oh yeah, Stuart Hill had, had the 680. Not the plus, but the 680. You know, and you think how many machines that we all use all the time. The 680 plus is the kind of the one to go to guest machine where they're always after that one saying, can I use that one? Can I use that one? But anyway, it is back in stock and it does have five years warranty. Have a look on the website. It tells you all the features on there. It tells you everything that it does. If you've got any questions about it, get in touch or put a question on the Sewing Street fans page. Loads and loads of you have um, bought it and I've seen people put questions on them before. What do you think about this? Will it be suitable for this? L you will get loads of replies and you'll get replies from real customers, people like you who actually use it. Right, one last fabric, the black one, this one. Oh, this is pretty, isn't it? I like the fact that it's got like um, a black slightly mottled. It's not a solid background. Is that wide? Wider? Feels wider than normal. I feel like my arms are stretched wider than normal. 140. Yeah, my arms are a bit stretched. It's 140 centimetres wide, not rather than your 112. For £4.49, it's got a beautiful... Yeah... I'm not sure why this, yeah, the split pay stuck from the last sewing machine. Yeah, one split payment of 4.49 or 4.49, so ignore that. Um, it's got a lovely black mottle background, some really pretty um, rose floral prints on it, and it's 140 centimetres wide, so you get an extra 12 inches than normal. But I love the fact it's got the black mottle background, and then all the little florals on it. I think 4.49, very very good price. Keep checking out for that. Very popular, not surprising. Very good price and you get an extra 12 inches, which has got to be worth it, hasn't it? Beautiful fabric. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So after the break, we've got Lisa Lamb coming up. So excited to have her back on. And she's going to talk to us about zips. Very excited about her zips. We've got loads of you ordering this on pre-order. Remember, there's loads of different options with this. There's the instructions, there's the um, the whole kit, there's all the accessories separate, there's the beautiful zips, all of it. So um, have a look on the website while I'm on the break because we have got um, a lot of the floral fabrics I didn't get time to show you, like these beautiful poppy ones. Um, have a look on there. If you click on to um, watch live and scroll down, you'll see them all on there. And get ahead. If you want to watch Lisa's demos, which are all brilliant because she really is the queen of expert bag demo makers. Um, she... <laughs> She, she's laughing in the background. She will be talking you through. Th any questions you've got for her, anything you get stuck with with bag making, send them through to the studio and we can answer. I will see you back here in a couple of minutes, but don't go anywhere. Hi there. My name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups 
and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also applique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember, but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click join group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP, even if you check out multiple times in one day.
can work. <laughs> Sorry, I was just getting moving my cup of tea off the table in case I spilled it with the bag. Um, welcome back to Sewing Street. And yeah, Lisa Glam. Well, Lisa Glam. <laughs> when I saw her this morning, she had jogging bottoms and her slippers on. Yes, that's and then true. look at her. Look at that. You'd never know she was the woman with the jogging bottoms and her slippers. I love my slippers. Yes, they look lovely, but you look very glam now. Oh, thank glam. you. Thank you. It's lovely to have you back here on Sewing Street. Oh, home, home, home. Yes, back home. Yes, to Sewing home. Street yes. is lovely. It's nicer here than my real home. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is lovely to have you back because your bags are as always gorgeous. Always, oh, and they're already selling. So we were having a chat earlier because I bought Lisa's book, uh, The Bag Making Bible, years ago. I'm thinking, where was I working then? But 2009, she wrote that. It's that old. It's that old. And they've asked Lisa to write a new one. What do you think? Do you think Lisa should write a new book? I'm trying to persuade her because it was the first bag book that I ever bought, and that's what really got me into bag making. It's a fantastic book, fantastic. So we need you to write a new one. Okay, if you get a nanny. I'll yes. Oh, whip it out. When we, when we first worked on sewing court, I said, if you're going to get a bag maker and you need to get Lisa Lamb in, and we did. Anyway, she has designed us a brand new bag called the Safari Sling. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Now, there are lots of different options here. Lisa's going to be talking you through what's in the bag, how it's made, and what all the features. I just want to go through all the different kit options so you know what you can buy. Now, if you want a complete kit that has got everything in it, in the kit, you get and I love this fabric this is gorgeous it's isn't a it? whacking teal it's just it's just perfect. such a deep teal and it's not quilting weight cotton it's like a canvas nope, it's heavy soft yes canvas yes. though you've got half a meter for teal and that's it's like petrol beautiful I think it is super I think it's wide let's have a look Should we it up oh yeah super wide that's super wide that's 150 half a meter of that and it is like a beautiful petrol Teal. I'll tell you what it looks like, that deepest kingfisher colour. Yeah, nice description. Let's call it kingfisher from now on. <laughs> Petrol's too expensive. And then you get a metre of pomegranate. Mm. And look at that, that's quilting weight cotton though, so that's for the lining. You get a metre of that one. Then you get the instructions and the pattern. Very important, everything you need to know. Look how many there are with loads of pictures goes you through step by step exactly how to make the whole bag all the instructions and that is a lot of detail isn't there then you get all of this you get the buckle and that's not a buckle you have to do up it's like a pretend work a pretend one isn't a it magnetic, because it has a magnetic yeah. snap so i quite like that it means you don't have to undo it you get the buckle then you get the zip you get two zips you get a silver zip Oh no, no, it's silver one side and gold and the other one. Meter it is one, sorry, there are two zips, as in there are two zips in the bag, but it's one piece. And you get two zip ends because you cut it into two. You get these beautiful zip ends. And one's a circle and one's a heart. Shall I put them on the table? You can see them better. You basically get one spare because you're only going to use half a metre and one of the, one oh, of yes. the zip ends. So you've got another yeah. one to do with so you've what got, you want. Yeah, you've got another one spare as well, which is lovely. Aren't they beautiful? When do you ever see that? Then super exciting are the straps because the bag, you can use two straps because they're really easy. They've got the little clasps on, so you can just take them off. Take them off the bag, put the other one on. Really hard to source the right things. And then and they've got sliders on them, so you can they are extendable. But Lisa has done all the sourcing for us and found all exactly what you need. And these are beautiful quality as well. To get this quality of haberdashery is not very easy. So you've got that strap, but also, if you don't want the zebra strap, or if you're not feeling it's a zebra day and you're feeling it's a more of an Aztec day, because <laughs> you know, nice. or the outfit you're wearing. What's great about this is you've got the Aztec on the outside, on one side, and then you've got the stripe on that side. Mm, nice, isn't it? Yeah it's, a, yeah, it's a bit Ralph Lauren, that one, isn't it? And that's a bit Aztec. So, it, all it. of that, for forty nine ninety nine, you get the canvas for the outside, the lining for the inside, all the instructions, a metre of zip, two ends, the, um, the buckle, the magnetic clasp, because I've seen that somewhere. You do get that as well. Um, all for forty nine ninety nine. Ignore the split pay option, we're not sure. I think since we put the overlocker on, it seems to have... <laughs> stuck yeah we'll just ignore that it isn't a split pay because you can't split pay something once into the same price i don't know if that goes in there 
So that is the option to make the entire bag. However, however, if you want bits of it. So if you don't want to use the fabric, we can do all of it. We can do all of it. So the instructions and all the trims, so the zips and the um, zip ends and the buckle and the two straps for 39 99 So if you've got your own fabric, you don't want to use this, um, you want, but you've got some in your stash, 39 99 So, you know, maybe you're thinking, oh, bit of PU, bit of cork, um, something really patterned, whatever you can. You can get all of the haberdashery, because we know a lot of you will often ask us about that. Now, we only have 13 of those left. And there were four of those in baskets. Five. Wow. Right. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want that one, you need to get it in your basket and you need to check out because if somebody else gets in there, even if it's in your basket, they'll whip it out and they'll have it for themselves. So that is fantastic because we get a lot of people asking, um, a lot of people who want to use their own fabric. So that's that was a really popular option. If you want the instructions on their own, you just think, I love the bag. I've got my own haberdashery. I've got the straps, got everything. You just want the instructions. They are $9.99 and they are a meaty set of instructions, I can tell you. Everything you need to know and it all goes through it. I mean, the reason there's so many is it goes through it in such detail. You've got all the photos, everything. Look at it. And nice, Pages. Nice big font as well. And a nice big font, which is important, yeah. isn't it? Because it's really annoying. <laughs> you don't want to be squinting. And you go, what and does that say? Oh, no, I've cut it wrong. I've cut <laughs> it wrong in a nice big font. But it gives you really, really good detail. So for 9 99 you can have just the instructions. Those have just flown into baskets. You know, because as Lisa hasn't written a book for quite some time, this is the only way <laughs> that you can get hold of her patterns. <laughs> and this is the first time we've sold So Lisa Lamb instructions on Sewing Street. <laughs> <laughs> it's because we are the pre-birthday, pre-birthday show. Yes, you are. Pre-birthday, birthday show. <laughs> Very special. Say that for us three times. Yes. Um, if you want the straps, just the straps. This is so complicated. If you want the straps and you get both in this set because they, they don't like being separated because they are an interchangeable set. So if you want both of the straps, you can have those for twenty four ninety nine. We never normally stock these like this, and they normally flat because where do you find these normally? I love the ends. They're really solid, aren't they? Yes, and they're blingy. They shine. And they the are blingy, blingy, shiny as well. And they have sliders, so it means you can make them bigger. Perfect for the tallest and the shortest. So you can make them really long. Yeah, you see, and you don't even, you know, you know, you have to do that, add in a slider bit. No need. <laughs> This is slider bits on there, look. So you can make them super long or you can slide them. This is what makes your bag making look professional. But say you've already got a bag and you think, oh, I'd like to change the strap and make it a bit different. You can get both of these. It is both in them. Oh, African prints. Well, Zeb, I thought that was more like... You're, you're thinking more the Aztec. Yeah, but yeah, I can, I can see, what you see why you think that. But then it's <coughs> like that sort of African tapestry bag yeah. look, isn't it? Beautiful. Both of them for twenty four ninety nine. Very stylish. But you could use those on a bag that you've already got. Very hard to find this kind of hardware. I always find. Yeah, once you pop that on a red bag or a brown bag or a yes. black bag, it's a completely different bag. It is becomes a different bag. Just clip off and put on the, on the new one. So there's twenty four ninety nine. Buckle. If you love the buckle, which has the magnetic, um, it has the magnetic bit with it. I'll show you. Let me take it out of the bag. See, look. Oh, yeah. no, but I'm going to show you that it's got two bits. See? See, there's two bits. So this bit you sew to one, the bottom of the flap, and that's on the top, and then it's magnetic. And it's got holes already punched in it, which makes it a lot easier. Now, we don't stock this. Not normally. This has been bought in specially for the Lisa Lamb Show. So it's got the two pieces in it. They're just clipped to get them, just magnetic. So it's great because it looks like you've got a proper buckle, but you don't have to bother with that. You've got the magnetic bit. So that's four ninety nine. Finally, the zips. If you love the zips, I love the zips. They're gorgeous. Nice wide zip, lovely metal, and they um, they slide really well when you undo them. And that's important, isn't it? You don't want a stiff zip. They slide beautifully. See. <laughs> 
I know, but it's things like that. Really I know, I know. I love yeah. things If you've got like your hands that. full, like you're the ticket booth. You don't want yeah, to be arguing with you want to be doing that. I know. And, it's, and you get two sliders with that. So say you've got, you know, you're doing a bigger bag or you're doing something that's got the zip that goes sort of round the sides, the bottom, like a dock bag or a, a, a really big one or an overnight bag. You've got a meat of that, but you get the two zip ends with it. So that means you can use it as two zips or you just get a spare one. One has a heart and one has a... Um, a ring and Lisa's going to show us how to put the zip ends on in a very easy way that's everything so have go on to sewingstreet.com click on watch live and scroll down because I have been through all of it but if you just want to be sure I'm not sure what bits I want it says it all there and if you've got any questions just message us in one final thing I'm going to talk to um, Lisa about that we bought in specially today because Lisa told us to <laughs> and we do what we tell because she, so bossy. she is the bag-making Bible lady. Now, we call it... Well, I when I, I chatted to Lisa earlier, it's halfway between an interfacing and a wadding. Yeah. So what is it for then? What, tell me it, about it. it. Um, traditionally, it's used in dressmaking and you'd probably... You know how your shirt cuffs feel just a little bit padded? Or sometimes yes. your collars feel just a little bit soft? That's what's inside. And because we're working with canvas, which is already quite rugged, mm. um, you don't need you don't need something as puffy as a fleece. And to be honest, it costs less, so that's a benefit too. It's really easy to wow. sew with as well. So it's got so it's, it's sew got, in, not iron on. It's, yeah, it's right. sew in. So it's got good padding to versatility ratio. It's nice and um, flexible. Yeah, yeah. It's really easy to work with, and it's inexpensive. Yeah, four ninety nine for a whole metre. One metre by 90 centimetres. So brilliant for bags or where you it just is, want to yeah. get a bit of structure. Yes. But not as thick as so a wadding. Yeah, if you're using a bag of fabric, outer fabric that's a little bit rugged or it's very interfaced, you don't necessarily need foam. Or you no, don't. No. I, I suppose if you wanted a stiff bag, then you would. But this bag doesn't require it. So I thought, well, trim the cost a little bit because yeah. it is unnecessary and that works beautifully. I use it a lot. Right, okay, yeah, well that's it. fab, so we bought it in specially. So it's the Vliceline S13, it's sewing, and it's halfway between an interfacing and a wadding, so mm -hmm. it gives a bit of structure, but without stiffness. Yes, yeah, and you, you, you won't be fighting with it like you do with foam sometimes. Okay, well, brilliant. So if you want that, full. Now remember, it does come pre-cut into a one metre piece. Lots of you, lots of you are buying multiples of this but remember it does come pre-cut so you won't get it as a whole piece you'll get it as individual one meter piece 4.99 is amazing value right lisa let's okay. get on with making bags okay let's do it right so where are we going to start so i um i'm the bag itself is actually very easy to construct the bits that you might find a little you tricky. You want to have the bag. Yeah, that might, that be, might be easier. Easy. Yeah. Then you can talk us through. Thank you. <laughs> so what I'm what I'm going to focus it on. Well, I'll, I'll say the pocket's very easy. The pocket, the the flap, and the body is basically one long bit of material folded in half, right, and um, rock sized together, and then sewn. And then sewing on the the clasp bit is very simple in the pattern. I've written down exactly where you need to make the markings for this guy and where you need to make the markings for this guy and, and when and where to stitch them on. So I'm not going to be focusing on the pocket today. I'm going to be focusing on the zip because I know you all love zips and there are no zip phobics out there. I know there aren't, but I'm just going to do the zip <laughs> anyway. I'm just going to do I like the, the fact you've got the zip going off the end as well. Yes. And that, there's a good reason mm. for that because sometimes... If you have, if you have a zip that finishes here, yeah, you are actually shortening the length that the, of bag opening mm. that you can get. So because the zip veers off over there, you've got maximum bag opening. Yeah, that makes a big difference, and still keeping it secure as well. Yes, and also you've got a handy grab tab as well, oh, that's true. and it's easy to do. So I'm going to show you how to insert this kind of zip. I don't know if it's got a name. I'm not the first person to do it, certainly, <laughs> but it is easy to do. And okay. That's what we're going to look at today. Right, so shall I show you? So you were extra fascinated. How did you get the zip ends Well, on? I buy continuous zips all the time and I battle with them. You shouldn't battle have, with putting you the shouldn't zip have to put your battle. hands up who else battles with putting a slide on their continuous I can zip. see lots of hands going my up. arms up my dun, 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 bing, 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 bing. <laughs> it's understandable 
you get these lovely zips and these fancy zip ends and there's not always the instructions. So I am going to show you how to very easily um, do it. The first thing you need... How lovely to see you again, Lisa, the Queen of Bags. I have missed you so much from oh, Marilyn in Merseyside. Bless you, Marilyn. Thank mm. you very much. I hope I Morning all, proud. Lisa's Bag Making Bible was also my first bag making book. It's brilliant. I still refer to it 10 years later. A new book would be amazing. <laughs> OK, okay I'm, thank Jabram. you, Collect. I'm kind it of would getting... would be, wouldn't it? I'm I've, kind of getting the hint. <laughs> I've got mine on my shelf. It was the first bag-making book I ever bought, and I, I still use I it. I still refer to it, it It's too. really good. Because you know when you get to a certain age, just all the stuff just kind of falls out mm. of the brain? And the more that you can just refer to something, the mm. better. You need a new book. <laughs> <laughs> OK, right, the zippy thing. What you're going oh, to need is a metal towel hook a tea towel yes you do i mean everyone needs tea towels mm. but you also need a hook to put them in and what is special about this is actually it, do you want to put it flat on the desk yeah of they're, course they're looking at it so you it you, you can you see it's got a v shape yeah so when you buy one yes from the long so, river or yeah from the long river because this is where i bought store. this from yes or the or, or the auction site <laughs> they're very easy to find if you look up adhesive metal towel hook and look for one which has got a v-shaped cut out hole i mean there are a few which you know it doesn't necessarily need to be this very one but what you're looking for is a hole which is wider at the top and narrower at the bottom not the circular ones with the no bits no it's work. it's very important okay. because this v-shape allows for different size um, zips. So this zip is a size 5, mm. which is perfect for bag making. Size 5 simply means that this is the width of the teeth. Mm. So you can get size 3s, even size 6s. I don't know what other sizes there are, but size 5 is ace for bag making. Uh, but this V-shaped slot ensures that I can use any size zip and any size um, zip So even pull. the normal, like, I think it's a three, isn't yeah, it? The even, yeah, one even the dressmaking, dressmaking ones, zip. you can still use this guy here. Fab. And what is also very handy is it's got um, an adhesive pad on the back, which is important because I will say, if you haven't got this adhesive towel hook, you can use a fork. But the it's only trouble easy. with the fork is you're balancing it on your knees you might turn the air blue because you've got to keep that fork super still mm. in between your knees. But this adhesive pad means that I can stick it to my table like that and it's not going to go anywhere, which is really important because you'll see why in a sec. I'm going to start doing the magic now. <laughs> so I've got my zip pull here. Um, the way I start is I turn it facing wrong side up. So, the, yeah, the back of the zip is looking yeah. at you. Yeah, and I want, I want the pointy end to be facing away from me as well. And then I take that as it is, and then I slip it into this slot. Oh, so this sort of the bit that the zip goes in is at the top. Yes, so the pointy, the pointy end is facing away from me. Right. And the wrong side of the zip pull is facing okay. up as well. And then I'm going to take my tape, and this is the right side. This is the wrong side. I'm just going to separate the two ends like that. Do you know, doing this live on air would fr frighten me. It's all right, I've done it lots of times. <laughs> lots of times. And a couple more just in the green room, just in case. No, just joking. <laughs> and then I, I'm going to open it quite a ways because this will give me room to take the two ends. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to slide them into these grooves. And yeah, then and, and this 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 metal thing is just going to keep everything in place so that I don't have to hold this or do any jiggling with my knees. And I'm just going to push into the groove. So I found that what is slightly easier than holding on the tape and then pushing the plastic in is actually holding the ends about about an inch or inch, inch and a half above the ends like that. And then sort of using the tension to push into the two grooves and then jiggle ever so slightly, of course, uh, jam it in, jam it in so it can't move. Why does it never work on TV the first time? When you can do it at home really easily <laughs> the first time all the time. 
It's coming. It's coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes, if one end doesn't want to go in quickly, oh, you, you can try the other oh, can end. Can you do it either end? Then? Yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah, you absolutely can. She says. Oh, man. <laughs> so I'm going to watch this on YouTube later, and I'm just going to curse myself. Say, why didn't you do this? Or why yeah, didn't you Lisa do that? has done a demo of this on YouTube as well. Yes, and actually, on a show that when I was with Jenny last time, it went in really easy. Obviously, oh and it's gone in the green room really easy. Okay, right. Sometimes. Message from Lloyd. Good morning, Rebecca and Lisa. I got my kit. Oh, brilliant. Yay, well done. Thank you. So glad oh, to see Laurie, Lisa. Oh, Laurie, is that lovely Laurie? Yeah. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> so Love glad you. to see Lisa back on the show. Have a lovely day. Yes, a new book. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. Cheers, <laughs> Becky. Thanks, then. <laughs> Cheers for that. <laughs> Cheers for that. <laughs> You're going to come and babysit. Yeah, She's lovely, well, honestly. She's done, she does really good listening. She sits quietly. She does um, a lot of reading. Hi, Rebecca, Lisa, Jenny oh, team. God. Lisa, is your sling tote suitable for an adventurous beginner? Definitely. Once you get the zip pull in yeah. the first time round, because you're not on the telly, mm -hmm. I promise you it is. Well, the instructions are really, really comprehensive. There is so much in them. You know, it's... And not because it's... Sometimes I think you think, oh, there's so many instructions and so much to do. What's but it's not. It's just they are extremely comprehensive. There's also a link, a video, a YouTube link in the pattern at the top of the pattern of me doing this successfully. Okay. <laughs> how to how, yes, there is a YouTube link about how to and attach it's huge. the zip pulls onto the zip tape. Oh, I don't believe this. You are, you are such a monkey. Oh, what's the hook called? Do you mean the tea it's, towel it's hook? An adhesive, it's an adhesive tea towel hook. Adhesive and if you type that into hook. the search on the long river, you'll get a lot of options. And what you're looking for is the V-shaped one. And if you go to the if you go to the um, YouTube link that's in the pattern, mm. I'm sure I've got a link, a shop link there as well. Oh, okay. Oh, well, we'll try that. Oh, Becky, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> I know. I felt nervous. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, and I bet you, John's, if he's watching, he's rolling around <laughs> on the floor laughing. Honestly, maybe this has is never it, been maybe so. Maybe it's pull. It's, no, it's not the zip pull. This has never been so awkward it's before. It's the pressure. It's the pressure. I, of my hands TV. are wobbling a bit. I told you. Well, you know, we've had a. We couldn't even sell anything. Do you know this what? Morning. I need my slippers back on. I know. That's if she had her <laughs> jogging bottoms and her slippers on, she'd be absolutely <laughs> fine. Yes, exactly. Now, half of the stock of the entire kit has gone. Oh, that's amazing. So, if it's in Thank your basket, you. you really do need to check out. Forty nine ninety nine, and you get so much in there. I love this fabric. I love this canvasy. Oh. We are also selling these canvases by the half metres. Well, do we have other colours then? Yes, you do. Do we? I, think, I love this. I think I got the nicest one though. Well, it but is then very, again, well, it is I am obsessed Fisher. with teal. Isn't I am it? obsessed it's with teal. It's beautiful. So we are selling oh. this. Have a look on the website. Just go in. Is, is this one on the Watch Live one? Yeah, the teal will be. But if you go onto the website on sewingstreet.com. Um, John's messaged in saying he forgives you because you look gorgeous. Oh, John, I love you. <laughs> I you she does it. She is Lisa Glam today, isn't she? Oh, bless mm. you, honey. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I feel I feel your supportive vibes <laughs> yeah. reaching across. Yes, please keep having give a... um, Lisa some supportive vibes, please, John. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not having a lion. You've got a big week next week. He has. Up. He has. I know. Yeah. Birthday we're boy. Doing, me and Lisa oh, are doing the know. prees for you. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if I shouldn't ditch this because I really, we'll come really. Back. We'll come back. Can we to come it? back? Because I we'll really come want back to, to it. show. I really want to show the zip insertion. To show it really properly. Um, we'll come back to it. Right. So now, now that's worked so well. <laughs> no, she's going to come back to it. Well, I kind of need the zip actually. Yeah, <laughs> she needs the zip. <laughs> Would you like a different length? Would I like a different... Ooh, well, that's a personal mm. question. Yeah. Would you like a different <laughs> length? Can we try that one? Yeah. Can we, it, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the zip or if yes, it's this me is like television for you. You can show this it's not pre-recorded. Yes, no. we're going to try the, a different one. You never know. I confess, I'm having a hot flush now. Um, last few chances. If you want the zip, remember it's a metre gold-coloured zip with two um, sliders. I will say the zip is better quality than I am. Oh. <laughs> 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 
and measured exactly how. <laughs> Oh, in, in all of the ways that matter. I spent hours trying to get zip pulls on until I got this tip from Lisa. It's brilliant. Oh, I thank stuck you my Sue. hook on that, a little box. That's what it because I usually work with it when it's stuck on a box. Maybe that's what the issue is. Maybe it needs to be is yeah, or maybe it needs to be vertical, like yeah. you said. But then stick it on the wall. No, don't stick it on the wall. Stick it on the shelf. But then, then you yeah, then you, you could stick it on the shelf. But then you lovely ladies can't see what I'm doing. And maybe if I, it help, it could help if I put it a little bit closer. Seriously, I've, and I just I hope I'm not putting yeah, no. you off. Now everyone who's just ordered their tea towel hook, stay with, <laughs> stay with. <laughs> if you go to my YouTube video, which I posted, it was a year ago now. How oh, was it? I do it first time, oh, yeah. twice, twice. <laughs> Honestly, I'm such a joker. And then, and then when it really counts, you know, I just to want to get it up I for know. want of a better, <laughs> you know. <laughs> like a nervous teenager. <laughs> right, go to YouTube. Here's Lisa on YouTube. Oh, she's look, look, not looking quite yes, as glamorous. Yes, that's right. Thank you. Yeah, well, I've got my slippers on. Yeah. Cat, okay. I love you. You're amazing. It is a seven minute video, mine, so we're not going to show it all now. But it is there. Yeah, um, Kat put Lisa Lamb Zip in YouTube, oh, you know, and it's all there. It's not working. I'm going to use another zip. It's not working. It's not working today. I'm sorry. No, and I, I really, really. It's because you need it vertical, don't you? Yes, maybe, maybe it is. And, and I, but I'm just concerned, just concerned that, you know, I don't, I won't, I won't, um, <laughs> She's getting another zip now. Yeah. We are going to show how to put the zip into the bag. Yes, we we are because I know I know that everyone will be really disappointed and know that I'll, well I'll, I'll lose sleep over it. I'm not even yeah, joking. Yeah, it's nice. We could spend the whole hour watching <laughs> Lisa try to put the the zip pull on the end of her zip. <laughs> I think it's your zip end. It it well, who knows. Because it works so well on the YouTube video. It does. It's because you've got it stuck on the side of your machine. Yes, that, and, and that as well. well why, you could stick this well, one on the know, side of the machine. To, I'm just going to do that. Honestly, I, I think like my fellow bag makers will be rolling around now. Yes, yeah, see, look, look in the video. Look, look, look. look. She's such a numpty. She's just making us all look bad. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to get one and stick it on a shelf or something. Because I've actually got quite a lot of continuous zip that I can't face putting on. I know how to do it, and I yeah. but it just takes so long. So good to see Lisa back. Like everyone else, her bag making book was my first, and she's been so helpful on line two. Oh, thank Another you. Another book Ooh, would be nice from cruise. Derek. Thank <laughs> you for your vote, Derek. So Lisa, much. I know how you feel. I tried to show my granddaughter and couldn't do it, but when I was on my own, works first every time. Oh, and thank Georgina you, Georgina. Thank you. Yeah, thank you true, for the it? moral support, Georgina. Yeah, you go, look, Honestly, this is amazing. Honestly, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a complete fool. I'm only a bit of a fool, or maybe quite a bit of a fool, and but not today, a complete fool. And today the zip fool. will not work, but yes. it normally works. It, re it really does, honest. It has done many a time. Well, you've obviously made quite a few of these bags, so it must do. Otherwise you you know, know, and I'll... I'll Jenny, if you're watching, <laughs> I, I hope this is bringing you a lot of joy. Jenny Jackson, my sewing sister in the green room. Right, I think, you know, you just kind of have to abandon yeah. that. Let's move on. Let's, let's move on. Let's just, let's move you on know. Before she breaks the whole thing. Move on, you joker. Yes. Okay, look, so. This piece of zip is way too short. But mm. it's what I'm going to work with because I can't get the right zipper to work with the right zipper. Right. End. I'm really sorry. I don't know why. But she will do. I may try in my next show again. Okay. I'll, I'll, yeah. Okay. But I really would like to focus on this. So right now, <laughs> I'm going to show you. <laughs> so I will say it's a really good idea to get your zip pull onto your zip before cutting to size. Because sometimes, if you if you cut your zip to size, and then you get your zip pull on, sometimes there's a little bit of um, an angle because sometimes the one side of the tape might go in before this side, 
and then create a little bit of a bubble. So if you get your zip pull successfully, not like I didn't, <laughs> onto your zip, then trim, you'll know that that finishes nicely and neatly, and then that finishes nicely and neatly, and then you can just trim in comfort and make sure that these ends are completely straight. That's something that I emphasize in the pattern. Right. So as you can see, that's why it looks nice and tidy because I got the zip pull on first and then, and you then trimmed, trimmed and okay. measured. And then you need to get yourself a, um, a zip end. And the, the, the measurements for the zip end are in the pattern. So this one that goes on here is four by three and you just fold it like a binding like that and then that gets stitched onto there so actually I'll just go ahead and do that now I uh, can sew I know how to sew yeah, it's probably gonna <laughs> watch the machine blow up now morning ladies the show must go on well done Lisa but just carry on with a smile from Kyrie thank you thank you <laughs> uh, I mean why I haven't been thrown out by the security yeah. by now <laughs> we haven't I got any don't, security I don't on know. a Sunday yeah we haven't got security on a Sunday <laughs> If it was Monday, you, you should have you should have security. Last few chances of the cold coloured zip with the two ends, four ninety nine. I blame the hook. It must have been a faulty one. Oh. No worries, Lisa. Just keep chuckling. You are like a breath of fresh air from oh, Marilyn in Merseyside. Bless you, Marilyn. Thank you. Thank happen. you for having faith in me. Message from Jill. Lisa, now you know how I struggle with zip ends. You are such a pro. So don't panic. We know you can do it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I know. It just, but you, doesn't that always you, happen you, when you go? It's really you, easy. Good morning. Don't worry, Lisa. It shows you're a human like the rest of us. I'm loving the show from oh, Katie. Oh, thank Essence. you, Katie. O honestly, mm, you she's guys, a human are, queen. You are so forgiving. <laughs> no, I'm a buffoon. I'm a, a human buffoon. Queen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. I have stitched this zip end on, and that's right. what it looks like there. And now we're going to make um, this. Is this a metal? Here. Is it a metal zip? Oh, I haven't got mine anymore. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. Very importantly, <coughs> it's metal look, but it's nylon, so you can oh. happily and easily, safely I it was metal. stitch over it. Yes, it, that, and, and that's you know that's important that it looks wow. like that because it looks snaz. But you can, no. it, you can, and, and it makes it a better price because I'm in, thinking that's indeed. very inexpensive. And you, you can't, you can't sew. Well, you you can maybe hand crank, you can it, hand crank but not over. nicely, you know, no. without feeling a bit uncomfortable. And you can easily and you get an cut extra long scissors. stitch as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah. And then sometimes when you're, yeah, it's not practical. It's not a good idea. So yeah, this this is nylon metal oh. look. It did, and it really does look metal. I thought it was metal. Yes. See, it still shines. They're very clever, them zip makers. Okay, so the zippy bit freaks everyone out. Understandably, I mean, getting zip pulls onto zips freaks me out too. You <laughs> might have noticed. So at the back of the pattern, because that, so you, you look, you, you think you might think in the middle. Oh my God, two whole instruction pages without pictures. That's because I've put a shed load of them for one section. Yeah. Okay. At the back. They're Which is a back. very good idea. Yes. So what I'm about to show you now is how to get this grab end on. I call it the grab end because you kind of grab it to yeah. open the zip. So I've got my got my material. I think that's eight centimeters by eight. I'm not sure what the measurements are you have in to the, buy the pattern. pattern to find out. But it's a square, and I'm going to show oh, you. Oh, there how are to lots of pictures. Now. There are loads of pictures. Yes. All of the steps are yeah. in the all middle. The look at all the pictures yes. on loads, the instructions. Loads of pictures. Even an anatomy diagram. Yes. Because there's no, um, because there's no, there's no templates for this. It's all it's okay. All so you need that, so you know what is what. And I was thinking, moving forward, I'm going to try avoid um, templates and try, if I can, just to stick to simple rectangles. Yeah, it just it just makes it easier, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, not all of the measurements for the rectangles and w and whether you know the height and the width is mm. all mentioned in the pattern. So I'm going to try moving forward just okay. to stick to rectangles. Cool. Okay, so to make this zip grabby tab mm. thing, um, first thing I need to do is fold one of the one of the edges in. Well, first I'm going to make a bit of a centre crease. I'm using my seam roller, but you could just as easily use an iron. But I do very much recommend getting one of mm. these guys. They Why are that, really then? useful. 
well, I, I'm sitting in my sewing studio in my pyjamas and mm. I haven't got enough to switch on. Yeah. And also if you're working with PU. Yes. And they do genuinely make a lovely crease. Mm. So you may as well. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I've got a bit of a centre crease. There's, that is the Clover Roll and Press 1599. Worth the, worth the money. Well it's one of those it. gadgets you think, do I really? Mm. And then I would say, yes, yes you do. You do. <laughs> <laughs> well, particularly when you're working with um, items that you don't want to press as well. PU is a fine yeah. example, yeah. Okay, so I've folded two outside edges in and I'm going to get some quilters washable tape and is that um, double sided or? it is it is double sided and it's in its wash away but i'm not going to wash my bag so it doesn't really matter that it's there and you can sew through it and it's thin it's really really handy mm. for anyone using zips and it doesn't clag no it does it doesn't it doesn't gum up it doesn't gum up your needle super super useful stuff and I, sometimes I use it in place of pins or clips. Well, some fabrics get marked or they're not easy to pin through. Yeah, or, or they, um, or when you put, when you use pins, things bulge. So we want to try yes. and avoid the bulge if we can. Um, and always. then now I've put, always, but it's uphill struggle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got some, we got some tape just like that. And I'm going to get my zip. And this, this is a grab tab. I feel, I feel that um, that the closed end should be where the should be where the grab tab goes. So what I mean by closed end, this is the opening end which goes to the smaller grab tab. Yes. I like, I like being able to open my zips like that. So I put the grabby bit yeah. towards the pointy end. Okay. That's not very scientific <laughs> sounding. Very sorry, guys. But I do emphasise that in the pattern as to how the zip end is pointy, and that's where I put the fabric grab tab. So I'm going to have my zip end, my zip wrong side up. I'm just going to pop it there so that the zip edge is resting on my centre crease. And then I'm going to fold and make a press there just because I want to keep these presses nice and sharp and then open up again and now I'm going to get these edges and then I'm going to fold in is it like a wrap it is like a wrap yeah or a burrito and all of this <laughs> mm, mm. burrito <laughs> <laughs> all of this wrapping makes for nice sealed edges so there are no seams yeah. and no interfacing needed so nice. it, it's quite, it feels substantial, but there's no interfacing, but it, and it's not ridiculously bulky either. And it looks neat. It does look very neat. From all sides. Yeah. And it only needs one line of stitching. So it does look a bit, at the moment, it does look a bit origami-tastic, but these step-by-step -step photos will really, really help. I'm just going to pop another bit of tape here and another bit of tape yeah. Now we only have ten of the complete kit left, wow. and we have five That's of great. the pattern with trim with haberdashery. I do have trims. They're called trims and fabric trims. It's haberdashery. So all the bits, all, all the bits. pieces, the straps and everything. So the that's the one on the left. That one of uh, the forty nine ninety nine. That's for everything, including the fabric, and then the one on the other side is everything except for the fabric. Thank but you, you everyone. So if you look at the price difference, you're basically getting a metre and a half of fabric for £10. And the canvas is extra wide. You'll have you'll have plenty left over. <coughs> I think, yes, you will, won't you? Because you only need... Well, it says you need a metre of it, but because it's so thick... Yeah. You'll have loads left mm -hmm. over. Now, I will say, I will say, everyone, if I'm talking absolute gobbledygook mm. to you... I've not, that's not the first time I've been told that. I'm very, very, you know, like Lisa, that thing that you said last Sunday made no sense whatsoever. Please hit me up on the sofans or even my personal Lisa Lamb FB. And I'm more than happy to ask questions, answer questions to anyone. Fantastic. Really, really. I really, Unless really it's don't mind. putting a slide on. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> well, then I could just refer them to that successful yeah, video that I did a year ago. <laughs> 
So we'll, yeah, we'll put the um, the video link in the live Facebook feed so you can see that, it. Oh, that would be a great it's idea. It's called Lisa Lamb Not Under Pressure. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also and it's also on the pattern as well. The link is on it the is, pattern. It is actually. It is on the pattern. So you can go ahead and buy your tea towel hook and do and please, learn how to do please it. Please do buy the tea towel hook with confidence, people. <laughs> right. Okay. So your finished one will look better than that. Right. I, I suspect I cut this fabric a little bit too large, but when you look, nice there's there's sandwich. no there's no there's no seam bit showing. Mm. It should look something like that. So all I'm going to do to seal this in is I'm just going to stitch along this part here. I don't think it's necessary to s stitch all sides because, well, it could look messy. Plus also, I'm just one line stitching forward and reverse for strength is enough. Okay. So I'm going to do that now. And because the zip's plastic, well, you're actually not yeah. sewing through the zip, though, yes. are you? Yes, can, you can stitch. At no part in this bag are you going to be thinking, this is too layer tastic. I really right. don't like it. There is one part that's a bit bulky, but I've showed you a nice tip on how to use a bulky seam aid or a needle case. Uh, if okay. you're sewing over something bulky, and it, there's even a photograph as to. So I've got a bulky seam aid, but I know that. Oops, oh dear. I know that not everyone. Why are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> It's just, just going to all happen, yeah, isn't it? It's just going to yeah, happen you're today. Just gonna, do you know what? It's probably one of the storms. It's it's Storm Lisa or something <gasps> like that. Well, yeah, you well, must you be know. next, mustn't you? What was the last one? <laughs> oh, the I last one was G. We've still got a J and K to go. A J and a K. We've got the Storm Jenny next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got Storm Jenny. Jenny then Kat. <laughs> <laughs> Before we can have Storm Lisa. Yes. All right, OK. Don't know why you're doing that. This is not my usual machine. It's a lovely machine, but it's not my usual machine. OK, right. So that's that sewn in. Ah, and breathe. And breathe. OK, let's pretend, everyone, that I successfully put a zip pull on a zipper. I'm not mm. sore about that at all, even slightly. Even <laughs> slightly. No, so, I would know. <laughs> so the back... The back is plain and it's got a handle on. I'll quickly run through how to make the handle. Super easy. Now in the pattern, I've just I've just asked you to um, cut a four inch wide strap and the length is in the pattern and fold it binding. But then I've, I've since decided that it's nice to have a strip of interfacing in the middle. That's optional. Okay. But I and think is that in the, the same end, S? Yeah, it's the, no, it's the um, fusible Norm, stuff. Normal interfacing. Yeah, the, the normal stuff. Okay. And I, I, I thought in the end it might be nice to put that in the middle. Okay. It's still okay without it because it's canvas, but then mm. I thought, actually, pop that in the middle. It might be nicer. And then you do your binding fold, and then you stitch both sides. We've had a special, a special message in. Ooh. Hi, Mum. It's me, Mabel. Oh, <laughs> baby. Hello, my darling. I'm on oh. my own. <laughs> And there's no food in the fridge. <laughs> there's some ramen and a kettle and a bowl. Get your dad to do it. <laughs> a kettle's the thing that makes a funny noise when it's steaming. Yeah. <laughs> you can sort it. Love you, baby. <laughs> Dad's gone to the pub. Dad's gone to the pub. Yeah. I've been on my screen for the last two hours. It's great. Can you do this every week? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, right, so that's the strap made. The strap on the front is hiding behind this bag flap. And if you look underneath there, mm. see, so the, the strap ends are actually hiding underneath the bag flap and the pocket gets stitched over uh, that. Okay. So it's quite neat. Mm. So you don't need to worry about the ends there. The, the, hand, the handles on the back are just folded under in such a way that they're the same length. The measurements and, and where you're supposed to put your pattern markings are in the pattern. Fab. I like the fact it's got those little handles as well. Yeah, because sometimes you just don't want to fight with the yeah. strap. Sometimes you just want to, you know, just what? hold it by the handles. Yeah. Well, when you're carrying it, just yeah. not 
just a short distance. Or sometimes you just maybe you don't want the, the strap on at all. Oh yeah, it's nice to have options. That's true actually. It's nice to have zip pulls that work, but you know, yeah, but not, <laughs> not today. It's Sunday, isn't it? Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. Okay. You've got to be relaxed on a Sunday. You don't need zips to work on Sundays. They should though. <laughs> Everyone else does. Mm. Okay, right. Um, we're going to get our zip on. And we're going to... You've got about 10 minutes. Do you know what, people? Mm. I promise, I pledge, I mm. pledge as this is my first show. I'm going, to, I'm going to make a video. I'm going to make a video of me inserting this style zip. <laughs> and I'm going to post it onto the fans page. Because even if I was to finish it, it will be bodgy. And I'm not happy with the speed that I've got to work because of... <laughs> So I'm, I'm going to make a, I'm going yes. to make a video of the zip insertion. Oh, that's very kind of you. I so should, anyone I just, who's bought the pattern, yeah. it will be the kit. I, pr I will be promise, on there hand, for you hand to on see. heart, it'll be, it'll be on the fans page within the week. So yeah, I'm, I'm a bit annoyed with myself <laughs> that I couldn't. <laughs> I, we did, we couldn't even say we weren't even shopping TV this morning. So, you know, I love you, Mum. You can do it. Oh, Mabel. baby. <laughs> oh, I love you. We know you she so can do it. It's oh, just thank Sunday. you, my darling. You've just thank come into so the um, Gremlin studio today. That's what happens. <laughs> I'm looking forward to what goes wrong in the next hour, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> Should we start making bets now? <laughs> yeah, go on. Go a on. leopard's going to be a tiger. I can't understand how that happened. <laughs> it changed its spots. <laughs> it's changed its spots. It's been in a fight. Right, shall I just carry on with this as is? Yes, or? yeah, okay, carry all on. Right. Or I could talk, I could kind of talk it through. So what you're going to do is you're going to, I don't know if anyone has inserted a zip into a pouch before. It's usually you make a sandwich of um, either your outer fabric right side up and then zip and then lining wrong side up. And that's very typical. I'm sure it's been done before. But what is different about this is this kind of sticks out of the seams so rather than rather than sewing from one side to the other and you ma imagine there's a zip sandwich there when you reach the bit where you want the zip end to be free of the bag you're going to push you're actually going to push this end down out of the way this is clearly illustrated in the pattern pictures wise and and I promise people, yes, I promise it's not a hollow promise. I will make a video of me inserting this zip bar, well, not of the whole bag, but of me inserting the zip so that you've got a bit that comes out of the seams because it's very useful. It's it can be applied to cosmetic pouches, bags, mm. getaway bags. It's a really useful technique. So I feel I should do a nice, clear, relaxed video. Uh, and the numpty version is not going to do it. Someone else will do it. <laughs> okay. So you just stop, stop stitching. Yes. Yeah, so let's let's pretend, for argument's mm. sake, that I want this part to be free. Because ordinarily, let's pretend this zip is as long as this bag yeah. fabric. I and but I want this bit to be free. As I'm sewing over it, I make a mark and I stop, and then. Where I stop the needle, I would do about five stitches of backward and reverse. And I would probably do that three times for strength because mm. this, this part here becomes a high stress area. So at this part, you want to stitch forward and reverse about three times. And then when you've done that, carry on stitching to the end, but keeping this end Pointed so do you have down to lift away the needle from the to needle. be able to not no, stitch on the angle? No, you don't. What what's making it what's making it work is you physically pulling it down with oh, your okay. hands. And there's a photograph on the pattern of me doing that. I don't know. So can you see where my finger is on yes, the picture? Yes. That's my marking. So that's where I want to stop with my needle and then go back. Do about five reverse stitches, five forward, five back again to make this super strong. You want this area to be super strong. Mm. And then when you've done that three times, then you grab that and then you pull this. Can you see the zipper Yeah, just pull? turn it round because it's... Um, you want it this way around. Yeah. Oh, sorry, people. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so 
you can you can see I'm holding that down I'm holding the zip end away from the path of the needle with my finger and then I stitch to the end so what you're left with is the smallest gap in the bag top but nothing that you know you can't yeah. get any naughty hands in there at all but it enables enables the zip tab technique to work okay and it's really strong here where you think it would be weak it's not because i've stitched over this area yeah, okay. three times but if uh, honestly I, i'd appreciate this doesn't make much sense now because yeah mm, but it will do it, but it will do when but I the do rest video. of the bag is quite simple i promise i promise mm. i promise <laughs> <laughs> Message from Kathleen. I trust you, Lisa. Tea towel hooks on the way. Oh, bless, oh. You, bless you, Kathleen. And honestly, if you wanted to see another Love video Lisa's of the bag towel patterns, hook thing, you get a professional finish in a robust bag in a modern design from Anna in the Highlands. Oh, Absolutely, that's yeah, you do. a lovely compliment, Anna. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, they are. They do look very professional. Thank you. Mm. I, I I want to make bags that look professional, with as little faff as possible. Yeah. Yeah, but it's having the right things, isn't it? It's like you say, it's have using this. Yes. Where is this in this interfacing used on the bag? It's used in between the lining and oh, the okay. outer. Yes. So it's got a bit of squish, but not so much because this is if this is a sling. You're just wearing it on your body. It doesn't mm. need to be stand up or be proud. It so. is such a lovely bag. Thank you. It's so nice. Thank you. It's got an amazing Another pocket message inside. Another message from Mabel. Cuddles from 44 miles away. Oh, my <laughs> darling. All right, I'm taking you to the toy shop. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Mabel. <laughs> Morning, Lisa, Jenny and Mabes. Oh. The zip tool is the best thing I've ever bought besides my machine. You are also the top stitch queen. Oh, see. Oh, thank, thank you. you. All of these people have got you see, we all I don't see deserve it. I don't deserve it. you can do it. And we're all going to be buying ourselves one of those to have a go. And she's going to do it in the break. <laughs> So when we, she comes back, she will show you the zip slider on there. <laughs> yeah, so Lisa will be back with us in an hour to show us her other bag, which is here. This is her other bag, which is gorgeous. Do, 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 look at this one. Remember, we've got the same thing. We've got the kit with all the fabrics and the hardware. And is everything. there another zip on um, there? But we, oh. I'll show you in the exercise. So she will be back. Look at those tassels. Mm. Um, she will be back with us in an hour mm -hmm. to do that. So let me just do a quick roundup because it's got a bit confusing about what you get. So if you want the complete kit that has, there's only five left, the instructions, all the fabric, all the hardware, which is the straps, the zips, the sliders, the buckle. Yes. Yep, that's all of it. Everything. Everything to make the bag, $49.99. There are only five left, but there were 13 in basket. So if everyone checks out, Eight of you are going to miss out. So if you've got it in your basket, check out very quickly. Or put it in your basket and check out, but make it quick. If you want the whole kit, but without the fabric, so you've got all the hardware and the pattern, but no fabric, $39.99. And we haven't got many of those left. How many have we got? Four and seven in baskets. Thank you, everyone. So um, you need to check out of that one as well. And if you want just the pattern on its own, that's nine ninety nine, and half the stock, over half the stock of that one has gone. Nine ninety nine. That's just the pattern. Um, when you go into the pattern, very clear, loads and loads of photos in it. You've got a link in there about the demo for inserting the, to putting the slider on the zip, and where you can buy it from, and everything you need to know. Lots and lots of very clear photos. Nine ninety nine for just the instructions. If you want just the zip on its own, meter of zip with two gold coloured, um, with two sliders, four ninety nine. Two thirds of the stock of that gone. A lot of you buy multiples. I'm not. Sh I'm not surprised. I mean, I honestly thought it was metal. It looks like a metal zip. The sliders are metal, but the joy of it, it's not metal, so it's easy to sew over. It's beautiful zip. Meter with two sliders, four ninety nine. Now, if everyone who's got that in their basket checks out, we've sold out. So if you've got it in your basket, please do check out because otherwise somebody else will come in and get it from you. It's a good um, price. It's if a you good want price. just the buckle on its own, remember it comes in two parts because it has got the extra piece on that you sew onto the other side of the bag and it's the magnetic clasp. Again, only $4.99. Um, again, more people have that in baskets than we actually have. Finally, the straps. Now you get both straps in this, the zebra print one and the sort of the brightly coloured one, geometric one. All the sliders are attack, 
all the sliders and the ends and everything are all sewn in and attached. We bought these in specially on Lisa's request, $24.99 for both straps. Now you can use them for this bag, an existing bag. You've got two straps with the sliders, so they are fully adjustable, $24.99. They'd be good for guitars, wouldn't they? Mm-hmm. It is guitar width. It is guitar width, isn't it? And it's it? comfy. It's comfy on your yeah, shoulders. Yeah, it's really nice. It's like satiny. You know those really thick satiny straps. It's really nice quality. And what I like is the slider slides really nicely, doesn't it? Because you know sometimes you have to Smooth. go. You have to go. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but it, it stays though. You know, it's not slippy, but it does slide really nicely, so yeah. you can adjust it while it's on. So those are twenty four ninety nine. Thank you so much, Lisa. It's been a joy. <laughs> It's been a joy, it's been great. You're um, very patient with me. <laughs> it's been great fun, you've been great. I'll see you back here in an hour Can't with, wait. Your, with your other bag. Um, in the next hour, we've got Jenny on with us who's going to be showing us how to do the amazing leopard cushion. Now remember, we are very low in stock of the leopard cushion. There's only 10 left. In the kit, you get instructions, paper pieces and the printed panel with all the fabric pieces on it. I'll see you back here in a couple of minutes with Jenny um, and she's going to do a bit of an EPP masterclass. So if you've always wanted to try EPP, never tried it, she's going to show you how and I'll see you back here in a couple of minutes. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting and of course applique which is my favourite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters.
For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Welcome back to Sewing Street. It's all about EPP. If you've never done EPP before, um, English River Peason, just to say. I hate people who talk in um, the jargon, mnemonics and don't explain. Even if you've never tried English paper Peason before and want to learn, Jenny's going to be showing you how. She is the queen of EPP. Hi. There she is. Morning, Jenny. Hi. She knows everything there is to know about EPP and more. And more. So she's going to show you. We have got some fantastic kits for you. Now, there's a lot of you who've been buying these kits in advance, which is great, but we've only got 10 left of these. Nine, sorry, of the leopard. But we have got other kits as well. So we will be doing... Um, We'll be doing half of the show doing one one kit and the other half doing the other. So let me show you what you get on this amazing kit. That is the finished cushion. You wouldn't believe it, would you, that that is all sewn from lozenges. <laughs> is that what that shape's called? Um, honeycomb. I a call honeycomb it a honeycomb. Or a lozenge. That is all made from honeycomb shapes, which looks a bit like that. Oh, let me put it on the verb. Right, ignore the split peg because that seems to have stuck there. Look, you can't even see it on there. That is the shape. Anyway, you wouldn't believe it, would you? It's all made from that. So in the kit, you get this, all the instructions you need here, written by Jenny, all make perfect sense. Brand, brand new to Sewing Street today. Never seen be, been seen before, this leopard cushion. You also get a pack of all the paper pieces. This is what they look like. Here's an open pack. How many did you get in here? the exact amount you need for the cushion in fact i think we get 60 but you need 59. Oh, okay and these are nice thick yeah so i use a special card for it right because then you can just keep reusing them oh okay. so yeah, no, you can take because i like to take them out after i've sewn around a shape because yes. it's easier to handle mm. but with mine in general you can use one piece about eight to ten times oh, if wow. you're careful because this is and it's not i quite like the fact it's brown so. yeah it's recycled Oh, right. I'm and very it, um, much in all my packaging and stuff. I don't use any plastic uh, okay. at all, or in, that's recycled craft card. Yeah, I and just it's like to try, much and nicer, it's just isn't it? such a nice thickness. And you know, when you're glue basting, it doesn't affect the card. You can just keep using it. Oh, fantastic! So you get a bag of these. That's what they look like. I'll put them back in there. Sixty of those. You get the pattern, and then look at this panel. Now this has been designed exclusively by Sewing Street with Jenny. So she has worked out the sizes of the shapes she needs and everything you need to make the cushion is on here. So there's all the um, pieces. You wouldn't think that was a leopard, would you? But when you sew together, that <coughs> is. So the pieces, you see, now the best thing is when you normally do EPPs, you've got to cut your shapes a quarter of an inch bigger all round than the paper piece. That's already been done for you. So if I put one on there, look. See, quarter inch bigger all around. And there is enough fabric as well. So all I found is nose. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you can see it. When he's all joined together, he makes the leopard. And then you've also got fabric for the back of the cushion. So you've, because it's a envelope back, the top and the back. And then there's a little bit of spare fabric. Four left, 10 in baskets. <laughs> we will get some back. We will. We are working on that at the moment. Probably be next week though. 
because um, we've got a lot, a lot in on the go at the moment with the birthday week. But we will be getting them back in stock, and as soon as we do, we will let you know because we've got a lot of you buying multiples. It's lovely, isn't it? It's, and it's not too many shapes, is it? No, it's perfect. Feels a bit achievable. And do you know what we're doing is nearly every time I'm on now, we're going to bring a different animal. <gasps> But Ooh. it's also going to be a different EPP shape. Right. So we're not going to do a honeycomb anim animal each time. So okay. next time we're thinking a zebra oh, with 1.75 really inch hexes. And then the next nice. time maybe an elephant or something. I think but a zebra's a, a good idea. Yeah. Like we're going to go with like these kind of animals first and then... So they'll all go together? Yeah. Yeah, the plan is to do four in this kind of theme. One left. <laughs> four in this kind of theme, but each one I want to use a different shaped okay cool. paper piece so where so we get this panel yeah and then what what do we do so first up is i've already cut this particular panel but i'll show you on the next project what we're going to cut okay. i thought i hadn't cut this up but what i did was i cut the panel in lines so i took the top top line so did you use scissors or rotary cutting? Scissors. I always okay. cut with scissors. So I... Um, oh, hang on, I've got this. If you go, if, yeah, go put it so my name's it's... facing you. Oh, yeah. no, it looks like a leopard. Now it does. <laughs> <laughs> so what, if you've got your panel the right What I did up. was I literally cut, even in my <laughs> pattern... Now you can see the leopard. <laughs> in the wrong way up. In my pattern, I sew the top line. So I've shown it all in my pattern. So I cut the top line first, and then I used a clip and clip that top line together. Okay. And then the second, I've got a reference picture in the pattern for you if you get your shapes mixed up, right, okay. so you can see. But then I just clip them together like this, basted the one um, one row, clip them. Right, okay. Because yeah, you have enough paper pieces to baste all in one okay. go. Okay, fantastic. But yeah, I mean, you don't have to, you could cut, mm. baste one uh, and sew on line, and then do the next one. Okay. But it's really, really simple and I really enjoyed making this. So, how do we do this basting business? So the basting. So you cut round. So I'll you show you cut, actually. You I've cut got them actually round the edge. Yes. Yeah, so I've cut round. No seam allowance added. And then I've got one of. See this piece of card that I've got here. I've used quite a few times, and it's still absolutely okay. perfect. And what have you got there? What's you using? Oh, so line glue. So line glue. My favourite. Can't be without. We were having a talk about yes, glue basting. We, yeah, we, we both started by thread basting. Well, I know. I said I was always very sniffy about the glue basting until I used one. And then you were like, love. <laughs> oh, I love this. So, but it's not just easy. This is what you were telling me. Uh, yeah, it just creates really nice, sharp edges. When you're thread basting, sometimes it's easy for the fabric to move. Yes. And you can distort, my card's pretty hard to distort because it's thicker, mm. but you could distort it slightly, the shape. So I just think it works really nice and you don't need to use much at all. So you just put your um, paper piece central onto your fabric and you just use a tiny bit. You probably won't even be able to see how much glue. Oh, so and you, you don't just like glue. On the card, mm. I glue on the fabric. There's no right or wrong. Right. You can glue on the card. But I glue on the fabric and I don't glue close to the card edge. So you don't get any sticky residue on your needle or anything. So I glue, uh, glue close to the edge of the fabric. I've just found that my paper pieces last a but lot longer. the edge of the fabric that's nearest the card? No, away from oh, the okay. card. Yeah, and I've just found that if I glue onto the fabric, my card lasts even longer. Okay. Uh, and it's so simple. You're just going to go all the way around like that. Mm. Simple, simple, simple. So the, um, the code on the screen at the moment is the glue pen and it comes with one refill. But obviously we do so we've got the refills available separately as well as that because you will need lots. Yeah, I, um, I Dude, should it's have. It's horrible running honestly, out. Honestly, I should have, um, what do you want to call shares. it? Shares. Shares in, in, in mm. sew line. Seven ninety nine for the refills. I ran out once and used Pritt stick. Big mistake. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Don't do it. Yeah, no. Learn from my mistake. Yeah. Oh, and you it doesn't, don't it freak out if you open it and it's not blue. It could be it does, yeah, it doesn't uh, matter what yellow. Color. I don't know why they do them different colours. because they No, because they literally do exactly the same. So I'm not sure about that one either. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> Message from Laurie. Hi Jenny, I love this kit. What a great idea. I've got mine. Oh, hi Laurie. Looking great as usual. Oh, thank you. Oh, absolutely. It beauty. is a great kit, isn't it? It's beautiful. Oh yeah. So, so um, yeah, don't ever use Pritt stick because um, you, the paper, the fabric doesn't come off the card. It's 
it sort of ends up like ripping Ripped, it all. Yeah, yeah. you have like bits mm. of card stuck to the fabric. But I was desperate because I'd run out. So instead of running out, buy some refills. <laughs> I don't need this. So I've done the first three lines just to give you an idea of how it comes together. Yes, we've got oh, a little nice. bit. Of... I love the shades of green. I know. And the leaves. They're lovely, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, I absolutely love them. And I know that this starts here. So because the leaves face, you see the darker bit in all the leaves. They face the opposite direction on each row, which really helps yes. when you have forgotten. But either take a photo of the panel. But like I said, inside my pattern, I do have a reference, um, a little reference photo. Oh, yeah, there. easy. So yeah. you can see yeah. it there. So on the pattern, yeah, so you can just copy that, can't you? Yeah. There is a, a full colour photo. Yeah. So you can easily see how to do it. Oh, perfect. So it's normal English paper piecing. I'm sure many of you have seen me do it all the time. <laughs> so we're going to go right sides together. Yeah, but there'll be a lot of people who haven't. It's true, it's true. Or people and it's who, my mission to get people who haven't tried it. But also people who've just it. sort of maybe done it years ago and then haven't really learned all the tips and techniques yeah. that you know. Yep. So it's right sides together and okay. I always say this, if you have sore wrists, use a quilter's clip on the side that you're not going to be sewing. So then you do not need to hold tightly in place. Okay. So I do so much of it, even though my wrists aren't sore, I do so much that I'm trying mm. to avoid it from happening. Right. So okay. I always clip my shapes and then I can just sew. So I've knotted my thread. And we're going to start right at this corner here. So you're not going through the card at all. You're just taking a few bits of, tiny bit of the fabric. Can we see? Yeah. And we're going to go across. Well, um, any particular thread? I use Aurifil 80 watt thread. It's my absolute favourite. Why 80? Because it was actually designed specifically for English paper piecing oh, and, and sewing. Yes. Okay, so it's thinner. So it's Because the higher the number, the thinner the thread. Yeah, so it's thinner. It doesn't leave too big a holes in your in your uh, right. fabric when you're going through, and it, it just works absolutely perfectly. I love it. So okay. you're just. I'm going to do slightly larger stitches so I can show you to add the next stitch because then it just means I'll get across there quicker. But yeah, this thread is my, my go-to. So they're just like horizontal stitches? Yeah, it's just whip stitch, yeah. But yeah, I do do it horizontally, don't keep going straight, because then you're just, it's going to take ages and it doesn't need to be but too close. A lot of people have seen me stitching um, when I was at Ardingly, I was doing a little demonstration. Mm. People are like, oh, I literally do my stitches touching each other. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, you don't need to do that, that's why it's taking so long. <laughs> So I just unclip it when I get close to that edge and you can actually just carry on adding. I add all the shapes for a row and then sew in between the shapes afterwards because then I can remove some of the cards. So the less you can bend the cards, the more you can reuse them. Okay. So I've just got to the end there. Then I can see that I'm going to add my next one here. So because my thread's there, I'm going to sew this row first. So I'm just going to place it like that, right sides together. Just clip it in place. And the card comes out really easily with the glue as well. A lot of people who have never done it before always worry that mm. the card's not going <coughs> to come out. Because remember, you're not sewing through it and the glue isn't forever. Although it will stay in for as long as you leave. You can leave it in five minutes, you can leave it in five years it's still going to remove oh okay so you could do so it doesn't matter if you do them all in advance and then put them in a bag and don't oh, finish yeah. them off immediately that'll be fine it's just going to carry on going actually talking about Aurifil, we've booked my date for my book uh my book show and we're thinking Very we're going to be on with you. I hope so, because yes. Because you do Monday. Yes, I'm hoping so. Yeah, so that's next month. They're getting it a month early. That's very exciting, and isn't it? Yeah, I oh, can't wait. And I should have on the same day my own box of Aurifil threads. Wow. All 80 watt as well. All 80 weight, yeah. brilliant. All 80 weight and beautiful colours. Fantastic. Well, that's very exciting. I'm trying to persuade um, Lisa that she needs to do a new book. Oh, we had lots oh, of I'll messages in. That. No problem. 
and said, yes, we do want you to do your boat. So that's your first book. It is my first book. Very yes. exciting. It's all English paper piecing. I've been sharing loads of photos of the project. Yeah, no, I've seen them. I've seen them. Yeah, because it's um, Lisa was actually shocked because she's been my little cheerleader all the way through it. She mm. knew about it when no one knew about it because she was like, you can do this, you keep can going. Do this. Because oh, it's actually 18 projects. <gasps> I know, it's a lot, isn't it? It you is, because a, a lot of, lot of, a lot of books are about 12. Wow. But it was 18, obviously, all EPP, ranging from quilts to smaller projects. So Lisa's been my cheerleader all the way through. That's quite a lot, isn't it? It is a lot. So what sort of projects are in it? So it's all homeware. Okay, nice. So we've got quilts. Mm. We have lo like wall hangings of different sizes, an embroidery hoop and a lampshade. An wow. EPP lampshade. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to be sharing that photo of that one soon. But I mean, I'm sure people have seen it because it's on the front cover of the book, actually. Right. Um, but yeah, that's that was one very different project. There's some cushions in there, all sorts. I decided to do homeware, so no pouches. No, but that's quite I nice though, isn't it? Show what you can really actually not, do with EPP. I, I really like hanging quilts on my walls, mm. so I don't have any photos hanging on my Just quilts. Just quilts, like wall hanging. Well, our green room here hanging. has one of Jenny's quilts. It's it beautiful. So if you ever see pictures, quite often our guests will put pictures on the Facebook page of them in the green room. And Tula it's, pink one. Yeah, and it is always in the background of Jenny's chair. And it's, it's massive. Huge. It fills the whole wall. It does. It was. It's <laughs> enormous, isn't it? And Jenny made it. I did. <laughs> right, so when you get here, because this is an outer piece, you're going to keep that piece in. Technically, you don't have to. Right. Because you're not going to sew anything to this side. I tend to keep all my outer pieces in. Okay. But you can actually, if you want, press and remove it because you're going to trim the cushion down, the edges off. Again, in the pattern it shows. So this one, I am just going to fold the card slightly. And then again, clip here. And if I sew to the end of this row really quickly before we move on to the next project, I will show you how to remove a card because all sides of the shape above will be sewn around. So when you get to the first stitch, do you have to like do it more than one stitch? No, you not if you're... As no, I just keep going. Yeah. I just and what sort of needle do you use? I use a milliner's size 11. Okay. Only a size 11, no other size. This is my go-to needle. I love it. Right. <laughs> and why is that then? Because it's, it's really, really sharp, really quite thin, and it doesn't leave any holes. I like in milliners stitching. needles. It's funny, isn't it? Because obviously I thought they're only for hat making, but they're brilliant for embroidery oh. or because they're just longer. Yeah, I just love it, and um, I found that it just works. Obviously, I replace them every now and then. Mine tends to bend before it goes blunt, and that's just because I use it so much. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So we're just nearly at the end of this row, and I'll show okay, you. Okay. While you remove. do that, I will just introduce the next project. So the one that Jenny's going to be doing next, well, we've got it in two colourways, actually. Two colourways. So in the kit, so called the cross, the cross is tote big, tote bag, tote bag. For the entire kit, is that, that's the, oh, that, that's the purple one. That's this one. Isn't that gorgeous? In the kit, you have got full instructions. You've got the paper pieces. You have the printed panel, same thing as the leopard. All the pieces are already printed on here. Look at that. So you've got the back of the tote bag. You've got all of the pieces, the arrows, all of it, all on there. And you get um, half a metre of the fabric, which is used for the lining. And you get all the little paper pieces as well. 52 paper pieces in there and full instructions. That's the one that we're going to be doing next. Um, but we do have it in another colourway as well. And we'll show you the bag in a minute when Jenny goes on to that. But we've also got it in um, this colourway, which is sort of pinks and mustards. What have we called it? Magenta. Okay. Mm. Yes, yeah, pinks and mustards. <laughs> yeah. Not really magenta. Really pretty. So that's all the paper pe that's all the pieces. Um, the same as the leopard, they're already cut out. And then you've got the tote bag back and the straps as well. But in a print that matches with the front. And you've also got um, the half metre of lining fabric as well. 
But if you want just the pattern and the paper pieces, we can do that for this one. But we have less than 20 available. So if you want just the pattern, not the fabric, you have to use your own fabric for it. But if you want just the, obviously we couldn't do that with a leopard because it's got the leopard's face printed on it. But with this one, it's more of a, um, a print. So if you want just the pattern and the paper pieces, we've got that for 17 99 And if you want just the pattern and not the paper pieces, because the paper pieces templates are drawn on the back, you'd have to cut your own out. But if you want just the pattern, that's 9 99 Less than 20 left of those. That's 9 99 Ignore the split paper, can't get rid of it for some reason. Anyway, so that's... so. Um, that's everything for the next two we're going to show you in a minute. But what, what about removing the papers oh, then? Oh, yeah. I'm just going to cut this thread off even though I've not, um, I've not knotted it knot off. Do you knot it? Yeah, you would just knot it off if you come to the end. I'll show you on, um, on, on this project what you do if you come to the end of a shape. But with removing paper piecings, it's simple. Start on the last one that you... Um, Hang on a minute, let's just wait for the... Oh, Okay, there we go. Yep, so you're yep. just going to peel it off like this, it comes off really nicely with the panel fabrics. And if you can always run your needle underneath the fabric, if you don't have any nails, just run the needle under and it will just lift off. And it doesn't matter what shape you're using, it does exactly the same. Exactly the same. So as you can see, oh, fabric's yeah. perfect. Mm. Paper piece can be used many more times. That Brilliant. probably had at least two, three uses out of it. Oh, anyway. that's fantastic. Because I literally will keep going. And that's because it's your special paper. It's my special paper. Special paper. It is indeed. There you go, you can see there. Now, that one, <coughs> if you were going to sew this one together, mm. like this side, this side, carry on, you haven't got that paper piece in there oh, now, so, so it so folds it off it really and nicely, and you're going to fold it less. And obviously, the less you fold them, the more you can reuse them. The more them. you can reuse oh, them. Oh, nice. You've got a message from Mabel. Hi Jenny, it's oh, Mabel. That's Lisa's little yes. girl. Hi Mabel! <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Love Mabel. A message from Linda. Morning Rebecca and Jenny. I've started doing EPP when I'm working. I'm a living carer, just can't work out how to finish my work off. What do you mean? Do you mean what to make with it? Uh, are you sewing just hexagon loads of hexagons together? Because yeah. that's what a lot of people start with. When you think it's big enough, maybe start with a lap quilt. Mm -hmm. You can just trim it off, sandwich it as you would a quilt. I've got loads of ideas. Just message me. I can, mm. I can give you, can you bind the edges. a hand with what you can do. Or yeah. even a cushion if you don't want to make it too big. Yeah, true. And you can just cut them, make it into a cushion. There's so much you can do with just hexagons alone. Uh, yeah, you kind of have to treat it like a piece of fabric. Yeah, you're, you're basically making. making a piece of fabric. Yeah. And then you can do whatever you want with it mm. afterwards. So if, if you want some, if you want to inbox me, have a chat. <laughs> Show me what you've got, what you've made, and yeah, then okay. I can help you come up with a plan. No problem. So this panel is... Yes, yeah, so show us the bag, because you've got that hanging up where behind is it? you. It's not going to stretch too much. There we go. <laughs> not going to stretch. Skirt's quite short. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to bend over. It's hanging up. You're fine. <laughs> there we go. So this is the cushion. I love that, because the colours Oh, It's gorgeous, together. and... When you make the crosses, it's pattern matched. That's amazing. And there's no wasted of fab wasting of fabrics. If you were using like a fat quarter to get this pattern matched, you would have to fussy cut and you would end up with massive gaps yeah. in the fabric. And that makes but me cry. But it's beautiful because the colours blend in so well. Yeah. It almost looks like, you know, when you recycle denim, that kind of yes. effect, doesn't it? Yeah. So they, all the patterns match and I just absolutely love it. And then the, the back of it, and the back is, is and that's on the panel as well. And this pattern is really fun to quilt. So you probably can't see my stitching much, but I followed these lines. Oh, uh, okay. And it's, it was really fun to quilt. Yeah, easy. I saw those lines straight away and Don't I was like, them. that's how I'm quilting, quilting it. So I've got them diagonally going. So that's the blue one, the that blue version. That is the blue it's one. beautiful. Absolutely love that. And everything, you, that's such a big panel. Everything you need is on there. Yeah. And it's a really good sized um, tote bag. It can fit folders in and stuff. Oh, it's lovely. It's really, because it? it's got I a box bottom. It. And that's for, it's so nice. if you don't know what to do with EPP, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, now, if you want to make the the one that's called magenta, yes, but it's I like will show you how it will look okay. sewn together, because we've done a, Ooh. we've done a, Ooh, that's first, isn't it lovely? Yeah. They look like Moroccan tiles in this one. 
Yeah. Don't you think? You know mm. the really gorgeous yeah, ceramic no, tiles? Is. That's your holiday one, isn't yeah. it? I absolutely love these colours because I love yellow. So yeah, that's nice. And the back is exactly the same print, but in a colour to match. So we thought we'd get these sewn just to show you because sometimes it is quite hard to imagine right. what another colourway is going to look yeah, like. Yeah, exactly. But so yeah, with this one, exactly the same, you cut all yeah, the fabric pieces out. Yes, so I've got one out. here that I'll literally just show you. And then I've cut loads and basted loads so we can have a look at the different um, crosses that are in there. But it is just a case. Of, I like to hand cut because I like to sit on my sofa doing it. Any <laughs> excuse. <laughs> <laughs> so it is just cutting right around the shape simple simple so this is what's fun as well is it's really quick and easy because mm. you haven't got to figure out where the shapes are going to go on the fabric or anything and the construction of this bag is really really easy as well yeah so you could rotary cut it if you want to you oh buy, of course you, know, you can if you want to or you can sit on your sofa and do it like that and they've all got the quarter of an inch, so you haven't got to work out the pattern matching or anything, so it's yep. much better. I love it. And that. it's even got like fabric A, B, and C written mm. on these ones as well. So you love this just can kit. Do that. I, I really enjoyed kit. sitting on the sofa not cutting go them back all out. To the warehouse. <laughs> it might just fall that into That kit your... might, might stay here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is beautiful, though, isn't it? So Less than 10 of the blue. So these are the different... And that's the one on the um, on the right. Behind me. On the right, that's the blue one. And then the magenta one, the, the one that um, Jenny's working with at the moment. So it's such a fun pattern. <laughs> I've made this bag so many times. I love it. My mum has probably made, I'm sure it seems like about 20 crosses tote bags, because every time I go out with her, she's got a different one with Really? Her. Yeah. All different fabrics. Wow. She, she makes them for gifts and stuff. She absolutely loves it. It's her favourite of all my patterns to make. I'm sure it must be her favourite one that she does. So all of these fit together nicely. Probably not in the way I've done it. I make so many things I can't remember what goes okay. where. Okay. But the pieces are pointed, but that looks like... I thought yes. when I looked at it, it looked like it was squares of fabric. Ah, uh, I really am just faffing, aren't I? There we go. Yeah, no, so you get squares, triangles and arrows. So it's the squares. And this is how you make the crosses. Oh. So you put them together like this. And is that how you get the patterns matched yes, then? Yes, so they all so match like So why like do you do that then rather than having squares? Because I designed it with Just arrows. Because it, no, but it gives it a really nice effect, yeah. doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, I it like does it. give, because if, if it was squares, you wouldn't necessarily get this lovely little pattern in the middle yeah, here. Yeah, I see what you mean. And then, because I don't like wasting fabric as, as much as I can try, I will do half shapes sometimes. So instead of plonking one of those shapes there, we've done little triangles here. So Ooh. they fit together so nicely. And as you can see, all the patterns just... You always think of EPP, it's just hexagons, don't you? Oh, yeah, no. Mm. That's one thing about my book. There is only one project with a normal hexagon Ooh. in the whole book. I have gone wild and I have gone big. Oh. Big shapes. Big shape, nice. Yeah. But I like, no, I like that. I see what you mean. But it gives it, I think that's what, what gives it that really sort of faded, almost look like recycled fabrics look, doesn't it? Yeah. Because of the arrow shapes, it gives you that the lovely colours. Yeah, I just love trying out. I lost four hours of my day the other evening, four hours of my evening, drawing, <laughs> <laughs> playing with shapes. I was like, oh, I was meant to actually sew something. But I was just designing. It's been a while since I've had a minute to, to design. So I was just having a good play. So many ideas. Well, I think it's lovely to use different shapes. And I think with, well, particularly with this kit, because you've got them all printed on there and you know that it'll all join together. But I mean, it, the thing is, it's ideal for beginners, isn't it? Because it doesn't matter it what is. shape you're making, does it? It's the same technique. Yeah, it's always the same technique. So I'll show you on the. If you want the blue one, be very careful, though. We are very, very <laughs> low in stock. I'll show you on this particular one how you would make a, this is what I call a side and edge piece because it's got right. a flat bit. So then actually on these, you don't have to trim it off at all. You only have to trim off the wadding once you've um, sewn, haven't got a clip, it's fine. So 
So I've knotted my thread and as you can see, it's exactly the same technique as we did with the, with the leopard. So do you start with a knot? I do. I do a double knot, just so the cotton doesn't end up going through. Sometimes I find if I do a single knot, I put the needle through, mm. the cotton will come on straight through. Oh, okay. So I always do a double knot. Um, and it's just, it's really, this project as well is really good because it, it, wouldn't it be a perfect holiday sewing project? Yes. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Because you because can just take the, even if you haven't pre-started it, yeah. all you need is the panel, the paper mm. pieces, yes. and you could make the front of the bag while you're on holiday yeah. easily. Easily. If you're, if you're having a nice relaxing evening mm. and stuff, and you really just don't need much. Pop, pop a pouch with the paper pieces, your glue pen, your scissors, and your thread. And it's even got the bag straps on and it you're as good well. To go, yes, yes, I'll show you those. I've already pre-made those. I've pre-done the lining. So I always start from the outer outside of a shape and work in because then I can add another shape before I need to knot off. I do like to sew as long as I can before I have to knot off yeah. and start again. So how long do you have your piece of thread? Is it, do you need well, short? Well, it's snapped actually, because I've been using this piece. <laughs> I have it too long, always. You're only meant to have it from your, is it from your fingers to your elbow? You're not meant to have thread any longer than that. Oh really? Because that is why thread snaps. So I will have had this piece that I'm using right oh, now, okay. would probably have been a half a metre long now. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm probably the same. Actually, yeah, because I'm just lazy. But yeah. whether that's embroidery but or something or anything. thread is not designed to work like that. Okay. It gets weaker the more you use it, but because it's more likely to not, the longer you have your thread. Right, oh, okay. And the, um, the fibres are more likely to come out, start bittying a bit, because you are actually only meant to have it. I think it's from here to here. You are Isn't meant that to have the length really of your foot? Short. Yeah. Which is amazing. I never believed that. The length of your foot oh, is from it's meant your, to be from your wrist to your, up your and and elbow. It, yeah, and it is because I tried it once. I can believe that because I thought my feet aren't that long, surely. But it yeah, because it does seem. I was just thinking, I've got some yeah, six but, feet. That but looks if you um, if you can manage feet. it and get you have to be twist into a strange position. What? Oh yeah, and your hand span is your height, uh, like that. So I'm as high as um, a wide extra wide fabric. <laughs> Well, you know when you get 150. <laughs> is it? Um, not the 44 inches. I'm bigger than that. But the but the smaller extra, than the extra wide backing because that's oh, there's what, 180. No there. But the one that's like a little bit wider. That's because that must be how tall I am. Cause so because my thread snapped, me. I've actually just carried on from where I was. I, well, I've started a few stitches back. Right. I would never undo it all the way. I would sometimes sometimes I would undo it just long enough to me to thread the needle and quickly do a little knot. But I usually just okay. go back a few stitches and just make sure the thread that is secure. So how do you finish it off then? Right, so if I add another shape, we've got time to add another shape. Yeah, we've we got time to So I'm going to, so now I don't need to knot that bit of card or, uh, cotton off because I can now add this shape here. Okay. And then when I get to the end of this row, I will knot the cotton off. So I'm just going to So if you here. use normal weight sewing thread, then your stitches are more likely to be seen. So is it using this um, thinner makes a yeah, difference? Yeah, but at the same time, it's quite nice to see the thread, yeah, the true. stitching, because it is a hand-sewn project. So, yeah, you still see my stitches a little bit. So my Aurifil box, because I tend to use sewing my shapes together. If I'm using all different colours, I tend to use like a light grey, a dark grey. Mm. Or if I'm using different creams and whites, I'll use a cream and a white. But if I'm, yeah, but if I'm sewing loads of different tones of purple, for example, I'll use a purple thread. Right. So I really do change, but often it's a light grey and a dark grey because I'm using multiple colours. Okay. Uh, if it's darker co multiple colours, I'll use the dark grey. If it's lighter colours, right. light grey. Anyway, my thread box is a collection of the tonal threads, like the greys and that, and then a rainbow. Oh, so that covers everything. <laughs> yes. So you've got. So if you're using multi colour, that's brilliant. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing oh, that. Oh, honestly, I had so much fun picking those colours. <laughs> I bet you did. So we're just going along. I am doing slightly larger. I love Jenny's yeah. designs. I made the pen roll in Liberty and William Morris over Christmas, and have two more patterns in progress. Fab demo oh. for Collector Merseyside. Thank oh. you. 
and another one. Hi Jenny, I'm loving the panels to make effort-free fussy cut EPP fabric. Yeah. So just had to buy the tote bag kit, even though I have this design from Judith. Well, that's oh, easy. Oh yeah, hi Judith. <laughs> but that's the thing is about this is that it's just easy, isn't it? Oh, it is. It is when you just don't want to. Because although thing. you've got the pattern, you haven't got to get fussy cut, but it's getting that effect as well, it isn't is, it? It is, it is, and it is waste-free fussy cutting mm. because I love the effect of fussy cutting, but it well, it's hurts. Like, um, it hurts cutting. It does. I mean, you get a lovely kaleidoscope effect, don't you? But, it, but you also have a fat quarter with one bit cut there, yeah. one bit like, which is then scraps. Mm. And, you know, we all love our scraps, we all keep our scraps, but mm. when do we actually use our scraps? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Especially well, when they're well, really small. Well, I had Sally Stevens on last week. She says she stuffs dog beds with them. Yeah. So she, so she just keeps all of them. Even threads. Yeah. Even threads. I thought, oh, gosh, I don't. There we go. We've just got to the end there. So mm. all you're going to do is go through. I knot by wrapping my cotton around my needle twice oh. and just pulling it straight through and it's knotted. I take a stitch back for luck. Habit. <laughs> stitch for luck. Stitch back for luck, mm. and then I knot my thread. I told you I've used this. this oh, piece so you of just put weight. it through the loop. Mm. There we go. Three magenta left, three so that. blue. That's it. So, um, if you need, if you want one of these, you need to check out those. <laughs> so the next stage would be adding your fourth piece, and you're just going to do it like I did before. Shall I show you or shall I do some construction of the bag? Yeah, let's do some construction. Shall we do some construction? So it'll just be right left. side and then there. Right, so okay. Got to move all these. So do that's the sort of crosses that are at the top. Yeah, pattern. so you put them together, the layout's in the pattern and you'll put this one here and then you just sew them all together. I tend to make them all first. So then I can lay it out. I guess you can choose your layout as you well. You can, so long as, so the pieces are, that would be an edge piece. Yes. But there's a few yeah. like that, so you can just move them around and have them however you want. I'm just going to do this so I don't I'll pop my needle here before. Um, sold out. Of the purple. However, we have got the pattern on its own. If you want just the pattern on its own, it's $9.99. Um, or if you want the pattern and the paper pieces, $17.99. Still works exactly the same. Obviously, you need to provide your own fabric. So if you want to, you can buy the pattern on its own or the, and on, on the pattern, there are templates to cut out your own pieces. It's not you won't have the, you won't have the pieces, but if you want the pattern and the paper pieces, or card pieces, that's $17.99. Is there still some of the pink one left? No. Oh, all purple. Is the pink one gone? Both. Oh, okay. But we're still going to they show so how to pretty. make it. So you've quilted it. I have. I've basted it on to a piece of wadding, slightly larger, mm. and then I have cut the Anything excess in wadding particular? off. Nope. I use a 3.8 stitch length when I'm quilting, just normal um, 20, and you put 80, on the 20. Back of that either. No. 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 You don't need I to because it's with lining. That. I rarely do, unless I'm doing a quilt. I think some Even waddings, cushions um, I don't tend to. Some waddings get caught in your machine, it's yeah. a bit the, but yeah. that 80-20 No, it's the quantity quality of it, mm. it's gorgeous. So even with cushions, I never line the back of the front of right. the cushion. I will we just... That's the one, we do sell that by the half metre, if you have a look on the website. We'll find you the code in a minute. But now I find that I use that, but if it's the, the really high loft polyester, it all gets caught in the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> In the feet, just, I'm an 80 20 girl. Yeah, no, I Everything am. I make is that. So, this is the leftover from my panel. And how did you quilt it? Any pattern? Oh, uh, for this one, I did just straight lines. Oh, can we come in close? I'm always, it's always oh. when people say quilt it, and you think, oh, I want to know what pattern you quilt. So, I just quilted these in straight lines going down. Oh, okay. And in the, um, on the other one, I did an extra line in between. Oh, okay, that's yeah. nice and easy. So yeah, 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 you don't have to do anything fancy if you bit. don't fancy it. And like uh, this one I showed you before that I followed the lines right, on the back. to give a bit more yeah. interest to so it. So the uh, straps match the, the back. Obviously. Which is lovely. Of course. And they are simple. You're going to cut the same for a lining fabric. Mm. Same sizes. All the sizes are in the pattern. Yeah, okay. And what I do is I would cut this out fold it in half, press it lightly, and then fold both edges in to meet in the middle. And mm. I will do that with the lining as well. Right. And then I like to put 
wadding in my handles just because I get achy shoulders. <laughs> and I find that the wadding, 80 to 20 as well, yeah. 20. <laughs> I find right, that it's the really... there's the 80 20 graphics on there now. That is by the half metre and it's really wide. So that will be enough. Yeah. Oh, plenty to plenty. make a few. Make many, many bags of that. Yeah. 6 and it's brilliant. So it's the one that I, I use find that all the time. You don't have to put wadding in it, but I find that it's softer on your shoulders. Yeah, like that's it true. doesn't dig in as much and they're quite nice wide straps. So I just put that in and then I quilt straight line quilted okay. down matching. Well it gives it a bit more substance as well. Oh yeah, it, it makes them feel stronger yeah, as well. I like it. So I've made the lining. But I'll show you how the lining is made exactly the same as sewing these together, apart from you leave a turning gap at the bottom. Okay. So I'll show you how to do this. These probably don't line up because it was a very rush. <laughs> you know, you know demo, you know demo work. <laughs> the demo is always rushed. <laughs> I'm just going to put Well, my... it's the bit that when you're making the project, you wish you'd done the demo while you were making it, and then you don't, you do it later, and you go, oh, no, I've still got to do it. So you're just going to line up your side pieces. But you've cut a square. Oh no, it's already ah, done. So on the front piece, the square, the, is, already the gone. square is already there because uh, of the way I designed it. Okay. On the back piece, you need to cut two two inch squares, okay. one off each corner. So all you've got to do is line up your side panel and I'm using quarter of, a, quarter of an inch seam allowance. I've set this up like I was going to do some quilting. I was never going to do some quilting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure why. That's habit, that is. Just check I haven't even put the quilting foot what down. What did you say? 3.6 you used for I use 3.8 stitch oh, wow. length for quilting. Okay. Nice and big. I'm going to try that. It works really nicely mm. with a walking foot. Yeah, no, I usually normally use three, but I'm going to try that. <sighs> nice and big. Okay. Well, it does. I find it works really nicely like that. So I've got this machine that's already I've set it up to quarter of an inch. So I'm just going to sew down this seam, back stitch. Do you ever top. use a thimble when you're doing your EPP? No, because I can't find one that's <laughs> over my nails. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever cut your nails? Because <laughs> no. they're not mine. Uh. No, I always have nails like this. I can't find one that I'm comfortable with. So I so just no. end up with holy fingers. You should have seen me when I was when I was making the projects for my book. Mm. My finger was really sore. I wonder why this is so loud. It's a machine. No, this machine's usually dead quiet. I'm wondering if the table's just not on. Um, oh, okay. The legs might just need adjusting. I think it might just be vibrating slightly. So you're going to sew all the way to the end. Ooh. Gary might be in next week. Birthday special. Oh, I should be seeing Gary soon. I'm going to um, sewing for pleasure for four days for Juki. Are you? I'm teaching some workshops, introduction to quilting actually. So no. I'm going to be. So Gary might be there. Straight line quilting, free motion quilting, and show you how I do my binding because I love binding and mm. I get it really tight and really. So oh, I thought okay. an introduction, an introductory um, lesson. Even if you quilted before, you might just like some extra hits. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So I'm doing an hour workshop each day, actually, mm. that you can book on to. Oh, nice. And the rest of the time, I will be on the Duke stand talking. Fantastic. And sewing. And so, yeah, just But most likely talking sewing. more. I think they're aware. Oh, I think that sounds They know me. <laughs> so, yeah, it will be, it will be I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Four days of fun. And I'm actually on with um, Adam. Adam's going. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's, it's oh, actually, nice. I'm the only quilter. It's all sewing bee contestants. Okay. From the past. Um, I am the only non sewing bee You're a person quilter. on, yeah, on the duty stand that time. There we go. So we've sewn along both sides, and now we're just going to sew along the bottom and make this. Make the box bottom. So I'm obviously not a bag maker, like the lamb. But um, <laughs> so when I make tote bags myself, I do the most simple tote bags. Yeah. Because I'm just not. None of that special zip. Pocket none of on that the special inside. zip pocketing. Just a bag. Can't cope with that. But you could. If you want to I know. I know. Dude, Lisa's meant to be teaching me how to do all the hardware stuff. <laughs> but just to let you know, Lisa's zip pull does work because I did it live oh. on air. <laughs> I'd never done it before, mm -hmm. and she was doing it, and I just thought, oh, I'll have a go. Oh, this is good. when we did a So Crazy Girl show. Mm -hmm. It worked. First time, I think. Maybe second. Right, so to make the box bottoms, 
I you are just going to okay. pull these out. Do you want to move just okay. I'm going here? Pull Lovely. them out there so the seams match. And you can pin them if you want. I'm not going to just for time's sake. You just want the seams to go the opposite way so they nest easily. Obviously, you've got the wadding in there. And you're just going to sew a quarter of an inch from there along. I always, uh, when I'm doing the box bottoms, I always backstitch at the front and the, uh, the start and the end of that. Oh, we've had some photos. What have we had photos of? Oh, good morning. This is an EPP I'm working from. It's all scrap fabric from everything I've made in the past. Love Shelley and Ligature. It's beautiful. You know what? It's gorgeous. There is nothing better than a scrappy hexagon. Oh, it's just... And I keep meaning to do one and I just never get around to it. Because it doesn't need to match or no. go. It's just everything. I really want to start one that I can just add a hexi on, even if it's every week. It will take years, but it's just... Well, what? yeah, I guess what you should do is every time you do a project, whatever you make, you should cut a hexagon, hexagon from out it. of that fabric. Wow, I should do that. Let's do it. Oh, we should. Should we see how long it takes? Yeah. I can't imagine what... Yeah, let's... Can we go big ones? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not, not, not like... Yeah, yeah. We'll do... Um, should, we, should we do 1.75 inch? So not too big, but not too small. Two. 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 Should we do two inch? Yeah. Okay. Message from Trisha. Morning. I did the roll after seeing Jenny's demonstration last time, as I've never done it before, and I love it. From Trisha and Warwick. So thank you. It's beautiful. Oh, oh. It's beautiful. I love seeing the mates. And do you know what? It makes me so happy if I can get someone addicted to EPP. I'm yes, such an enabler. You've won, well, you've won then, haven't you? Yeah. I'm such an enabler because so I... So I need some two-inch hexes. So have, you, have you got some of those? I have. Right, not with me, but I'll you. sort you some out. And, and we'll start it. If anybody wants to join in. Yeah. I mean, so every time you make something, base you have cut to cut a two inch square. One. Yeah, at least one. So if you're using five different fabrics, if you've got enough, mm. cut okay. a hexi from each one and then we'll all start sewing them together. I, God, I use the most, make the most random projects. Yeah, I but that's no the idea. fun thing about okay. them. It, with scrappy hexi, they always oh, look the good. Velvet in it. Yeah. Barley pops. They always <laughs> look good, no matter what well, fabric do, people they? add. Just a classic. Right, we're going to do it. We're going to do gonna it. I'm just going to get some hexes off you. Yeah, then we're going to do it. <laughs> I'll put some um, two-inch hexes on my website and then everyone can just join in. Yeah, could you? Everyone join yeah, in. Yeah, everyone just join in. And then we'll It'll all... It'll be so fun. <laughs> I love to I guess, like and that. do you sew it all together as you go? Yeah, you can do. Why not? You... Because then you don't think about it. Yeah, that's If you're going to base oh, them all and then you're going to be laying them out. You will. You go, oh, I've got too many blues just, there. Uh, well, what you could do is sew them in the typical uh, grandmother's garden flower. Sew right. six together. Sew another six oh, together. And then sew then just the pop flat. them together. But oh, when you've done yeah. six and you've done the second six, sew those two together. Right, okay, don't, don't leave a bunch of six. Because right. then you're going to have that layout thing. You're going to get them all and you're going to yeah, lay them out. Yeah, that's true. And then it's going to annoy you now. Make six together, make your next six. And then, right. Cut them together. This we're is gonna what we're going to do. It's going to be the challenge. It is. I'm loving it. I'm going <laughs> to definitely do that. So, <laughs> this is so simple, this bag. I so, just so lovely. so lovely. Next up is you're going to measure, I can't remember off my head what it is Somewhere. in the pattern, but I think it's probably about three inches or four inches. And you're just going to pin those in place before you slip it in the lining and then just move the pins it just i find it easier to do this to move the pins so i'm just going to estimate this yeah, when i don't do that i always get pins in my fingers when i turn it right side down <laughs> so you would measure again I was so it's got to be right yesterday side. on um, white fabric and i dropped a bit of blood in the middle of oh, it oh no but then i remembered what you have to do you have to lick it yeah, because, your own because it's your own for your own not blood. Someone not someone else's. One, no, yeah, you don't want to be doing that to other And it people. worked. And it was white fabric as well. And I pricked my finger. Save. Was, what a save. It doesn't work with tomato puree, I discovered. Okay. Because I did that the day before. But it does work. <laughs> Messy. <laughs> I've been eating dinner, then I did something else. And <laughs> I had work for my hands. So, um, but it does work if you lick it. I'll try that. Mm. Blood, not too much puree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, what I've done is I've just pinned those handles on. 
You might want to use two pins. I'll just do all this for time. Everyone knows when they see mm. my demos, I cut corners just so that I can well, get more done. Well, that's fine. We can finish it, can't we? So you're just going to slip your bag inside. And this is where I pin loads just to make sure you line up your side seams of your lining and out a bit together. I always pin my side seams first. Because this is basically nearly the back finished already. It is. So you're only going to sew around the edge, the top edge, and then pull it through the turning gap. And I always sew around the top, uh, some top stitching, mm. just to keep that lining in place. So then, next thing I'll pin is the middle of one side. This is just so you get it equal going around. And then I will take that pin out of the right out of the uh, handle, hold it in place, and then re-pin. So I don't leave the pin underneath. I always take it out, and then I would pin the handle twice so that it doesn't go at an angle my method of madness no that makes <laughs> i just sense. wouldn't leave it in there because you could rip the fabric when you're turning it right side or out as well spear so you could get caught or spear yourself <laughs> yep so you just make sure you hold it in place i totally moved it then there we go my pins are not necessarily sharp anymore you know when you need to get new pins, you just, <laughs> yeah. it's the one thing you never get around to doing. So I'm just going to pin this other bit. But you have got very pretty pins. I do, I like pretty pins, I like pretty things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I fill up my pin box ev almost every other week, I don't know where they all go, they just dissolve right. when they hit the carpet. Do they? I'm sure they dissolve, I'm always picking them up as well. But yeah. They're just not there. They just disappear. There we go. <laughs> I'm just going to pin the next. Are they I all right it, in there? Really oh, it's least. the lamb. That's what it is. I, can, I was like, who's that giggling, giggling away? Giggling really loudly. Who's she giggling with? Elliot. Elliot. He's lovely. He's terrible. He's Do you know Elliot? <laughs> Elliot's come in today. It's a Sunday. He's just come in to flirt with Jenny and Lisa. Yeah, uh, that's it. He hasn't come in for, honestly. He did not need to it's do any Sunday. overtime. He's not, he's not directing. He's just come in to just chat and flirt, really. Yeah. It's a shocker. That's, we'll that's be questioning crazy. him later. Yeah. How long do we have? Right, so you're just going to sew all the way now around. Okay. I've taken my table off so then I can squeeze it in. I haven't pinned it much. Definitely pin yours more than I've done right now because most likely my lining is going to end up overlapping because it's going to move. I okay. Well, if done... you've missed any of Jenny's previous kits that she's done with us, in at 12 o'clock, she's going to be back with all of them. So I know I'm sorry that we have sold out of these kits, but we have got more. So don't worry, but of, of the previous designs that she's done for us, as well as one new design, her doorstop design, the doorstop cube. So don't worry if you've missed out on this, but you still want to do some EPP, she will be back with us at 12 for more. More gorgeousness. Easy gorgeousness. Easy. And if you want to get ahead with that, go on to sewingstreet.com, click on Watch Live, scroll down, and you can buy them there. So if you've missed out this hour, we are going to try and get some more. I don't know what I was about to say. Crocodiles. We're not getting any more crocodiles. Leopards. Leopards. We have got so many ideas for these animals. If we're going to try and get some more leopards in, and we will let you know when we do. But if, you want, if you've missed out in this hour and you still want to do some APP, then join us at 12. I've pretty much run out of time, haven't I? Nearly, but we think we can get all the way round. Well, I have botched it. Oh, yeah, you've run out I of time. I just wanted little, like, to make Lisa is feel alright. Is that because Lisa's right? just like, Don't in. worry, Lisa. <laughs> it goes wrong for everyone. You didn't get I did get the Lisa say. vaccine in time, did you? No. Yeah. So Lisa's just walked back in. It's, it's gone all so well. It has gone point. so well. <laughs> no, what, what, no, all that's happened is I did not pin it enough around the edge, so it's moved slightly. Never mind. But what all you're going to do after this... Is pin yours more. Is pin it more, and then you just pull it through this gap handles mm. and everything, push your lining in. I tend to put it on the edge, um, through an ironing board on the mm. edge, just to press around the edge nicely and get your lining tucked in, because you don't want the lining coming up over the top. Mm. And then just top stitch with, I match my top stitch to my quilting length. 
Right. Because it almost then looks like an extra line of quilting. Oh, So nice. if I've done 3.8 quilting, right. my top stitch will also be 3.8. I'm going to try this. And then I do it usually just a quarter of an inch below okay. the fold. Mm. And do it like that. Nice. It looks very lovely. So I'm going to change. I'm going to go 3.8 from now on. <laughs> As well as, as well as doing my two inch. Um, Lisa, is the, is, is I the think paper we should get Lisa to do. Not the fabric, the paper the pieces. The paper, piece. paper pieces will do two inch. Right. Then and you they're going to be on Jenny's website. And I think I might get Lisa to do yeah, one as well. Yeah, we should do. No, no, no zips. No, no, no. It's EPP, Lisa. You're going to make a hexi quilt with us. Everyone's mm. going to do it. Yeah. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. We're going to use up our scraps. Yeah. That sounds good. Fantastic. We'll right. right we will see hour. you back here in an hour yes. for more EPP loveliness. Indeed. All the fun. All the fun. And the doorstop cube and all of um, blah, 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 Jenny's previous projects as well. So if yes. you've missed out on the kits this hour, I'm so sorry, but she will be back. Um, I'll be back with you in a couple of minutes. Um, if you've got anything of Lisa's in your basket, she's with me. She's just waiting. She'll be with us in a couple of minutes. Uh, some of her um, kits are already starting to get limited. So while we're on a break for a couple of minutes, do check out what we've got on the website and check out. I'll see you back here in a couple of minutes time. Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learnt lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps, and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. 
Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. <laughs> Welcome back to So Street. You know, it's all going wrong here today. It's cool. I spoke with myself a cup of tea. I blame it. I blame it on Lisa Jenny. It's all that giggling. I take the blame. It's all the giggling. It's fair. It's a fair. Anyway, it's fair welcome back to Sewing Street. We have got another fantastic bag making hour with Lisa Glam. who's still looking glam. I don't know about it's all going to go really smoothly now. Yes, yes, yes. All really smoothly. It's all sorted. Um, so the bag we have got today, now, this one. So the happiness hobo, why the happiness hobo? Um, because I, that when I saw that fabric, I just thought that's just joyful. It isn't is it? joyful, isn't and it? And I love alliteration. Okay, yeah, <laughs> true. Is that because you're called Lisa Lamb? Could be. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your real name, is it? No, 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 no. <laughs> The happiness hobo it's lovely isn't it thank you so what's the main features of, of the bag then the main features are um a really nice center panel pocket yes which, which is um familiar. i don't i no i think i think like the pocket technique i don't know if it's unique to me but it's really nice and it's really simple mm. and you, there's no there's no scary bulky bits involved in putting the whole front of the bag together. Okay, I'm so going to give it to you defo, so you can I'm defo talk going through to... it. Because I'm holding it and you're talking, so let's do it that way around. <laughs> I'm, I'm defo, <laughs> okay. so I already have a zip with a zip panel on it, with a zippy thing on it. So I promise to show you how to make mm. this pocket. We've got a super lovely... I love the tassels. Blingy tassel. It's, bling, it's, bling. A it's a nice enough bag without it. But then when you add this on... Yeah. Ta -da! Mm. You know, it just looks nice hanging off your shoulder. Um, we have a strong PU shoulder strap here. And we've got a really cool pocket. Now, I didn't have time to mention that in my um, first hour, but the two bags, the Safari Sling and the Happiness Hobo, have this really funky pocket inside. So you might have noticed it's just a magnetic snap mm. closure, which is great for getting in and out of quickly, yeah, but yes. people prefer security, you know, as they should. So we've got this huge zip pocket oh, inside, okay. which also acts as a divider. So it, it's like two, it's two pockets in one. Right, yes, yeah, so you've got it's a divider pocket. And, and another function that this um, pocket has is, I know you can't see it, but it actually is stabilising. So, you know, we were talking about how foam adds structure to mm. a bag. Well, this pocket is made in such a way that it stabilises the bag from uh, the inside okay. because it's quite squishy and sturdy, which means that we don't need to work with foam at all in the bag. Because right, I that's know, really nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it, it makes the bag easier to make and it also makes it a substantial pocket. So it's a really nice handbag, but it's sort of a decent size. It is a, a decent, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I, it, maybe it's the Chinese-ness in me, but I don't like making things which aren't practical. Okay, I just don't like making small bags. Well, th there is that as I've well. I've got a bag that has a divider in it and that isn't joined in at the bottom, so which it took me a while to discover. So yes. you put things in and it just goes underneath. <laughs> and then, and Where's think, my card? Where's what my is keys? The point in that? Yeah, I know. Why well, would you? Why would you do that? That seems like a missed opportunity. Yeah, I so I, for a while, get thinking. It's all. It's just like, oh, just Becky's not paying for the round yet again. Yeah, no, it's yes, just the divider that just was joined down the side. How weird is that? 
But that, at least you can get a lot of stuff in that you anyway. Can. So that's fun. You can. So in the kit, now this is the complete kit. So everything that you need to make the bag. So we have got this beautiful fabric. Isn't it gorgeous? It's like Anna Maria a Horner. lovely aqua background with yellow roses on it. Is that a fat quarter? I feel like it that's is, a fat yeah. Quarter. And well, you're you're only going to use half of that as well. Oh, and you're only going to use yes. So you have more left. Then you get um, a meter of this beautiful. Is it fuchsia? I think. I Magenta. Think, I think they've mixed the colours up, you know, Becky. I mean, they both work right. with the bags because I used I used um, <laughs> I used the pink. On. Oh, okay. But, but they it, both work. They both work. But this, yes, this one has got. <laughs> you've used it the other way around. <laughs> oh well. Um, magenta in this one, and then you get half a meter of this lovely slate grey PU. It's gorgeous, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really easy to sew with. It's because the kind of bond doesn't fray. No, nope. sews yep. through. You also get full instructions, everything you need to know, and as with all of Lisa's patterns. Very, very comprehensive. Lots of photos and all of the trims. So you get the handle, you get the zip, which lovely metal look with two sliders. This time they've both got circular, they're silver ones. They've both got circular ends. And you get the tassels for $44.99. But if you just want the instructions and the trims, no fabric because you've got your own fabric. So that's all the trim, that's all of this here, all the, the zip, the handle and the tassels and just the instructions. $27.99. Okay. Um, have we got... <laughs> so that's $27.99. For... There's only seven of those left. Wow. So if you want that one, you need to check oh, out thank you everyone if you want the instructions on their own because you've got your own hardware but you just want the instructions so no fabric at all that's 9.99 and that's just the instructions so three choices um but if you want the black one three choices except for this one if you want the pu black strap on its own which comes with the it's got um rings lovely silver rings on the bottom which are riveted in 9.99 they're spring gate so you don't need extra d rings it's really useful oh do they come undone yeah yeah you can you can open them oh. it's so useful oh how fab is that if it's, you find the hinge oh, bit out now. yeah yeah so look look at that it's got a little hinge so if you just press that down look at that so you can just put a tab on the bag. Yeah, if you look on the bag, if you look on the bag, I've just made strong can handle. Can come over to Lisa? I've just made strong handle loops. <laughs> I've just made strong handle loops ah, and then and I've then clipped the, yeah. Wow, I've because never I think seen if you had before. If you had two rings here, it would look really busy. Yes. So that's why I think I've never seen neater. these before. Oh. Hmm. They've got like a little hinge. Yeah. Well, what a brilliant strap. So 9.99. Gorgeous. 23 inches long. Tassels on their own and you get two tassels in the pack. I'm going to open them just cuz. Make brilliant earrings. <laughs> <laughs> now that's giving me ideas. <laughs> Key rings. Yes. Earring, we get two. 4.99. That's a really good price. Mhm. Mm and they've got a nice little um, lobstery yes. class thing on the top. Nice key ring. Or actually, um, you know, when you've got keys hanging in your door. Yeah. Well, just if they'd look nice hanging on that, wouldn't they? Yes, they would. It's just so four ninety nine. Pop it on your other bags as well if you want. Put them on any bags. They've got a little lobster clasp on them, so they're quite easy to do and undo, as well as a key ring fitting. So you've got two choices. Mm -hmm. Nice. So you can either put them on the key ring, or they've got the lobster clasp as well. Four ninety nine to stand it to your order. You only pay one p and p, so you know, nice thing to have. And zips. So finally, so it's a meter of zip, which is um, black tape and then silver, and it really does. I thought it was metal, and I, I thought when I first saw it, very flexible for metal. How nice! <laughs> but it feels like yes, metal. Yes, yes, and it shines like metal. It's weird. You really isn't can't it? tell by looking at it. 
Anyway, and that comes with two zip sliders. They've both got their silver to match the zip, obviously, and they've got circular ends. Four ninety nine. That's a fantastic price. I've they not are, seen yes. that quality of zip with two sliders for that price. Four ninety nine. So you've got all the choices and all the options and everything. Okay. Right, Lisa, where shall we start? I thought, because I went into the green room yeah. with my zip slider and zip, and guess what happened? And Becky? it worked. Guess, yes, first it time. It's something about this room <coughs> then. So, so, now if, if I don't do this nearly straight away, I'm just going to give up the ghost okay. and get on with the but demo. But this is last chance. Because that's why I'm here, really. Yeah. <laughs> just do a back demo, you know. Come okay. on, come and do a back demo. Okay, so. <laughs> She's going to give it. Right, can we be on close-up before Lisa starts? All right, okay. Is the fire brigade on the... Uh, on, on yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I've got my zip slider. I've got my zip. The wrong side up. I've got I've got my zip pull in the gadget, wrong side up, pointy end facing away. Now please work, please work. Stop giggling. <laughs> dun dun dun! dun, dun, dun. I oh my can, goodness! Can, I can do it! I can yes! <laughs> Drum roll for that. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank, Thank well, you. That's, that's convinced me. I need a meet of this. <laughs> it, works. it works. It works. It's a beautiful it zip. Thank you. Thank you. Right. I'm so relieved. Right. I will sleep tonight You just now. need to, I don't know, winds needs to blow in the right direction. Sometimes they, yes, sometimes mm. they do. Sometimes mm. they do. Right. The first thing I am going to focus on is going to make this fancy front pocket okay which is made of a upper panel and a lower panel so in the um pattern i've called this upper panel lower panel very catchy and it's got a pink lining inside i'm going to show you how to do that now oh yeah ours so, will be mag magenta so um i've got my i've got my um piece of zip and as i mentioned in the show before I got my slider on in the safety and comfort of my home and then once the slider was on then I trimmed it to size so right. remember people try to get your slider on before you trim the zip to size mm. that guarantees you nice even edges which is really important and then I've got my I've got my zip and I'm going to work with the upper I'm going to work with the upper panel first Okay. So with the zip, the um, right side up and the pointy end facing to the left, you don't need to remember this now, for everyone. It's written in the pattern. I've applied my quilter's washable tape to the top edge and I've done the same to the other side. I'm now going to remove the backings. <laughs> Mabel's still watching. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, baby. Oh, thank you. You're my good luck charm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get my um, upper panel pieces. So the, me the measurements, uh, oh, again, we're working, we're just working with rectangles for this bag. There's, n there's no curvy bits, there's no templates. There's just a list of cutting instructions for rectangles. And I state which is the height and which is the width. One good tip, though, you're mm -hmm. going to end up with quite a few rectangles, unsurprisingly. I, I, what I like to do is, after I've cut my, right, my rectangles, because some of the sizes are quite close, that you, you, know, you might, for instance, get 21 centimetres versus 22 centimetres, and it might sound finickety to you, but there is a reason why some of the shapes are nearly square. What I like to do is I like to get a clip I put that clip there, and then that way I know that that is a vertical edge. Right, okay, that makes then sense. Then I don't need to concentrate on, you know, am I using the top or the bottom. So, right, okay, back to the top panel bit. I'm going to get my lining. So the, the pieces on, on the um, pocket, they're all interfaced. I'm not using interlining on this pocket because the outer and the lining are interfaced with your medium fusible. Okay. So I've got, now I've got my lining right side up and I've got my zip right side up. And I take, 
I take my time, more time than you would have, to bond the edges. So right side up lining, right side up zip, and then I get my outer top panel bit and I put that on top of the zip. So we've got ourselves a zippy sandwich here and that upper panel bit is wrong side up. And then I'm going to stitch. Oh, hang on, that was a little bit. To the, the tassels left. are on the side of the right hand side of the screen if you look at them. The full kit is on the left. Um, OEL 962 is the bag tassel. They are gorgeous. Thank you. And they come with a lobster clasp and a key ring bit attached to them. Yes, nice. so you've got the option of what to dangle what from what. Yes, I would hang them on my <laughs> keys that sit in my back door. Yes, like one of those posh upholstery tassels. Mm. I like that effect. Okay, so the nice thing about the tape is it ensures that everything stays in place and also you don't need to remove it either. So now, now I'm going to stitch with a quarter of an inch seam. So when you're working with um, size five zips, it's often a good idea to know what seam allowance. So size five is usually quarter of an inch seam Do you use when a you're zip sewing foot zips. Then? No, I um I always use a walking foot. I use a walking foot for over ninety five percent of oh, my okay. sewing. So a you a you can stitch over the nylon. Um, yeah, no, I've I've um I could use a zipper foot, but I I, but I, I guess because the tape is a bit wider, yes. you don't need to. Whereas like dress zips. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. In fact, in fact, with a size five, you've got loads. You've got loads of room. Mm. Yeah, I, I barely good. take. I barely take my walking foot off. Yes, because I've started, um, you know, venturing into a bit of dressmaking. Mm. Firstly, making clothes for Mabel because you know we don't have to deal with hips and boobs and things. Yeah. And, and then I will, you know, as I get a bit more confident move on to um we'll be looking forward to lisa house. lamb's next book the dressmaking <laughs> bible I'm going on a month. <laughs> yeah. oh you're not getting away with it we're going to convince her I, I would i would i would love to really it just I is would. a lot of work isn't it, it yeah it, it it's it, there's so there's so much work involved mm. in instruction book well, you know what it's like when you're writing patterns. No, it's just, yeah, it just takes forever. Even, even planning a shot in your head to match mm. with the words. And, you know, I, I like to try and write patterns that assume no knowledge. Mm. And, that, and that can be, sometimes writing the simplest instruction can be even harder than writing something that's a little <laughs> yes. bit more technically. Yeah. I know, I don't think I've met anyone who's written a book who doesn't say, oh, I'm writing the book. He's like, oh, I got rid of it. You know, there's always some sort of. <gasps> yes, yeah, totally. Can't come out for a drink. Mm. I can't get out my slippers. Yeah, I've got to stay in and write my book. Mm. Maybe but in another. Maybe they could come out every twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful special thing to have been able mm. to do. But, core blimey, it's hard work. <laughs> All right, so I'm not going to show you that line of stitching because it's a bit wibbly wobbly. Okay. But you would have done a nice straight quarter of an inch seam. And now, now you're going to flip everything over to the right side. And you're going to use an iron or a... Uh, ooh, don't let that zip pull escape. Because <laughs> we're not going back there again. <laughs> and you're just going to press the seams to the right side. Yeah, but if you want the um, the roll and press that Lisa's using is fantastic because you don't have to use an iron, no. so you don't have to worry about if you're using PU or something. It's you're worried about exactly. melting your zip. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's the simplest. You know, it's a Isn't plastic it? tool. You think why why do I have to pay you sixteen think, pounds? That, I resent having did that to come pay. out of a cracker, but it's actually yeah, it's so so it's so well so engineered. It, it's yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But I, it's a clover product, isn't it? It's beautifully I, engineered I am, and it I works. I am a sucker for the clover. I am. For the, I, I, and in fact, I met, um, I went to quilt quilt market in in um, America once and I, I met the clover people. They're so nice. I and used yesterday the clover tassel maker. Have you ever used oh, that? Oh, I've got one. I Have still, you? I haven't gotten around Ooh. to using it yet. It comes in small and large. Was it satisfying? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well, I use their plump 
plom 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 make it awesome and yesterday for a show that we've got on sewing street tomorrow i wanted yes. to make some tassels so i used the tassel maker amazing yes. amazing honestly if you've never made a tassel clever tassel makers the, the stuff just works and two o'clock tomorrow it, it doesn't just work they they take oh, they just... take the bother to use pretty colors yes which is important right pretty colors yeah and they're always best really really good quality yes. yeah they, they really do what they say mm. on the tin I've made four amazing tassels. What are they going to be for? Or can't you tell me? No, I'll show you. They're on my desk. Mm -hmm. We've got some beautiful brand new velvet fabric that we're launching tomorrow. Um, with Patterned or plain? Patterned. <gasps> no! Amazing. And no. I made a lot of things for it yesterday. And they've got, it's got like lions and tigers and parrots and jungle. And so I made... It's making me think gentlemen's club. So I made no. some cushions with tassels on no. using... Oh, that's that's in the. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. yeah. It's so soft oh, though, and it doesn't fray. Yeah. It's like using PU. It's amazing. <gasps> Is that going to be available um, off the off the bolt? Yes, by the half meter. <coughs> there are six different colours. That's going to really shush up. Two o'clock tomorrow. Cool velvet homewares. Yes, please. Yes, so I made a big cushion with tassels, yeah. a cushion with pom poms, a cosmetic <gasps> bag, and a tote bag. Fantastic. I know. I know. Just love it. Just it, because it doesn't fray at all. Yes, because uh, it's a nightmare, isn't it? It you know you you either have like massive seam allowances, which kind of gets confusing. Well, I guess it's the law, isn't it? But it's printed so beautifully and it's so soft. It's nice. Mm. Okay. Oh, well, so when you go out the, next, have a look. It's all set. I will on my have desk. a I will have a closer look. A but I did see it. I did <laughs> see it. Make a nice bag, actually. Yeah. Of course it would. Mm. Maybe they might let me use some if they have me back. Yes, of course they'll have you back. Now you, well, obviously if you <laughs> haven't got that zip in this time, then I, you know, I can't guarantee that. But now that you've actually got the zip in, <laughs> message. Fab to see Lisa, so talented and her oh, laugh is infection. Thank you. Made loads of her designs and I'm loving the demo from Collector oh. Mosaic. Yes, she is, isn't she? Thank you, Collector. These votes of confidence are just... Oh, I know. It's know. Great. Well, I remember when I, when... I met you on Sewing Court and I thought, oh, it's Lisa Lab who wrote my book. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, ladies. What is Lisa's zip tool called? Or where can I go? But oh, well. Yes, well. they cost £59.99. <laughs> Lisa will send. No, you can get them from the Long River website because we yes, don't stock them. And they're called tea towel holder. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are. If you look, if you put in the search, metal adhesive metal tea, adhesive towel, tea hook. towel hook. Yes, and um, I'll, I'll put it back in shot again for you. You need to buy Just some and there. then put a sticky label, put Lisa <laughs> Lamb, and then sell them for like three times the price. You'd make a fortune. I wouldn't do something. No. no. But we could. <laughs> <laughs> we could uh, sew Amber, streets. Amber zip makes. inserter. <laughs> yeah, I could do that. You're just basically no looking for something with a, a, a V-shaped groove. Mm. Yeah, Anything. yes, pop it, pop it on your bag. Amber makes, Amber yeah, makes that's it. Yeah. exceedingly good In brackets, good zips. who has no scruples. <laughs> <laughs> Never would do something. Thanks to the lovely <laughs> Lisa Lamb. <laughs> My pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs> so what I've just done now is I have top-stitched the zip in, one-eighth nice. of an inch. And I'm going to repeat the procedure, putting this in. So look, we've got our lining side. Mm -mm -mm. Nice. Outer side. Mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm. Looking like that, and then I'll do the same, do exactly the same for the lower panel side. Have we got the quilters tape? Um, no, we haven't got it in the stock at the moment. I did. Um, do. I had brought some. I brought some to um, last show with so crazy girls. Okay. But yeah, you. Uh, if no, we do. We do have it normally. It's just out. It's of stock. it's great stuff. So it's just if you haven't got it, you just have to use pins. You, yeah, you you can use. Have pins. you ever used glue? Does that work? Uh, you know, I believe the, um, some people use like the sew line yeah. glue. I just imagine that after a bit of manipulation, it would kind of come apart. It would. Oh, okay. And with this and with this tape, you know, it it, it well, it wouldn't. It's just. It's just really convenient to use okay. the tape. So I've not really used before. The, before I knew of the tape, I would use pins. But the thing about the pins is it makes everything a bit bibbly bobbly wobbly. It does. Well, I use pins because I haven't got any of that tape and it ah. does distort it. It does, yeah. Yeah, and, and yeah. then you've got the hassle of removing the pins. I know. Because you must remove your pins. I'm going to get some of that. Do it. And a tea towel holder. <laughs> and um, one of Jenny's panels. Shall I come along really and design like your bag. kitchen? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really get like the blue bag. Le yeah. Le yes. <laughs> Leroy is a very handsome. Mm. He's a very handsome cat. 
And the zips. And the zips. I know, it's a nightmare, isn't it? It is a nightmare. I need to get a job on like a motor parts show or something because I've got no interest in those. <laughs> <laughs> but you wouldn't have as much fun. No. And people go, oh, and, and have you tried that? No. <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. But I haven't spent a penny. <laughs> well, it keeps us out of trouble. Keeps us out of trouble. It doesn't hurt anyone. Yeah. It's very good. It's very good for keeping you distracted as well, isn't it, sewing? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> My husband was out all day yesterday watching the football and he came back and said, what have you done today? I said, well, I've worked all day. But do you know what? It was nice work. Because yeah. I made a velvet cushion. <laughs> you know, it was all work. And, that, and that's for work. But how nice. E exactly. How nice. In your slippers. I mean, like... I didn't say that. I went, oh, yeah, it's been really hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've... Um, I've, I've Paid for part of the holiday. I know. I listened to Radio Four all know? day in my slippers. With yeah, exactly. Things. Slippers okay. and your jogger pants. I know. Putting bits into bags and labelling them. It's actually really pleasant. <laughs> oh, I mustn't say that out loud. <laughs> I'm so I worked lucky. really hard for <laughs> the family <laughs> at today. It, at least it wasn't motor parts. <laughs> okay, right. So just going to do the same again. I get my lining right side up. Zip this time is wrong side up. Let's double check that's right. Yep. And we're just going to make a zippy sandwich like we did with the other side. Earlier. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, cool. And if you're unsure, just double check once you've um, bonded the layers together. Mm. That it's going to work, you know, like by flipping, by flipping layers. Did I? Oh, assuming right? yes, so and yeah. make sure you've got them the right yeah. way round. Yeah, I still, I still, I still do this, and it's just as well I did because I put the wrong layers on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's sort of annoying, <laughs> isn't it? On purpose. What else do you expect? You yeah, know, but it's important to do that on purpose. I'm, I'm being consistent to show. Yeah, I don't want to bamboozle go people. Wrong. I don't want them to think that, you know, I can do this in my sleep or anything because I flipping can't. <laughs> I like the um, internal pocket on this bag. Yes, the internal pocket is, is um, I think it's pretty cool. And I don't know. I mean, I like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say, look, it's a Lisa Lamb you can. pocket, but it's something that I made whilst fiddling around, you know, I thought, oh, hang on. That would be good if you did this, and that would be good if you did that. It's in this one as well, isn't it? Yeah, the bo bo both of them. I might, I might add that pocket to, you know, a few other bags because it's, it's, it's an easy divider and zip pocket. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's basically, easier than yeah, your, it's, it's like easier than your letterbox pocket, which I know some people are horrified by. Mm. Do you know what oh, I no, mean I by the letterbox letter pocket? A letterbox pocket. Hmm? I don't mind a letterbox pocket. Oh really? Pocket. Bit fiddly, but quite like them. Yeah, they do. They great. do look flush, but that thing's that thing's mega huge. It's mega huge. Yeah. It's secure, and you know it's convenient. And it's a divider. Yeah. With a bottom. A divider with a divided <laughs> bottom. <laughs> I like mine. Ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> so I haven't worked that one out. I, don't, I still can't work out what the point of it is. A divided bottom. Mm. Um, hi Rebecca Neeson, loving the show. Can I ask, is this bag easy enough for a beginner? Yes, it is. I promise it is. So I, I, I'm, I'm very interested in making bags that, that look polished, but are, I wouldn't say super easy to put together, but if you, if you read the instructions mm. and look at the measurements, a beginner would be able to. I suppose it depends what you mean by a beginner, because if you can't you a thread a sewing machine, that's probably yeah. It. Are yeah. you a beginner bag maker? Yeah. Um, are you a beginner? You've never used a sewing machine before. You know, it depends what you mean by a beginner. Well, I would say if you've never used a sewing machine, probably best to start on something else. Yes. Yeah. But if you have done some sewing or you you understand the sewing machine. Yeah. and you've never made a bag, then that's fine because all those skills are transferable anyway. I absolutely agree. Uh, and in as much as, you know, bag making also nicks loads of other tools from, yes. you know, yeah. there aren't really bag making tools. Bag making is a mishmash of materials, working with what you've got. And uh, yeah, like there's loads of quilt, you know, quilt tools. And I mean, yeah, I, 
once you're comfortable with the zip thing, but the zips that I'm doing now, honestly not difficult, yet granted getting the pull on might be a bit I of know, a... I know, yeah. but the way that you've explained it, especially using things like the tape, yeah. I think people have a fear of zips. It's understandable. Some, but it doesn't have to be. It's the, no. You know, it's only sewing two bits of fabric together. It's just one happens to yes. have teeth attached. That's right. And then, yeah, I've, all I've done really is sewn two fabrics wrong sides together. Mm. But there's a zip sandwiched in between. Really? So that's going to look like that. And I'm just going to... I love that fabric. It's, lo it's Anna, Maria, it? Anna Maria Horner. Oh, is it? I was going to yeah. say to you, where's that from? Yeah, and um, and, and, I, and I said to Ian, save it. I wondered, yeah, it is, is there going to be enough? Well, and like you get a fat quarter in the kit. Yeah, see, and, and, that's, and that's all that. you're using. Ooh. So that can be yeah. a leather bag. Yes, it could be a pouch. Well, it actually, you could make a really bag. nice zip pouch with that. Yeah, you? yeah, you could. And you'll have enough zip left over. Even, you know, you'll, okay, so you can make it like a little pouch. To we're only going to be using this amount of zip and the zip inside. Okay. And even still, there'll be some left over. Um, this is from Karen. Hi, Rebecca and Lisa. Can't wait till I retire. And my hardest <laughs> decision of the day is to sew little crochet. I know. It's tricky, yeah, isn't it? same. Well, what I would go with is crochet knitting is for the evening in front of the telly. Yep. Call the midwife. Fire. Oh, nice. Crochet. Yeah, everyone's had their dinner. Last night, yeah. casualty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was quite traumatic, though. Um, and then sewing is in the day. I know. Yeah. I just want to retire. Yeah, exactly. Although I do spend you, you a lot of day, day want, sewing, to be honest. You want a sofa surfing in the evening, definitely. Or tassel making, you can do in front there of the telly. There you go. I know what Jenny said. The reason that she cuts out her EP by hand, not rotary cutter, is because she can sit on the sofa. <laughs> I don't blame her. True. She, uh, yeah, she, she rules the roast from, um, from the um, sofa. It's where it's all happening. <laughs> Okay, so I just... Karen, my advice is retire. <laughs> I can't wait to retire. I can't. It's going to be It's going to be amazing. People say, oh, you'd be bored. No. Oh, no, I won't. No, we can make stuff. We can learn stuff. Mm. It's going to be fab. Now, so we've got, we've got the pocket front. And I know that on some bags, what they do is they, they, they um, combine that with the lining so that this zip actually gets you into the main part of the bag but i didn't want to do that because i like having separated pockets yes so when we get to this stage i've got a pocket back which goes so the pocket back is a rectangle that looks like that it's got interfacing mm -hmm. the measurements are in the pattern and that gets stitched onto the back of this pocket um, I think it's something like um, two inches down. Can't quite remember. It's in the okay, but with the interfacing isn't in the kit. But if you need interfacing, we do have a. It's just the medium weight. Iron yeah, interfacing, just the medium weight. We have got yeah. that. You, yeah, you do need it. I'm just Is it on the um, on the website? Yeah. So if you go on sewingstreet.com and click on watch live and scroll down, we have got that. It's a meter squ square piece. Hi, lovelies. Hope the instructions are good. Bought loads. But not oh. able to record the show. Love Lisa's bag so much. Oh, thank you, uh, Sandy. That's fine, Sandy. Do you know oh. what? You can watch it back on YouTube. I think by tomorrow, if you just put in Sewing Street, 27th of February, uh, 2022, and then you'll watch the whole show. But you can fast forward to the bit that you need for this. So that's fine. The instructions are very good. Very good. So you don't need to be able to record. You can watch it on YouTube and you can watch it. It stays on there forever. I'm always watching back shows. Well, it's nostalgia, and it's nice. Well, if I if we're if we're doing a product on air that we've done before, yeah. and I go back and have a look, or I want to Make see how handy that was to done. Be able to do that. Um, not my show own shows, obviously, because it's just like awful. I go, oh my god, do I actually do I sound do like I that? Do I really sound? Do I put zip pulls on zip like that? Oh, that do I really that, sound that wasn't like me. that? <clears throat> right. So, uh, and I want to Sandy, very good. if there's anything that doesn't make sense tag me tag my name and i will get back to you and that goes for everyone on facebook person. yeah so what i've done is i've got the um on facebook yes just lisa lamb um if i've got the the pocket back mm. and i've put it on the back of the um front pocket and it's five centimeters down so this is the this is the top edge 
So you, 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 you clip it on five centimetres down. And because I don't want, very important, I don't want these stitches to show on the outside. I'm, when I sew this, I flip it down out of the way. Oh, okay. So you're sewing to the um, yeah. zip. I'm sewing a bag, and, I, and, the I, and I didn't, and I don't want the pocket to be the full length of the bag because that's going to create unattractive bulk here. So the pocket actually stops. Okay. Here. Otherwise, stuff would roll down. Yeah, and it wouldn't. It wouldn't look nice. It would ruin the outline. We don't want to ruin the outline. We work hard to get that outline. We don't want to ruin the outline. Okay. So it's a simple straight stitch across. Golly, even the machine's being nicer to me this hour. Mm, you've seen you've had it now, that's it. It's all <laughs> gonna go wrong now. Doing the bit word and I say anything. <laughs> and same story for the bottom side. And I've folded the um, outer fabric out. Right, away. so you sew it to the lining, not the outer. I was thinking, how are you yeah. gonna do that? Uh, okay, yeah. that's it. So you know, this this has got your bag. So that's all but perfect. It's, it's yes. Oh I like that. Because we You see it's things like this, this is where you're the bag making expert because we would all know how to make a pocket, but it's little things, not we would all know, but little a lot of tricks. people would know how to make a pocket. Yeah. But it's little things like um, making sure it doesn't go all the way down, which I wouldn't think of, and also sewing it to the lining. Yes, so that yeah. You, I would have just sewn it across. I thought, nice line of top stitching then. And that's but, fair um, enough. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, and, and it's not, you know, I like to think it's not complicated to do. I know, but it takes a lot of experience. Yeah, it, to, it's having done this a lot, a long to time. To get there since two thousand and three. Wow. Yeah, that's and that's the thing, isn't it? Time. So that's mm. that's how the pocket looks at the front. That's how it looks at the back. To finish off, I'm just going to sew um, the side seams, but only with a half a centimeter. So the whole centimeter seam allowance is one centimeter. I'm just going to stitch along the sides. Well, yeah, along here with half a centimetre because it just keeps the layers together. You, uh, it, those stitches won't show on the finished bag, and it doesn't. And it doesn't matter that these um, side seam stitches are going to show on the front because we're sewing inside the seam allowance. So I'll just go ahead and do that now. Betty from Jam, you've just described my day. <laughs> so in <laughs> daytime. Crochet, Tunisian crochet for evening's bedtime, plus dog and meal times included. I know I struggled with them yesterday. I was is like, that, I've got that Jan Hill. Yes, Jan. She's got class. I, tell I know you. that's Jan Hill because I know yeah. that she's into Tunisian. Morning, Jan. How are you this morning? I haven't spoken to you for a while. I hope everything's going well. Um, got a couple of years to go, but I'm spending a fortune <laughs> building up my <laughs> stash first. Thank goodness for sewing stream. Well, it's very important because prices will only go up. So yeah. by building up your stash now, exactly. you're saving money. You are sa you are sa it's stock it's literally mm. stocking. You are investing up. in your retirement. That's right. That's right. Because woe betide, you know, mm. us crazy ladies with nothing to do. How annoying would we'll it be? We'd be really, really How annoying. <laughs> to really live annoying. with. I know. Would you? Like yesterday, I was like, right, I need to walk the dog. I've got to have a tea, but I need to finish this. What order should I do it in? So I said, right, dog, we're running around the field. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, sorry, dog. <laughs> and then I um, I ate my dinner while I bought, read my copy of Simply Crochet. Lovely. Because that multitasking skill comes very in handy. <laughs> because like, I who has just one project on the go? Never. Never can't do it. But you get confused then. And that's also, to be honest, why I like making bags which are easy -er to put together, mm. because it's my job. I need to have designs in advance, so I'll think of something, sketch something, and then if a bag just takes too long, that's like 10 million instructions to write. Yeah, no, that's 10 true. 10 million photos. And also, I think you lose people then as well, because they like don't, yeah, really, don't really get it. it. Exactly, exactly. It looks daunting, and I, I just I don't want to do daunting. All right, so that is your pocket. Beautiful. Half of the finished. stock of the kit that has everything has gone. And we have less than 15 of the instructions on their own. But the instructions with the all the haberdashery has sold out. So now oh, we know what is the most guys. popular because that happened last time. <laughs> <laughs> thank 
<laughs> so if you want the instructions and all the haberdashery, you have to buy the kit with the fabric. But um, over that, over half that, it's Anna Maria Horner and PU. Anna Maria. Yes, I know. Mm. So to finish off, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to show the back. That, so to no, finish off the bit. front, you've got your PU side panels. Right. And then you just stitch them to the right sides of the pocket. And then you press to the right side and then you top stitch along the PU seam. And once you've done that Any on both sides. Any tips on the PU stitching? Um, use, use a size 90 universal. And for construction, for this PU, use three and a half stitch length. And for top stitching, use um, four, four mil length. Oh, wow. Quite and, long. Um, it's fine. Yeah. And, to, and, to, and, to take, and take your time. Right. And it, it's fine to use all-purpose nylon, but you always use a branded one. Always, you know, don't, don't be saving your money on your thread. Just use right. a nice all-purpose nylon. You don't need any fancy smancy needles. A okay. universal, a universal ninety will do the job. In but fact, you, and you can that, use it for the entire bag. So you bag. need that extra thickness. Though, you the you 90. do, yeah, okay. you do. So that's that's but the does outer a normal finished. Foot, is it all right with that? I haven't Sorry, done does yeah. a normal foot work? Right? I haven't done a lot walking of foot to you. Oh, walking, walking foot. foot again. Yes, because it's got the glide. It handles the layers. When mm. it gets bulky, tastic later around this, and I'm I'm not focusing on that today, but it does get bulky, tastic here. Get your needle case out. I know everyone's got a needle case out. And in the instructions, I will... Oh, you mean the sewing machine needle? Sewing machine little... needle case, yeah. yeah. You can use a bulky seam aid, which, you know, does the same job, but I know not everyone will have one to okay. hand. You can use, if you could focus in here, yeah. you can use a, bul um, a needle case. Pop it underneath your walking foot. And it, I promise you, it will sew, sew over that bulky nightmare like you wouldn't believe. Okay. That's the only bit that you're going to think, <coughs> Yeah, just, well, but then that's the same as if you were doing yeah. jeans or something, isn't it? Yeah. Because you've got the foot lift in one end. Yes, and that's not right. The other, it's it's so. tipping up, yeah. And it really does work an absolute treat. And obviously, you, you know, do use a fresh needle for the project. So that's it, really. Okay. I've even I've written at the very beginning tips on working with PU in the pattern oh. for people that haven't tried PU before. I've done it a bit, but not much. So so if you look in the first oh, in the yeah, first okay. page, tips for working with PU, and it's got you know don't use needles, pins, and you can iron the wrong side. Yes, you can. Mm. Yeah. It's really you know I, I love working with PU because it's just it's got the stability. It's got the waterproofness. Mm. You don't quite have to interface it nearly as much as quilt weight fabric. And it doesn't and so fray. And it doesn't fray. Tall. Yeah. Let's do Teresa. I'm the same. I tell my husband that my increasing stash is for my <laughs> retirement. A few years to go, so it's time to go further. Good idea, well, there Teresa. You go. Because the thing is, there the you go. more you can buy now, the longer it will last. I mean, to be it, honest, exactly. say you've retired for 20 years, right? Yeah. Then you've got to start buying. 20 years before you retire yes do it now to build up enough it, it's almost a bit like i wish we'd gotten that house 10 years yeah. ago. yeah it's exactly mm. i think it's exactly because the, the prices will be much more in you know yes so it's exactly saving money. what with resources and energy and yeah. yeah it makes sense that's what all the clever people are doing yeah. and anyone who doesn't agree with so you listen up husband isn't and one of those clever people <laughs> <laughs> yeah we yeah, this is no guarantee of long-term investment <laughs> or financial planning. It's just what Lisa and I... You need I... to say that bit really, really yeah, okay. quickly. Yeah, we'll Your be... house is at risk if you do not keep up payment. <laughs> yeah, and the websites are available. <laughs> no, they're not. No, they're not. No, no, they're not. <laughs> no. There is nothing. There is nothing <laughs> like Sewing Street. Nothing like it. No. <laughs> right, next we're going to... Oh, the clever pocket. Yes, the clever pocket. It's hard to show that. It so what it bit. is, it's, yeah. it divides the bag in two. Yes. But so it has a zip across the top of it. So it's like having a bag divider. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's even... Actually, what you need to do is open the zip, I think. It looks it it looks neat. And I'll, I'll open the zip. So it's a massive zip it's pocket. It's brilliant. I've never thought of that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Kat. <laughs> no, don't I be sorry. I moved the stuff around on the set to have a little look. So it's like, it's a, it's a massive, 
It's a massive zip pocket. Yes, yeah, now I can see Because I know that some people wouldn't be happy with it just being a magnetic closure at the top. Mm. So it's got a big zip pocket for your phone and your keys. But then behind it, there's a magnetic snap. So it, it's a divider. So it's two, it's two pockets in one. It's brilliant. And, the pocket, and this zip pocket goes almost to the bottom of the bag as well. So it's really, it's really deep. So I'm going to, if I don't get on with it now, I'm going to run out of time. So um, I've, I've, made, I've made myself a, a zip which has, got, which has got zip ends on it. All from that same one zip that you get in the kit? Yes, yes. And it's got the pull on. The instructions on how to do this are in the pattern. And I've got my pocket lining fabric. So one thing I'll say about the pocket lining fabric is one side has got fusible interfacing and the other side is going to have the interlining so the pocket's got squish but it's also is that, got that structure. special s yes thing. yes so we have got that available separately and if so we did have it in the first half if you weren't watching them we have got that special so it's halfway between an interfacing and a wadding yeah. So it gives a bag structure and a little bit of squishiness, but without giving it um, too much bulk. Too much bulk, yeah. And in fact, you know, you couldn't, you couldn't use, you couldn't use foam for this no. pocket. It would just be a beast. But we bought it in specially because Lisa has recommended it and asked yeah. us to bring it in. So have we got slept cap? <laughs> she wasn't concentrating. You know that S interfacing. Is it S313? That Vi one. Visley. Um, so we did, if you were watching in the um, earlier hour, we had it then, but we've, and we used, it was used, there it is, four, it's 4 99 it's a metre by 90 centimetres, it's quite a big piece, but it's really... It's versatile, it's so well, versatile. Well, it's because it's halfway between, thank you, sorry. <laughs> um, I'll open it out so you can see it. We've never had this before. I'm surprised. It's it's demanded it's by Lisa. So look at the size of the piece. It's sewing, not iron on, but it is, um, it's almost like a one mil felt, isn't yeah, it? That kind yes. of thickness. So it's a thicker interfacing, but quite often with thick interfacings, they're very stiff, but this has got a lot more flexibility. It's got a lot, yeah, it's got all the, it's got a lot of give, but it still gives you the squish. So it's ideal for where you don't want to super pad something. But yeah, just or you want to make a cosmetic pouch or a coin purse yes. that doesn't need to be particularly puffy or strong well, and sometimes as well when you press interfacing can make it a bit stiff so yeah. it's a nice middle middle road yeah it's a goldilocks <laughs> nice i like the that. goldilocks I, interface that is a four nice <coughs> four night time <coughs> and it always seems a shame to put something really expensive isn't it? Well, you're not yeah gonna see if, it, you, but, if you don't need to but it's it's a big piece of 4.99 yeah, brilliant you, you brilliant to add to your interfacing stash think of your retirement <laughs> But see what you think, because we've never had it before. This is brand new to us that um, Lisa told us to buy, so we did, because we do what we're told. You're very nice like that. Mm. No one else listens to me. No. Not at home. No. Not the dog listens to me. <laughs> this is a sausage involved. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's it. Maybe I need to put more sausages in Cocktail my pocket. sausages. Yeah. yeah she'd yeah. do anything for a cocktail sausage. Vegetarian sausages, vegan sausages. I buy packs lot. of 70 a week. I should just open up my coat and say, look, I've got a sausage. You need to do what you're told. Yeah. I think someone's eating them other than the dogs. I'm sure she doesn't <laughs> eat 70 a week. I think there's other people that view them as snacks. <laughs> so I've, I've, put, I've, I've put the um, cool sewing stuff. On the mm. on the back of the lining, and because it's not ironing, to make my life easier, I've just popped some pins in, okay. which at a later stage I'll remove. But it just makes it easier to keep them together because you want to match the layers, and uh, and keep everything all lined up. With my interfacing, you'll see that I've cut off the seam allowances. Why is that then? Because we, you know, it just reduces bulk, makes it easier to sew. Okay. But with my interlining, I haven't. I haven't done that because it's going to add a bit of it's going to add a bit of stability and because this interlining's not thick it's fine to have it in the seams for this bag. Right. And also and, it's sewing. And also it's sewing. Yeah, so it'll be annoying if it's not got that, you know, mm. to keep it in, under control. So right now I'm going to work on the side with the fusible interfacing 
and I'm going to... Oh, so the whole pocket is one piece? It's two, yeah, two, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly, exactly. It's one whole piece. Um, message from Collector Merseyside, Merseyside. I've got the interline to try. If Lisa recommends it, oh. that's good enough for me. I'm with you. I'm with you, yeah. Because she knows. Yes, well, you know, you know, mm. if, if I'm not true to my word, well, you they know where know I am. What you think about it. But it is nice to have different ones. Like, I've used Yeah, used exactly. Decaville. Decaville is nice. Decaville's great. Isn't it? For the right it, thing. Yeah, if, you, if you're working with the right thickness for the right mm. project, Isn't it's it? amazing what it can do. And the interfacings, unfortunately, they do look really boring. <laughs> they do, but, you know, what they can do is incredibly sexy, but mm. it's just understanding. And, you know, it's trial and error, really, because, you know, the instructions they come with aren't exactly comprehensive, well, are they? No, they're rubbish. Yes, they are. Yeah, the Vlyslene website is quite good in, ooh, yes, it in, is. in telling you what to do. So you can't... This is from Elsie. Good morning, ladies. I love all the bags. Can I just say, retirement is the best thing since sliced bread. And I've got back into Sarah. Oh, Elsie, I we... I think you're right. Yes. I think I... I we reckon. envy you. Yes, definitely. <laughs> I hope you bought enough stuff for your stash before it happened. I'm working on it. I'm being very fastidious. I know. I always it. imagine people go, oh, I'm bored. <laughs> bored? bored? Why are you bored? bored? I say this to my lovely Mabel. Why are you bored? bored? There's so much nice stuff to do. Of course, I've got like a huge bag of craft materials. And sometimes she's like, with the craft again, Mum? Oh. I know you love the craft. I know you do, but. <laughs> my mum always used to say to me, boredom's really good for children. Yeah. Because then they use their imagination. It, but then it, she used to true. say, if you've got a headache, fresh air will cure it. <laughs> She's so wrong. <laughs> she Go outside and have some fresh air. Oh, oh yeah. No, exactly. I don't think it works. Yeah. Um, I put my, I've put my zip on the inside of this. The centre. Yeah, so. <gasps> Because yes. we're we're gonna have a we're going to have a gap on our finished pocket, we're gonna have a little bit of a gap because you don't wanna be sewing through um, a zip when you're adding it to your lining. Right. So making the zip short either side makes construction easy Kay. easy. Again, the measurements as to what you're supposed to cut this That's all in there. And that is always all in there. Love So I've I've popped that in the middle. And now I'm going to fold um, this lining piece right sides together. The zip is sandwiched inside. And then I just stitch it in from this end to that end. Again, with a quarter seam, quarter inch seam. And then I would just do the same with the other side, with the interlining piece. The only difference is there's, there's the sew-in as opposed to the fusible. So the procedure is the same. Yeah, I, I dig this pocket so much. I think, you know, I'm just going to... Well, I've never a seen a bag with a pocket like that, so I think you can take that as yes. yours. Yes! Yes! And then, you know, you've got to stop at some point to move the zipper. And it's handy if you can... If you have one of those machines where you can lift up the yeah. front extra high. And I was when I bought a new machine and it had that extra, I thought, what am I going to use that for? <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> use that all the time. Yeah. Okay, right. And then when you do that, you flip it, you flip to the right side just by doing that. Hmm. And then you get your seam roller out or your iron. And then pretend I have seam roller and then you top stitch in. Right, I'm concerned that I'm running out of time, so. We've got about four minutes. Oh, wow. Hours. <laughs> <laughs> the takeaway is. There are less than 10 kits available. Oh. The full kit, the 44.99, that's the one that's on the left hand side that has everything in it. The instructions, all the fabric, including the Anna Maria Horner fabric that's on the main panel, the lining fabric, the PU, and then all of the um, hardware. So you've got the strap, the zip, two sliders, and a pair of tassels. 
Oh, thanks Four to four ninety nine, and there's less than ten available. So if you've got it in your basket, you need to check out. Thank you. Well, somebody else will have it. That's amazing. I can't believe that pockets work like that. Dun -dun -dun. And and with the other side, it's exactly the same. The only difference is when you when you fold when you fold these right sides together. Sometimes because this isn't sewn in, this can bunch up. So just double check when you're ironing okay. that we haven't got a bunch up scenario. And that's inserted in the same way. Same way. Now, when when you have when you have this when you have the zip, the zip inserted on your interfacing side, the interfacing side is the side that gets your magnetic zip um, magnetic snap. I won't demo that because I haven't got the time. But the magnetic snap goes around here, mm. and then on the lining, that's where the receivy bit goes. Of course, yes. Yeah, so that so that the back of the pocket exactly. attaches perfect. And then when when you've got when you've got that magnetic snap bit and you're ready to put the lining together, your lining is basically one one rectangle with that that on the back, and then you you click that on and then you just sew you just sew the pocket, which does feel bulky because it's meant to to the side seams. Brilliant. And that's that. Well, thanks so much, Lisa. That has been fantastic. It's lovely, lovely to have you back today oh, and to be able to work with you. So, <laughs> do you know when you're back? Uh, I am back definitely in May. Okay. Ooh. Ages. I know, I know. Ages. I know, I know. Well, I've just moved house and then April's bananas because there's two weeks of um, mother uh, doing daughter stuff. Mm. So, yeah, I thought that's may maybe April but I'm not sure. Okay. Well, it's been wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. Um, so all of the, we haven't got many of the kits left. Those are there on the, that has side. All the hardware that we have today has been bought in based on what Lisa's asked us to. So if you want, I mean, we never get this lovely stuff in. So if you want things like, the, have a look on sewingstreet.com and click on watch live and click down. The handle, with, which is amazing because it has these little hinge things, you know, that we wouldn't have known about. We've got the zip with the sliders, beautiful metal effect, but it's um, nylon so you can sew through it. The beautiful tassels gorgeous all of the hardware is all available separately and we've bought it in including the in that special sewing into lining facing wadding um all of it has been bought in based on what lisa has asked us to do so they are they come recommended please check out in your baskets there are a lot of you with the kit the hardware all the, and the pattern in your baskets and they're getting very very low in stocks if you don't check out somebody else will come in and take it which would be a shame anyway um thank you for joining me for this hour we'll be back in a couple of minutes time and jenny is back with her more of her epp kits and we're going to do a roundup of ones that she's done previously as well as i know a lot of you missed out on them um, so thank you for the bag hour we'll be back with jenny and epp in just a couple of minutes time Join us as we celebrate Sewing Street's second birthday. Celebrate with us every day from 8am for fabulous demonstrations, new fabrics and brand new projects galore. The week is jam-packed, including amazing daily giveaways not to be missed. We have even extended our live hours for the whole week. We'll have our wonderful guests, brand new projects and, of course, lots of fun and treats for you too. Don't forget to put our birthday week into your diary as we would love to celebrate our second birthday with you. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. 
Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Join us as we celebrate Sewing Street's second birthday. Celebrate with us every day from 8am for fabulous demonstrations, new fabrics and brand new projects galore. The week is jam-packed, including amazing daily giveaways not to be missed. We have even extended our live hours for the whole week. We'll have our wonderful guests, brand new projects, and of course, lots of fun and treats for you too. Don't forget to put our birthday week into your diary as we would love to celebrate our second birthday with you. Welcome back to Sewing Street. Sorry about the break. We just had quite a lot to put away and take out and say goodbye to Lisa because she's going now and then have a chat. And, so, and you know, no, we're putting everything out. So we've got Jenny back with us for more EPP in the last hour that she was on with us. Well, hi, Jenny. Hi. Um, we sold out. So we've got more. It's fine. It's fine. We've got different things. We are going, we've got lots of her um, previous designs, but her current one we're going to start <coughs> with is the doorstop cube. Isn't it gorgeous? I love the colours on it. Um, did you work with the colours? Uh, no, I just asked for two colourways. I wanted okay. pretty and I wanted them to be completely different colourways. Well, it, it is definitely both, but it's beautiful. So this is the pink one. Um, it's lovely. It's really floral and pretty. It's gorgeous. Yeah, love I love this it. One. So that's what it makes. And it's a nice proper doorstop, isn't it? It is. It's a nice size. It's lovely. And do you know what I thought, though? If you don't want to make it into a doorstop, I know kids like soft cubes. Yes. Just yeah. to lob around and play. Yeah, it's just lovely, So you could just it? fill it with just toy stuff in. Yeah, that's true, actually. And um, if, if you don't use the panel... Mm. as a pattern with the paper pieces on its own yes if you don't want to make a doorstop you could, you could just, just make use it as a fun cube. cubes so in the kit you get the full instructions obviously you get the panel this is hexies i know i don't, I don't know what jenny's up to is that your hexies <laughs> it is 
Now, what size are these? So these are 1.75, and actually, oh. I've just been discussing on the uh, sewing fans page yeah. that two inch might be a bit big for yeah. scraps no, of fabric. I think you're right, actually. So we might I've go been... for either one and a half or 1.75, yeah, which is what they actually. are. I think we've, um, I think I underestimated. Yeah, I think this size or one and a half, which okay. is in between little and big. <laughs> So you get 63 on here. That's all the, the hexes you need. You get the paper pieces, which are the beautiful um, cards. Have you got one? Um, yeah, I have, actually. Rather than me open this beautiful packet, <coughs> just so I can show. Because um, Although we did, I did show them when Jenny was on last. I know a lot of you do come along um, to drop in and out. So these are the ones you get. Now, these are made by Jenny using special recycled cardboard. So they're really thick. Hard to show on air, to be honest, but they are really thick. I mean, not too thick, you know, you can obviously EPP with them, but they Jenny buys the card and cuts them to exactly what they need to be so they can be reused as well. So they're all cut out for you. And obviously they fit the seam allowance, let me show you, is on here, look. So it's got the quarter of an inch seam allowance already in there. Easy peasy for anyone who's, well, either new to EPP or wants an easy EPP. Um, so you get the... Ins you get the pieces, peep pieces, and then you get the full instructions tell you exactly how to make it. So that's the pink colourway, but we have another one. So if pink and green isn't your thang, your thang, your thang, then we do blue. <laughs> We've got blue. Oh, I like this. So pretty. So pretty. Whoa. It's kind of watercolory as well, isn't it? Oh, that's beautiful. And luckily, Jenny has made up one of these so we can show you what it looks like when, it's, when it is a doorstop. Gorgeous. So obviously, in this kit, $24.99, you're getting 63 hexes. You're getting the paper pieces that you need and the full instructions. All you need to do is choose which colour you want to make. So that's the blue one. And then this is the pink one. Made, obviously. Now, if you want the instructions and the pattern pieces on their own and not the um, printed panels so you can use your own fabric, um, we can do that. So, obviously, by having the print, printed paper pieces, it's just easier because you haven't got to cut them all out. So, for the instructions and the printed pieces on their own, $17.99 and then you can use your own fabric. And if you want to cut out your own paper pieces, there is... It's inside. There is templates. Yeah, yeah. There is a template for them. So you, if you want to trace them and cut out your own, they're, they're, the templates are there. Um, nine nine, so that you can just trace around them. Nine ninety nine. If you want just the instructions on their own, all you have to do is choose um, pellets. So I'm going to bring my little pot here. We didn't have these the other week. So if you want to fill your doorstop, obviously you need to fill it with something weighty. These are recycled polyester pellets. These are these are really good, actually, because um, sometimes I fill my doorstops with gravel off the path and it's quite big. So <laughs> <laughs> very extremely heavy, but rather large. Yeah. And having these little pellets means that they just sit nicer. They just, you know, they'll sort of sit to shape. Um, so these are five ninety nine for a kilo, which is probably enough. But is five nine is a kilo? Enough? Well, I only filled mine. I used rice for mine. Right, I okay. only filled it about an inch deep with right, the rice, okay. and then I just used toy stuffing. I to mean, we normally to the top. we normally would fill. We normally use a kilo for a doorstop. Yeah. So that will be fine. But they do keep selling out. So if you do want to stock up and you want to buy more than one, it's worth it. Also. You may want Oh, okay, yeah. So you might have seen somebody else has got a doorstop for sale tomorrow that they've designed ex themselves. Somebody called John Scott. <coughs> um, so you might want to get your polythene pellets for tomorrow. Get your pellets now. But the good thing is, is that it's three ninety five postage despite the fact it's a kilo. So there they are. Anyway, they're really good because they're recycled and they fit really nicely in them. So, Jenny. Yes. Let's talk about EPP. Yes. So it's if you haven't if you didn't watch the last hour, you can watch it on YouTube because I showed you all the techniques for the for the EPP. Mm. So for this hour, I thought I'd show you how to construct it. Right. So a little bit of machine sewing. So you cut round the outside just very quickly. You yep. cut round the outside of the hexagon. Yeah. Place the hexagon in the middle of the fabric. 
glue, glue based round or thread based if you prefer and then in the pattern it shows you to sew in lines so you just make a so big you make rectangle. a big lovely EPP panel so I'm really worried I'm going to cut these off yeah, just move them over slightly. It's not just a piece of fabric, though. No, it? it's that's one of mine. Yeah, <laughs> handmade fabric. So what I did was I just basted it onto a piece of wadding, and quilted it. You could quilt it however you wanted, free motion, straight line, and then you're just going to trim off the excess hexes and wadding, and then cut it into squares. I'm not using nice my... Nice 20 wadding is that? It is indeed. <laughs> I'm not using my cutter. I realised as soon as I got here, well actually about 20 minutes onto the motorway coming, that I forgot my cutter, my rotary cutter. Oh. And I was searching for a left-handed one here. Is it blunt hours? No, it's fine, it's fine. It's just, it's you know when you're just not... You, no, it is left-handed. I found one. Okay. You know when you're just not used to... You're used to holding your rotary yes. cutter, so it yes. all just and feels I, a bit different. And my room is slightly different to that one as well, and I get really confused. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> so I'm, I'm literally just trimming this off, and then I'm going to trim it again, but I like to just get the exact rectangle. It's funny, isn't it? You well, get used to your own boards well, you and everything. Over my own boards, yes. I yeah. struggle with that. It's ridiculous, isn't it? But then it's the same as your own sewing machine, isn't it? Yeah, that is also very um, true. It's lovely, this, though, isn't it? Because you're creating fabric. So if you've, like, the, the, um, the lady who messaged in in the last show, you know, I've made this, what do I do with it? Well, you've just created fabric, so just make something. Yeah. Oh, we've been chatting away about this scrappy hexy thing right. in the hour that I've not been on. I'm going to set up a group, a scrappy oh, hexy even group better. on Facebook. So then we can all join and we can all Fantastic. post. Fantastic. So how do we find this group? I will name it, but then if you go on my Facebook page, it's a, I do have two Facebooks. And my sewing page is a picture of just me mm, okay. on it. Um, and I will post in there, but I'll probably post on the Sewing Street um, page when if it's the fans page when, it's, when it, I've set up the group. And then really, you can do whatever hexy size really, you well, want, you but I'll make sure so I've got I will it. And then I will join. I'm, it's going to be our group. And it, yeah, exactly. And anyone can, um, yes. anyone will be able to join. And it's actually up to you what size hexes and then you, you can, use as um, well. You can post questions. Exactly. Which Jenny will answer personally. Indeed. And, you know, you can use any size hex you want. But I think I'm going to go for either one and a half or 1.75. I'm going to go with whatever you're doing. But I'll make sure that I've got them available as well. If you could. <laughs> if you could. Because I'm, I'm really excited about this. It's going to be fun. Because it's just It's like dieting together, but better. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Actual fun. <laughs> <laughs> and using the scraps up brilliant brilliant right so if i remember rightly i say this that i'm going to cut this into six one two three have i just made that yeah no six one two three four five yeah six just having a moment and eight and a quarter inch squares so i'm going to cut the first all the way down eight and a quarter inch I love this ruler. Yes, this is just right. like my ruler at home, so I can cope quite well with it. Divide it into six, eight and a quarter inch squares. Yeah, good memory. You know what? I write so many patterns. I don't know if you're the same. <laughs> yes. You can't memorise every pattern. No. It's impossible. Oh. So I've cut these ones, and I'm now going to cut these to eight and a quarter. I always amazed that singers manage to remember all the words to their songs. Oh my gosh! How do they do that? Do you know what? If you get in a car with me, it's like a personal concert. I cannot drive without singing. I sang for two and a half hours up no. here. Yeah, all the way. All the way. I sing for about the last 10 minutes. I no. always put something really nice on for the last 10, really Come. loud, like meatloaf or something. No, I, I sing set very off today loudly. at half past four this morning. And by 35, it was a full-blown concert. I'm no. sure people drive past me and think, what is happening in that car? Oh no, see, I left at four and I listened to Radio 4 very quietly. And then the last time I sang very loudly. I had it on by volume 30. <laughs> I was just like, this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be exhausted by the end. I need, I, no, I need really peace and quiet at four o'clock. I just love, I can't sing at all. Oh no, I can't. Rubbish. But I do not care. Does not matter to me at all. So I'm just cutting all my squares. And then the next stage, I suggest that you stay stitch all the way around each square. 
just like right. a scant quarter of an inch in because you're going to turn it inside out at w the right way out at some point. And with EPP, obviously you've hand sewn it all. And when you're like faffing to turn it out, you do not want your EPP stitches coming undone. Yeah, I guess it just gives it so a bit of So I would security. even, yeah, and I would do it with a smaller stitch than usual. Often when you say stitch, you would use a larger stitch. But I use a smaller stitch when I'm doing this just because I want to know. And you don't really have to do it on all of them, but you want to do it on your panel that you're going to sew on last because that's the one that you're going to leave the turning gap yeah, in. Yeah, I see what you mean. So if you don't want to, but just remember which one you've stayed stitched and that needs to be the last panel. So I will do that to one square. I hope I've done all those. The blue course. looks lovely, doesn't it? It's, doesn't um, it? It's again, really it's, I think classic. because of the closed shades and they're all EPP together, a bit like your bag, yeah, it just sort of almost looks like recycled. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So I'm just going to stay stitch around this one. And I would. Oh, so now it's my turn to fry it with the machine, isn't mm. it? I've come undone. Of course I have. <laughs> Lisa Lamb's left. Left She's left the you. building. Chaos has, for you. We didn't drive up to, together today because I was actually going to come in later because I wasn't on till a bit later. But then I couldn't sleep and I set off 45 minutes later than Lise and we arrived at the same time. No. Oh, that's quite funny. <laughs> but she, she does have a little bit longer to come than me. She's about 20 minutes extra. Oh. But she's got a guzzler. Like her car guzzles petrol and mine doesn't. So she takes, takes it a little bit slower. I don't speed. <laughs> By the way, yeah. Elisa drives slower. <laughs> I tell you what, I had a shock. I was saying, when I got up here, I saw a petrol station, and the petrol is 11p cheaper per mm. litre up here than it is down south. That's why I um, I fill up in that one petrol station. Well, every I was time. thinking I might just. Because it's only just up the road from here. Yeah. And I, I, I used to fill up when I left home, but now I fill up on my well, way I home. I saw it, and I was like, wow. Yeah. It's because it's an independent in garage. That. There's one yeah. of the very few left and it is always cheaper. Right. Always. I tell you what, I was super excited today on the drive up as well. I did 45 minutes in the light. Really? Yeah. First time since I started back on the light. Spring is sprung. Street. Well, it's time to start making all your homewares and, you know, your little things that cheer you up a bit because the spring oh, yeah. is here. That's why I love these floral fabrics. We did a floral fabric hour at 8 o'clock. Um, loads of really nice fabric bundles. Because it makes you think, because the spring is coming. Yeah. Hooray. I love spring. Well, I love summer even more. I'm such a sun junkie. Love it. There we go. So I've just done a stitch, which will be hidden by the seam allowance all the way around. That's just okay. double, you know, just securing those EPP threads. You might want, if you're not going to do the project all in one go, you might want to stay switch around all of them. Right. Just so you don't risk those. Yeah, because we've so. cut into this EPP more than you usually would. Mm. You know, if you're making a cushion front, the only time you're going to cut into it is when you're trimming off the wadding and you might not even snip any stitches then. Mm. But with this, you're literally making some fabric and cutting it all up. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. So this would be, let's say, my last piece that I would add. So you're going to lay your pieces out like this. Like a course. Yes. There we go. So this would be the last one. When you're sewing all the sides up, this will be the last one that you stitch. Right. So you're going to take the top one and you're going to start quarter of an inch from, you're going to use a quarter of an inch seam allowance, but you're going to start quarter of an inch from the end, the start, quarter of an inch in, and you're going to finish quarter of an inch before you get to the end. Nice. And back stitch both at the start and the end. Okay. So the only time you're not going to start quarter of an inch in and finish quarter of an inch is the last bit of sewing yeah. you're going to do. Right. So you just keep going at quarter of an inch and back stitch each time. So I'll whiz along. And if, um, if you can't eye, the quarter of an inch start and finish measure and just dot it with a pen right because some okay. people struggle that are ironing ironing i mean i struggle ironing yeah. 
avoidance. But if you can't guesstimate it, then I only you just iron mark fabric. However, since Dylan started secondary school, I now have to iron his uniform. That's such a shame. Because he it? has shirts, and I just and he's so tall that I just can't get away with not. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. So I've started again, quarter of an inch from the start. Oh, you can see here that my white bobbin must have run out and I couldn't have be bothered to wind another bobbin. So I thought, you're not going to see it, so I'm just going to carry on with the blue bobbin. <laughs> oh, we've had some photos in um, of EPP. Hi, here's one of my EPP projects. Just finishing off the hand sewing part, the binding. This is a Christmas lap. Quilt is either very early in the making or rather late. But Claire, I love that's that. Lovely. Oh, oh wow. wow. That's lovely, Claire. Oh, beautiful. they're beautiful. Oh, look at that. Hi, Jenny Gorgeous. Rebecca. I've been working on this project for a number of years. I'm not sure how to finish it. Man in Cardiff. Just oh. bind the edges. Yeah. Stick, put on a piece of wadding, tack it, bind the edge, quilt it, tack it. That is beautiful. Bind the edges. That's gorgeous. Wow. They look like really small hexagons. They as well, do. Don't they, they look like quarter of an inch. Yeah, that's too small. I don't want. I'm not going that. No, we're small. not going to go that small. When I said two inches, I was thinking about smaller than this. Obviously, rubbish. Um, yeah, I mean that. That's even one seven five. So maybe we'll do one point five okay. inches. Yeah. I just didn't really want, didn't want tiny ones. Yeah, one point five is is one inch hexes is your average hexy. Yeah, that's the go to grandmother's quilt size hexy. Okay. So if we go half an inch bigger than that, it would then just you make... definitely get to use your scraps. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So I've started here. This is my bottom piece, and then you. So I started quarter of an inch. So you're going to have little gaps there. So you can see that. So you want to go line it up. Can we see? Yep. It's just going to go a quarter of an inch over each um, seam there. And again, you're going to start a quarter of an inch in. So either dot it or you can see where this seam right, is okay. when you place it on there. So yeah. you're just going to start there. Oh, where's my foot? I love making these. Do you make sure you check out on these bundles, $24.99, either the... Um, Blue, blue one there. Twenty four ninety nine includes the fabric panel with sixty two paper p um si sixty two fabric hexagons printed on it, and the paper pieces and the full instructions. Or the one on that side that's the pink one, which is this one here. Um, Twenty four ninety nine. Please do remember to check out them in the last um time, the last hour that Jenny was on. We just sold out, so do check out. We are limited in stock now. If they're in your basket, we can't guarantee they're yours. So if you want to make this, remember, it's a really good investment. <laughs> sure, I think they make lovely gifts. They do, don't they? Absolutely Everyone's gorgeous. Everyone's got doors. Well, thinking Mother's Day. Yeah, yeah. Coming Everyone's up. got doors. And, you you know, if you don't get the panels, you can just use well, any fabric. It would look gorgeous in there. Well, it is, isn't it? I think it's because it's a nice chunky. There's a lot in it. It's a nice chunky door stock. Well, yeah. And it's so pretty as well. So I was trying to decide what size to do, and I thought, you know what, the bigger the better. Bigger the better, <laughs> exactly. I use one behind my front door, not because it needs it behind the door, because otherwise when you open the door, the handle hits the wall. Ah, uh, yeah. You know? Good plan. So I have one, so that it's the wrong side of the door, because it's, it's just stopping the handle hitting the wall. Perfect. <laughs> so, and it has to be quite a big one to get the, so that's ideal for it. Amazing. So, right, that's all your pieces sewn together. So now... You're going to take these two, and again, you're going to start quarter of an inch from the end mm -hmm. and finish quarter of an inch. And this is constructing the actual cube. And you can see your stitches now, so you can actually see where you can start. But again, if you want to measure, if you want to pin as well, I often pin, but I usually pin. But whenever I demonstrate, don't want to waste the time pinning on the show. <laughs> feel like I'll be here forever just pinning. Pinning and doing so the So again, pins. stopping quarter of an inch before the end. So it's really easy. So if you haven't done much machine sewing and you'll really just do a lot of hand sewing, and this is a good one. Because it is yes, really simple. Yes, it's funny, isn't it? So you get some, some people who are like really rubbish at hand sewing well because they never do it. And then the other way. So yeah. it's quite nice to do a little bit of each. Yeah, then and you'll find with practice. my projects, 
If there is a lot of machine, if there is machine sewing involved, it's never going to be complex machine sewing <laughs> okay, because yeah. I'm I'm a hand sewer. Right. That's what I love doing the most. I love quilting by machine, but when it comes to constructing patterns, I like to try and keep the construction nice and easy. Right, so now we've got two sides up, so you can see that it's starting to take shape. We're going to do the last side, no, two more, two more sides, and then we can just pop the end on. I'm hoping to get this at least the top bit put on, so then we can show you. There we go. Speed sewing. When are you going to sewing for pe pl 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 uh, That is the 17th to the 20th of March. I've got a discount code actually on my Facebook for tickets, Have normal you? tickets. Yeah. Oh, okay. So when so you join um, our um, special Hexi Club, yes, <laughs> you can go on there and get discovered. I might tickets. call it the special Hexi Club. Special Hexi. <laughs> special Hexi Club. <laughs> Yeah, maybe think of a ball. Yeah, um, I'll probably call it the scrappy, the yeah. scrappy hexy club or something. Yeah, something like that. But it's going to be great to see everyone again, isn't it? It's like um, last year. I mean, there were a few shows last year, but then you never knew whether we were going to be cancelled. Yeah. What did I go to? Like, I went to one in the NEC, and it did happen, but you had to have vaccine certificates and stuff. Was it, was it festival? Because I know festival was on last year. I didn't make it to festival. Yes, last it year. was. I'm definitely going this year. It was because I went to. Um, Stitch Fest in Islington, and literally it was about two weeks before lockdown one. Oh, really? Yeah. Anyway, me and Lisa were going on Friday to Stitch oh, Festival in London. Okay. We think it's Friday that we're going to go. Right, so the next stage is you've just got to pop your top on. So, I'm going to start quarter of an inch and end quarter of an inch here and there. So, I'll do those two quick. Isn't Stitch Fest what the Knitting and Stitching show was? Uh, no, I think that's a different one. Oh. This one's at the Islington Design Centre in London. There's so many different okay. ones, which is great because they're nicely spread out. Yeah. I had my first stand at our, uh, uh, show at Ardingly, which is the local one to me. Oh, okay. I loved it. Well, it'd be nice to see everybody again, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Um, You'll probably hear me and Lisa before you see us. Oh, are you together then? We are, we are probably going to get the train down together. Oh, nice. Well, it's just nice to meet up with people, isn't it? Meet up with friends and, you know, people are doing the same thing. And there's something lovely about going to a show, isn't it? And just, oh, just it. so exciting. And also you sit in the cafe and everybody thinks the same as you. So you can have lovely chats with just strangers. Yeah, even. With, oh, yeah. Love chatting to, like, anyone who loves sewing, <laughs> loves sewing. of any type. Yeah. Really nice. It's good. It's... It feels very exciting that we can actually and, and start Louise, doing that again. Yeah, Louisa Galt's got a stand there. Oh, has she? Yeah. Oh, cool. I don't think I've been there to the design centre at Islington. It's a nice one. They do quite a lot of talks and more workshops as well. John okay. Scott did a talk at the last one. Oh, oh yeah, because me, Lisa and a few others came and we heckled him the whole way through <laughs> yeah, it. He really was did. like... They loved that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> right, so for the last line, you're going to start all the way from the end. Mm. And you're going to leave a turning gap in the middle and then carry on sewing to the other end. What I'm going to do, just fold those back so you don't catch anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave quite a big turning gap so we can turn it quickly. Okay. <laughs> the smaller the turning gap. The, hard, the longer it takes. Yeah, and to close the turning gap, once you've filled it up, I just do a ladder stitch because it's invisible. Hand stitch it. Right. You know, when you're doing like a uh, bag, you can, yes, you can get away yes. with machine sewing that one. This would make a lovely um, seating cube if it was bigger. There might Wouldn't be one of those in my book. Really? <laughs> might. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah, possibly. Possibly. <laughs> Very big. That's exciting. Like each side is like a fat quarter size. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, it's yeah, a foot. so you can use it as a foot one, but mm. if you fill it with slightly more stuffing then you could totally sit on it and be really nice made in children's fabric yeah, they like children's things. or you could um you could fill it with beans polystyrene beans yeah like a bean bag oh do you know whenever i hear 
polystyrene beams. I just think of Wendy from Sewing Quarter Days. I made a poof and we had to fill it before the show and it went, we went on the little outside bit. Oh, yeah. And we found them in our bra. <laughs> we just, they, lit, they went everywhere and the poor poof ended up being half full on the show because it was, they were all on the floor outside. Such a mess. Message from Angela. Hi all. I was sat on the row in front of you while you were heckling John. It was hilarious. <laughs> Hi Angela. <laughs> yes, I yes, Angela we were. Again, oh, nice and I had some. Laurie, and I, I was pushing shame. her wheelchair, Laurie, and I completely crashed her. <laughs> it was so such a good day. <laughs> we all had such a great time and it was so nice seeing everyone that watches these I shows. Know. We just can't wait, loved it. Can't wait to get back to normality. Go out. Almost, almost, are we almost there? So I'm just poking the corners out. You don't really want to snip these corners unless you can be really careful not to get your stitch it, uh, get your stitching or use a pokey tool or something. But yeah, so that's how easy it is to wow. sew together. Yeah, that's and really all you've quick. got to do is brilliant project for if beginner. If you can, you might want to roll your seams so that mm. they come out. You might just want to press that slightly before you stuff. Okay. Just so that when you've stuffed it, it folds nicely. So back do you into the pour the allowance. filling in? Yeah, just make like a, a paper flute. And then put toy stuffing in top. Yeah, so I taught yeah, so I did the bottom. You'd never first. lift it up if you filled the whole thing, would you? Be the super extra <laughs> and then, yeah. stop. And so that stay stitching is really important, especially on your so last yes, panel. That makes and you use a little stitch like 2.2 or 2. Mm. Really small, keeps those, your hand stitching close. But it's brilliant for a beginner, isn't it? Well, the kit is great for a beginner. Yeah, the EPP you. side is really good for a beginner. And actually, the sewing, the cube together is really good because it's so easy. So in the kit, you get a panel with all of these hexes on, which is all the ones you need. And so this is the pink one. Is it called pink? Yes, sorry. Um, which is lovely shades of pinks and teals, and it's all floral and pretty and lovely, brilliant gift. Mother's Day, Mother's Day. You get all, I mean, 24 99 it's amazing. You get all these paper pieces. Remember, these are the really proper recycled paper pieces that Jenny has, well, makes herself. Um, I don't think she actually hand cuts them. No, my dad is actually the paper piece king. Is he? Yes. Does he have a die cutter? He does this. He uses, he has unison, two machines in unison, and he... He does them all. He's amazing. <laughs> oh. And that reminds me, before I forget, because I don't have a show prior to it, in a couple of weeks, it's my mum's big 70th birthday, <gasps> so I just want to say happy birthday in advance. <laughs> happy birthday. Oh, yeah. Bless her. Um, so you get Sorry, the, these are recycled. Car, no, that's nice. That's <laughs> lovely. Uh, these are recycled card, and they're just the right, they're really nice thickness, but they're really reusable as well which is very important and you get full instructions as well of exactly how to make it so that's the pink colorway which makes this one loads of you have them in baskets please do check out what's the most popular colorway cat the blue is winning at the moment message from laurie we had such a great time listening to john scott's talk and seeing you all you swing girls what day are you going to the show this week? Friday, it should be. I was going to go Friday, Saturday, but I think I'm just going to pop up on the Friday now because when I was thinking about going for longer, I wasn't doing so for pleasure. Right. So now I think I'll just pop for a day. Okay. Of madness. Of madness. That would be lovely. Right, so <laughs> if you want to see Jenny and Lisa, Friday, <laughs> Islington Design Centre. Indeed. We'll be, be there. You'll be able to hear them even if you don't see them, so it'll be yes. fine. Follow the giggles. Yeah. The cat. The cackling. Um, then we've got the blue version. Blue version, which is the one that Jenny was just working with. Everything that you need to make this. So all of these prints, they're all, they're all slightly different as well, diff different parts of the prints. So you make this beautiful, scrappy effect fabric without any waste at all because you've got that you haven't got to fussy cut at all it's lovely and um, then you get your paper pieces and full instructions to make the cube that Jenny was just working with okay right yes very quickly we'll talk about article to rulers and then we'll go through the kits now if you these are brilliant for EPPers because if you've got to cut out your own fabric, 
They're ideal, aren't they? Yeah, I use mine all the time. Do you? Yeah. Uh, do you have the big um, one or the small one? I have both, actually. Okay. So depending on the size, but I do love the little one. I love so it. It's so handy for EPP. It has a little lip on it. Yeah, people think about FPP when they see those yes. rulers. But what I tend to do is I'll put my fabric, uh, my fabric, my card on the wrong mm. side of the fabric. And you can use a little bit of um, sew line glue, tiny dab on your card keep it in place or you can just use I use my hand mm. but I know some people find it easier and when you rest that ruler against the card because my card's nice yes that's works true. well with my card because of the the weight because of my it's card, nice and thick um you feel when it uh, when the nib of the the ruler gets because that the little card, lip is a quarter of an inch wide yeah Amazingly. So then you just, so if you just go across on the table oh, and it's on the yeah. fabric, you can, so I can feel, feel that. So it stops and then, and then there you go, and then, and then you can just, just draw around it a quarter of an inch. Draw around it or cut or it. Or cut it if you don't want to draw it. Yeah. yeah. Because you can feel that, so that little lip is quarter of an inch. And then when you le go that against the paper piece, you can feel the quarter inch is brilliant so yes i've used them for fpp yeah I, that's when i started using but them and then used all them of a EPP. sudden i was like actually aren't they brilliant for these that? are really because i know you, you can get smaller the ground, can small you? of the quilting rulers but they are still heavier and stuff and it just so i just found it really handy because it's just like a normal size ruler so it's not fiddly i mean that's amazing isn't it because that is obviously exactly cool yeah and if when you just press it, it does yeah when it's it on fabric stop. you really notice it yeah so seventeen ninety nine for the long one, which is um, it has the markings on the twelve inches. <laughs> like, like, you were looking for the paper, I know, weren't you? I know. I'm like, what? How wide is this? <laughs> twelve inches. But you can also get a six inch one for twelve ninety nine. Just depends which one you want. But these are brilliant for EPP for when you're cutting out. And we got them back in just in time for Jenny's show because I wanted them the other week for something we had on air and they were out of stock, as were the pellets. So we managed to get the pellets and the other quarter rulers. I mean, obviously, they are really good for FPP as well. But particularly for EPP, when you're cutting your own fabric to shape, they are brilliant because you haven't got to measure that quarter of an inch and it's got the little lip on it. Right, I'm going to have a little chat through your previous kits. Yeah, yeah so many. So many. So many. The Follow Me Quilt. See, I like to bring lots on when I'm on them. Like, yes, oh, so the like Follow Me Quilt thing. is hanging up behind it you. It is, it is. So tell, to me, tell me about it. So this one is made from really, th these are really big triangles. And one block is... Is it all EPP? Yeah. yeah. Wow. So I know, different shapes. Different shapes. <laughs> so one obviously. block is these four shapes sewn together. You oh, just okay. make them all and then you sew them in twos and rotate them and you actually sew them in blocks of four. So you would sew these ones together and then these ones. Okay. Sew these and then sew them as you would a quilt. All hand sewn. Um, I suggest that you press and remove the outer template so you can reuse them. Because you definitely, with the kits, with the paper pieces, you do need to reuse your paper pieces. Or if I'd given you, because yes. uh, they're a large shape, so if I'd given you enough to not reuse, you wouldn't even want to do it. I've got some here. Hold oh, on. okay. I've brought. I don't want to ruin the little. Yeah, bags. no. I oh, well, use Jenny. You show the. the I've got packs of stuff with me. I had a little list of what we might read. Right. So show the pa the pieces so for I will this. Show so you the, what I've got. In, in the here. kit, you obviously get full instructions. Yes. And all the paper and pieces. I think in this one you get a coloring page in the back as well, so you can have a good play with colours. So. These are the blocks that you would sew together. You do, you get the template, yes, and a colouring page. There you go. So you get, oh, you would wow. sew these blocks together. So these are the templates. These have been reused loads of times. And look, they're still absolutely fine. Those, those have been used about And they're in that each. lovely recycled so, card, yeah, so, so they're you, really good quality. Yep, it's always whenever I you buy them the from me, of, you're going to get this card. The so joy of it being paper piece like this is perfect. It's so accurate, isn't it? And this one comes together really quick. You know, this, the you don't have to think about matching seams. No. Because they just do. It does it all for you. There you go. So that's how it would be. You sew yes. them together. Yeah, I thought all the paper pieces were triangles, but obviously, no, of course no. they're not. So you would sew those all together. It makes a square. And then it's just a case of reversing, flipping the... And what a brilliant scrapbuster project. Oh, yeah. I can imagine it in rainbow colours. Mm. You don't have to do tonal like I use. I mean, it's, I suppose you probably need to do the background the same colour. I would do the background the same colour so you can see the way that yes, arrows go. 
but um, yeah, you could every line could be different. Beautiful, could be Absolutely so much beautiful. Fun. And you know, you, again, it's the sort of thing you can do while you're sitting in front of the telly. Yeah, mm. always. That's the beauty about beauty. It. everyone. I call it sofa sewing. Sofa sewing. Uh, yeah, I do yeah. like that. Sofa sewing. All the time. Um, message from Chris. I now love EPP. Thanks to Jenny. Love your outfit color choices today, Rebecca. Love Chris. Oh, thank you. Actually, I was thinking I should have worn them the other week because when it was my birthday, they said, "What color balloons do you want?" I said, "Can I have navy and mustard because they're my favorite." I, I love mustard, today. and I'm thank so you. glad. Oh, that's made Chris, me really, really happy as well that you love EPP now. It is. Absolutely, yes. I oh, is it, it Chris English? Oh, okay. Oh, why am I being so nice? <laughs> I'm joking. I love Chris. Hi, Chris. <laughs> yeah, so Chris is, um, I asked him to join my, I'm doing a virtual book tour. Right. So a few people have got a project from my book prior to the release and mm. they're making it and we're going to do a little virtual book tour on Instagram. And this is, Chris is just, I was like, there you go, Chris, you're not an EPP, but let's get involved because I love the way he does different stuff. He does improv. Oh, okay. I just thought it would be really nice to see, like, just one of my blocks on one of his quilts. Mm. We have had him on the show. Oh, yeah, mm. I know. I was so proud of him. <laughs> I was just like, you can do this, no, well, it's great, is it? I think you say honestly, it's, it's nice to convert people, isn't it? I'm because such a fan of his that I just I can't wait to see just one of my blocks on his quilts because they wow. are amazing. Are you going to any shows, Chris? Let us know. We'll share it and tell everyone so they can find you as well. He, in. I think he'll he'll be at Festival of Quilts. I okay. think he's teaching. At oh, yeah, know. I think he's let doing workshops know. and teaching at Festival. He usually does. Okay. Yeah. Well, that'll be good. Let us know because we'd, like we'd like to know where you're going to be. Because Jenny will come and see you. <laughs> With my fan sign. <laughs> With a big fan sign. Oh, yeah. I so love this is him. the biggest FPP project of yours. EPP project. E Where did yeah. I get? So I because we were that talking. At all. Do you know why? It's because we were talking about the rulers. I know, and I haven't said that at all. Weird. That is why. Yeah. So this is a quick quilt. Quick quilt. It's a really quick quilt. And how much fabric do you need for it? You need. Oh well, now you're asking, aren't you? Okay. Oh, do you so, want me to check? No, Does it say? So for this what this fabric here, you would need half a meter. The oh, yeah. rest of the colours are just fat quarters. Yes. So and a metre for the, the background. background fabric is a metre and a half. Did I get that? No, right? a metre for the background. Half a metre for a dark, meter dusty for the dark. pink for shape yep. B. And the rest is fat quarters. And the rest is fat quarters. Oh, so close. Lovely. So close to remembering. Uh, Chris is messing back. Yep, I'll be at the festival. See you in August. Hey. hey. And thank you very much for the blue and mustard hearts. <laughs> I love mustard. See you in August because we'll be there. I'll be there. Oh, yeah. Same right. Way. Which one should we do next? Pretty useful mats. There we go. Oh, I've got them. Hmm? Shall I spread them out? Oh, that's the doorstop one. Sorry. These right. These are the same size hexagons as the doorstop, actually. Oh, are they? If okay. I remember rightly. Don't quote me. Pretty sure. So for this one, $17.99, and you get the pattern and all the paper pieces. Yeah. These, so these are just, oh, aren't they fun? Yeah, so I love they're the different colours. sizes, because I thought tea place mats, condiment mm. mats, or even plant pot mats, you True. could just do whatever you want with them. No, I like the fact they haven't got square edges. Yeah, so I didn't bind them or anything. There's, you sew the hexagons together. And what well, in the pattern it says, it is just a case of quilting on some wadding, mm. cutting around that wadding. I added a square piece of fabric behind it to sew them together. I didn't cut the exact shape because right. that would just be really fiddly. <laughs> okay. And then you just turn it inside out and top stitch. Lovely, I really, really like those. Easy project. So in the kit you get obviously all the instructions and all the paper pieces, which are lots of hexes. Yep. Same size hexes, in fact I have some here, because that's the other one. I'm pretty sure hexies. they are that hexy size. Yes, they look like they it. They look they? like it. I don't think they were the two in. $17.99. But also, we do have the instructions on their own. We only got a few of them. If you want just the instructions, they're $9.99, but they don't come with the paper pieces, so that's up to you. So $9.99 for just the instructions, or $17.99 if you want the instructions and the paper pieces. Oh, we've had a, a picture. A picture. Oh, Hello, my hexi EPP hexi quilt started a long time ago. I will finish it soon. Now she's done what you said about making the flowers. Yes, yes. The grandmother's watching. But them. we're saying each one should be probably a different fabric. Yes. So you can make more than one 
hexi from the same fabric but don't necessarily sew them into a flower okay. with, uh, with like a center and then six of the same flowers around the edge because it's all got to be different we want it all different but, but make up a you can repeat the same hexi but just don't sew it to the right same hexi. but you've just got to make know. a flower at a time so you join it together yeah okay. just make it I know, yeah i'm glad this has rules I'm gonna write. I'll write the rules. Could you? I'll do. I never do rules. I like rules. There's never ever right rules, but we'll do rules. No, because you said you said they can't all be. The, you can't I mean, be. you don't have to follow the rules. You do. <laughs> do you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you've got to so follow bossy. the rules. Follow the rules. Should we do the tote bag? We can. Honeycomb. Hang on. It's got. Uh, that's the machine. That's cover. the machine cover. <laughs> there, you found it. Oh, do you want me to grab it? Uh, yes, if you could. So the honeycomb pen roll comes with, I like this, we instructions, obviously, and hexy pieces, did funnily enough. Did someone send enough. a photo of their completed one in earlier, didn't they? They did, I've yes. seen a couple, actually. Someone sent me a picture of one they used their own fabric for. Mm. It's beautiful. I love it's it. It's gorgeous. So we've got hexies on the outside. So that's, that is so pretty, isn't it? Now, that's your same lozenges, isn't it? The honeycomb, yes, yep. honeycomb, <laughs> not lozenges. <laughs> the honeycomb shape, so it's yeah. really good. So you can put pens, pens, and tools. I what I did was I, yeah, so I made them slightly. Some oh, look, thin. there's a message from Marilyn. I've been trying to find Oracle 80 weight as you recommended, but can only find 50 weight. Will that do? You are truly inspirational. <laughs> Thank you. You you can use 50 weight, you can. Mm. Um, I've got a box of 80 weights Yeah, remember, when's out. that coming out? That will be um, at the same day as my book release, which is, we're doing, an, the Sewing Street have got an early book release, which is the April. 11th of April. 11th of April. Yeah, if you can wait till the 11th of April, you can have Jenny's special. <laughs> my special s box. Special box. So, yeah, I each of these hoops, I did slightly different lengths, so you could fit in your rotary cutter. Oh, yeah, so it's up to And you then, obviously, you. smaller for, a uh, for pencils. You a small ruler in it's just whatever you want to keep in you could do it for makeup brushes makeup as a brushes gift. coloring pencils everything and then i've i've obviously i've done little pockets here as well to stop them they wouldn't pop out the end anyway because of the binding but you could put your rubbers in there yeah true also awesome. <laughs> 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 stop laughing Cat your razors laugh. you could put your razors in there <laughs> your pencil sharpeners <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that I've got deja vu. I'm sure <laughs> this exact same thing happened the day I demoed this. Uh, you said a lot about everyone here, doesn't anything it? Anything in your pocket you that you want to keep anything safe. Anything you fancy. Anything. Sweets. <laughs> and Question then, yeah, from Dean. Hi, ladies. What is this EPP you keep saying? I'm a new sewer and I haven't got a clue what it is. Oh. Sorry, Dean. We did explain earlier. We've, we imagine that everybody's watching for the whole yeah. day. But obviously, no. EPP stands for English Paper Piecing. Yes. It's which the, is? The process of wrapping fabric around a card template and basting it to the card and sewing those together with a small whip stitch without going through the card and then removing the card before you quilt it. If you go on YouTube and look at the first hour I did, which was 10 a.m. Yes, was on we did today, explain. I did uh, the actual process of English paper <laughs> piecing. So it's what you think of, you think of the old quilts. Could you make it bigger for knitting needles from Gillian in Somerset? Yeah, of course you could. You just extend the, um, nice you'll need, hooks. you will need extra um, just make it a bit longer. templates and just Keep going up with the same pattern, what you sort keep of going, think of as and then you'll just need to adjust the pattern for whatever whatever size you make the EPP panel. So if you wanted to go up another two rows, when you cut off, trim off the edges, measure it, and then your inside piece will be the exact yeah. same um, same length. Perfect. Yeah. I think everybody sort of EPP was really in, wasn't it? Like in the 60s and 70s, everyone seemed to do it. Right. And then it went out a bit. I have found a EPP quilt my mum and dad started when they got married. Mm. Really like 70s fabric. They've never finished it. It's in the loft. And one day I will you get it out. To. It's you gorgeous. need to. It's gorgeous. It's so sweet. Oh, look. Just missed the picture then. Oh. There was a picture of a blue version. There you go. Oh, I love making this. It was my first EPP project. I would encourage anyone to give it a go. I really enjoyed it. Love, Kate. Okay, oh, that's lovely. Gorgeous in blue. Oh, I like oh and I like you to use Liberty Ribbon. Is that, well, I wonder that, you know, that looks it? like yeah, what you get 
tied around a fat quarter, fat quarter doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, that's gorgeous. Love that. That's I never throw ribbon away from when I get fat quarters. No, I, I always keep it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Now, we are in the low teens for the honeycomb pen roll, so if you want that one, you need to pop that one in your basket, but it is beautiful, isn't it? Because like you say, crochet hooks, would it would look yeah. nice with crochet hooks. Yeah. Paintbrushes, anything. Large envelope. Oh, I love that envelope. What's it called? Large? Envelope, scrappy envelope. The large hexy envelope pouch. It's blue. The pattern no, blue. No, I'm just looking for the... Oh, hang on, is it on the other shelf? I've got a tote bag of pouches. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, I put those there myself. A sewing machine cover. <laughs> oh, the handy hexy envelope pouch. Yes. Oh. Bad boy. <laughs> I was looking for the word large, not handy. So, in this one, you get the instructions and, funnily enough, all the templates. Oh, this is nice. Oh, There we go. So, it's perfect for sewing classes. Gorgeous. Because you can fit an 18- and a half inch ruler in here. Whoa. Which is really handy. <coughs> and then I just thought it'd be cute to make it like a little envelope. Oh, that's really nice. So, so you can pop the idea is you say you go to sewing classes with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Or just keep your keep your stuff in it at home because you can put the rulers in and it'll protect yeah. them quite nicely. It's lovely, that's isn't it? It's really, like really that. fun. Oh yes, because in the picture you've got your your rulers. But quite nice to keep a little your sewing kit in it, a little yeah. project. It or fits want to keep quite a lot flat. in. Oh, that's it's, so pretty. Yeah. I so fun making that's seventeen ninety nine for all the instructions and all the pieces as well to make it. Quite a it simple is, project. It is. As well. It is. Construction. And you can, if you don't like hand snaps, you can just before you put the when you put when you're sewing the lining in, put a hoop of elastic mm. inside facing in, and then button. Oh, you nice. can just pop a button on there. Yeah. Or even if you don't even want to do that, velcro. True. Whatever you want, fastening wise. Mm. I know it's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, nice. I, mean, I thought it's a different size because yes. you don't tend to get pouches this size. Not really. It's long no. and thin. Yeah, so it was really useful to fit rulers. Isn't yeah, it? eighteen and a half inches. I think the size that it, it fits okay, in perfectly, so and then you can put. Your, I put my square ones in as well, so right. I just keep them out of the way in that because I haven't got anywhere to hang them. Yeah, that's the problem. Mine just leave flat on the edge of my cutting mat. And I keep <laughs> thinking I need to put them somewhere. Yeah. So that's why I, this is what I had in of my idea when I made them because mm. I've got some quite thin long yes. ones as well and I just think oh, I can just pop them in there oh, and nice. I know they're fine. That's quite good storage, isn't it? Yeah. Like that. So that's the handy hexy envelope pouch. Right. Um, let's do the rosette tote bag. Have you got that one? Yep, that's the blue one. Okay. So the rosette. Do you want me to grab it or you? Yes, gonna? please. Yep. Why is this one only fourteen forty nine? You don't get many paper pieces. I love where the whole day has got them. one split payment. It's brilliant, isn't it? So this one's a bit cheaper. Fourteen forty nine for the rosette tote bag. Oh, because you have less paper pieces. Yeah, so it's just one rosette and you applique it. Either it's a machine nice or hand applique. Yes. It's um what size the bottom cut out? It's three and a half or three inch. So you make oh, a so really a nice box bottom for it. Which you makes it a real angle, doesn't it? Yeah. And then, yeah, so it's just EPP rosette as usual, press it, mm. remove the paper pieces, press again. And then it, you can either hand applique it on there. I okay. use the little stitch or you can machine around it. It's totally up to you. I hand sewed it on there. It's you just fold in the dog ears because it's points. You get little dog ears of fabric. Don't cut them off. Just roll them in with your scissors. It looks quite nautical, and doesn't it? Like, yes. Someone said that. Well, it could have been cat, actually. A compass-esque. Yeah, it feels like you. it would be brilliant in red, white and blue. Yeah, yeah. You know, that kind of mariner's compass yep. effect. Yeah, so it's, it's a really nice... And north, south, east and west embroidered on it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so we do have a few of these on the website, a few others. Um, oh, there's a pin in here. Trying to get me with it. There we go. Oh, another picture. One last picture. We've had so oh, many messages I know, and pictures so many today. Hi all, these are half inch hexes from scraps I started years ago. Might start it again alongside you, love set. Yes. You don't have to follow the rules of the special club. You can yes. do them whatever But just do it alongside want. us because yes. it might encourage you to keep but going do, with one. Do join the group when... Um, when, when I set it up. When she set it up, I'll let you know. We'll put a, a message out about it. Yes. And then it would be a lovely way of scrap busting, scrap 
doing things. Yeah. Want everyone to join in our in EPP. Absolutely. Even Jan Hill. Do Even you want Jan to? Hill. Even though you don't do anything. You love it, Jan. You love a challenge. <laughs> she joined my Yarn Lane Mystery Christmas Can. Loved it. Oh, you'll did love you this love one. You love EPP. Yeah. <laughs> Just think how you, Jan, you'll make Jenny's day. Yeah. What a great Sunday morning. Lovely projects and lots of giggles. The retirement <laughs> stash has increased. <laughs> Thanks, Brilliant. Evelyn. Karen. Oh, thank you, Karen. Thank you for joining thank us all Sunday. Okay. I've had a lovely morning. Oh, it's morning. been so much fun. It really has. It has. Um, are you back before the launch? No, I'm not. Well, I'm just okay. coming here on the launch, 11th of April. 11th of April. Yeah. Exciting. Let's hope I'm doing that Monday because yeah. it'll be lovely to see it you would again. It'll be so much fun. It'll be really I'm nice. going to bring all the projects from the book in. Brilliant. Oh, yeah. I love that. All the original ones with me. And will they be signed, these books? The, so, the books will be, and I believe the Aurisville. Thread boxes. Oh, wow. As well. yeah. yeah, very excited about the Oracle thread boxes. That's Same here. <laughs> well, thanks, Jenny. It's been brilliant. Thank you you. Have, you are a, an inspiration. Oh, thank you. And let's hope the world EPPs. <laughs> yes. Everybody. 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 <laughs> so, tomorrow, <laughs> it's our birthday. How lucky am I on my birthday and our birthday all in February? So, 8 o'clock, John Scott is with us and it's happy birthday sewing street. We have got a balloon. We've got, have we got cake? Not yet. We will have cake. So, we have got a fantastic day. 8 o'clock is happy birthday sewing street. At 9 o'clock, Delphine is with us with the Highland Cow wall hanging. You are going to love that. Have we got a picture? Are we not a secret? Oh, no, Kat's seen it. She went to see it to her for a coffee. It's brilliant. You are going to love that. So excited for the birthday. Uh, 10 o'clock, I will be on with Amber Makes doing the block of the month. Everyone keeps doing block of the month. I've been through Bird of the Block of the Month, so I thought, you know what? I'm going to design and launch with Amber Makes. The sewing block of the month, of course, it's the sewing block of the month. So it is the launch of that tomorrow at 10 o'clock. At 11 o'clock, Alison Marion is on with John Scott doing the birthday crown and if you are have been watching the fans of Facebook you will have seen he's been tempting us and tantalizing with us with his picture of his doorstop and yesterday he revealed it it is fantastic so it's his own shop in a, in a doorstop it's brilliant it even features him in the doorway that's going to be brilliant I'm looking forward to that well I'll be able to see it when I come in in the morning and at 12 o'clock we have got Delphine back with us for the lion wall hanging I bet that's fab I, amazing I mean look but it doesn't stop there. We keep going. At one o'clock, um, I'm presenting. Can't expect John to do all day. So I'm on tomorrow afternoon and I am going to be with Alison doing the birthday sewing apron and tote bag. Two o'clock is Velvet Homeware. Oh, I know all about that because I have been making that all weekend. Beautiful, beautiful, brand new velvet fabric. It is gorgeous. More of a velour. You can use it for cushions and homewares and bags absolutely stunning all with these beautiful jungle prints you are going to love that and i just want to say in that show the best thing about this velvet is it makes brilliant cushions and a lot of questions i get for asking awesome people is how do the one thing i want to do is put a zip in a cushion but i don't know how to do it and so i'm going to be showing the new velvet fabric but i'm going to be focusing on the easiest and simplest way to just put a zip into a cushion so you can make a cushion from two squares of fabric because it's something that people ask and we often sort of skip over. So it's going to be how to put a zip into a cushion masterclass and velvet homeware fabric. That's at two o'clock. Three o'clock is we have got some brand new barley pops. So I did a little play with it and I've discovered you can make a whole quilt from one barley pop with a bit of extra fabric. So I'm going to be showing the new barley pop fabrics and I'm also going to be doing a log cabin block class as well. Exactly. I'm going to do it right from the beginning. How do you make a log cabin block using the barley pops? And at four o'clock we have Jason Yenta fabrics. What a fab day tomorrow. It's a birthday. So have a look when you come and join us in the morning eight o'clock we'll explain to you how we can watch all day so we are going to be on air from eight till five whoa so john will be on in the morning and i will be in the afternoon and i cannot wait particularly if we get a good cake so thank you so much for joining me and jenny and lisa today it has been a joy enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you back here tomorrow morning bye